Okay then. No, not set up test. Outer Loper 3. I'm glad the third attempt is still going strong. Ah, well, strong, maybe. We finally shed ourselves of the parasites. We're back at the shop, and we finally enter what I consider to be the end game. For we have all of the things that you generally need to strengthen yourself in the long dark. We're the proud owner of animal clothes. So we've got the rabbit hat, rabbit mittens, wolf coats, deer trousers, deer booties. Uh, although I don't have some thermal underwear in this slot, I do actually have these leftover ones that I need to get fixed. Well, I need to be the one to do that fixing. But uh, we also have the moose satchel, crampons, we've got the makings for a bear skin rug, we've got the forge tools, the knife, the hatchet, arrows, bow, hacksaw, mag lens, all these items, yeah the hammer as well, all these items that give you a big step up in what you can do and your ability to survive and influence the world. And now, unless we're outside during cold times, although granted most of the times are cold, we're generally warm, quite safe, able to kill things that come our way, even bears in one shot if you'd believe it. And you have to believe it to make it happen. So what now? Now we need to fill up the shop. So despite this being an outer loper run, there's about to be a lot of going indoors, because there's one reason we're allowed to go indoors, and that is to stock our shelves. In the title of the stream, there is a link. That link will take you to my stock tape. It's all the items that we plan on having in the stores and all the items that we currently have. For example, I believe I wanted six loads of dog food or five or something. Anyway, we need a number of dog food and I have five cans right now. I need, I think, mm, I don't know how many tinned items I need. It would help if I actually looked at the list myself. In fact, I can show you it here on stream. Kind of there we go. This is a list of items that are required and what we have in stock. All these numbers are arbitrarily put together by myself. So if we look at the grocery, for example, we need uh, three doses of herbal tea. Or rather, we only need two and we have three. We need four bits of dog food and we have five, so we're going above and beyond the call of duty. But we need to find another jar of maple syrup. We only have one, and we need to find another somewhere. And that goes on for the various different items that there are in the game. So if you want to play along, or even help along, because I, I only got one pair of eyes, you can help keep me good on the items that we still need to find when we're going around so that I only pick up what is necessary. Speaking of necessary, one item is particularly necessary in this travel, and that is the bearskin bedroll. We need to start making it. I don't have a lot of food to keep me good during this, but I have quite a lot of calories worth of bear meat right here. And I did just make a lot of water. So, 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 so. Is it clear enough to use a mag lens to bring a fire in? Actually, speaking of fire, do I have many burnables? Haha, <laughs> heavens no. Was I keeping any for later? Also, heavens no. One bit of coal. Although there's more coal on store here that I could take out on loan. Swear I'd bring it back. Can you drink the syrup? You can't drink the syrup. It's good for calories. Hell, it's great for calories. But... We're not going to, because that stuff is for our customers. Now, bearskin bedroll. Very important. Needs six guts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thankfully, we have a lot of cured guts right here. And, 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 and... Yeah, well, we need to get working on it. Thankfully, we only need our knife to work on it. And I think the clever thing to do is just to get started on it. Because I wanted to see if it was good enough to make fire outside, whether or not. I can have burnables going as a different story. Certainly not. Ooh, definitely not. Ooh, ooh, I forgot I got all this meat out here. It might look incredibly moldy, but our cooking ability is so good that we've learned to eat around the mold. But yeah, this, this ain't a great day. This is far from a great day, so let's not be out there. Out there is a silly place. I need to get working on this bed uh, bedroll, and then we can take it out and use it ever so much, because I think this thing gets 12 degrees of warmth. So, improvised knife, I'll spend about three hours working on it. Oh, the storm seems to have died down already. We'll go and poke our nose outside to make sure all is well. It's freezing outside, how can food get moldy? It freeze like that. Canadian mold is really strong mold. It gets around slight foibles like that. 
well, still not clear, but at least it's not chucking it down with snow. There are some buildings around here that I want to loot ASAP. Uh, um, 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 I'm thinking about doing that now, or if I want to get my bearskin bed roll done first. It's just the lack of fire-making stuff that bothers me quite a lot. I would also quite like these pallets smashed up, but it's a little too cold for me. Maybe in the evening, when it's pretty... Uh, quite a bit warmer, I could consider smashing those up, just so I can get some uh, some reclaimed wood for burning. Or maybe I'm over-worrying about it. In any case, knife, let's get to work. Let's keep getting to work. Getting hungry, but this is exactly why we have bear meat around. The reason I want to clear sky is to cook up some of that meat so I can uh, get more calories going. Take that, take that. I can't eat it from the radial menu because it's too ruined, but we can eat it from this menu. I will absolutely make sure that it is cooked. This is exactly how we got our parasitic friends last time, is by double-clicking on raw meat, and the game doesn't give you the warning about raw meat if you do it from this menu, and I am still very bitter about that. Is it okay if I ask about other games? Go right ahead. My job and heck my life is playing lots and lots of games. I like to think I have a near encyclopedic knowledge by now. It's a lot of calories to smash those apart. I need to spend my time destroying the. Um, not destroying, uh, making this wonderful bedroll. I think I'll spend another one hour on it and then I'm going to use the. Well, actually, it is a good time of day right now. I might head out and just gather some stuff that I've left around. I know I left a good amount of meat at the nearby um, fishing hut. So if I drop you for now, instead of picking you up later, I've got a lot of water right here. Just lightening my load so that I'm able to grab a lot of stuff when I'm out. So I shouldn't need that much water. I shouldn't need any water at all, really. And what else can I ditch to lighten my load? I'm only carrying 28 kilos. This bedroll is something in the middle of creation. I'm going to wear this, despite it taking quite a bit of damage. I'm going to leave behind my crampons. I will wear these mm, whenever the time is right. Do not need a cooking pot with me. This is a nice personal cooking pot. Could well need that down the line. Uh, the guts I'm using for my work. Why well, do I have a flare shell? I don't even know where I got this, but we'll leave that next to our on-display distress pistol, which we're not allowed to use because we found it indoors. I think we found it in the Riker or in the Hibernia processing. I like having tools on me. I always like to keep those on me. Much like having a marine flare. Um... Okay, I'm pretty good. 27 kilos is a pretty good weight to be for carrying around survival gear. Although it's going to go up when I have that bearskin bed roll on me. Ooh, well, conditions aren't great. When I'm, whenever I'm in this wind, it's really quite bad, but that's okay. I'm just going to take the opportunity to loot the nearby house, unless some dogs are around to make my life unpleasant. Sticks are good as well, because I'm low on burnables. I don't want this wind to whip up into a blizzard. But I think over at that fishing hut, or that fishing hut, I forget which one. I left a lot of meat, which I want to bring back. I don't stink at all, so the dog shouldn't get me. Which fishing hut did I make use of? I'm going to assume this one, because I recall having a good view of the bear being over here. And then shooting the bear to death over there. There's also a building over there that I want to loot and bring back as soon as possible. I'll probably do that first, actually. I'll just have a quick look in here to remind myself what I left behind. Whoa! Wow, I left a lot of meat here. And a fair amount of water, too. Alright. Nothing worth worrying about, though. 
our goal is to loot that house right now. Because we I don't think we've ever been inside that house. Why would we? We're not allowed to go indoors, but for this one reason, we are allowed. Have I been here? I think this is the bear's cave. We've seen the bear prowling around it, but we don't see the bear right now. No sign of the bear. If the bear wasn't there, I'd be tempted to shove an arrow up its arse, but that probably wouldn't be the wisest thing to do. Uh, wait, have I been here? That backpack opened so fast, it's as if I've already checked it. But I don't recall coming over here. Then again, recalling is not one of my superpowers. Good sticks. I like sticks. Give me the sticks. Cold is making my head feel thick. Don't worry about it, Shepard. We got some looting to do. Why is your stamina bar so damaged? Uh, it's because of my heavy clothes. The heard something nearby. Still think I hear something nearby. The downside to wearing really good clothes is that they each chew into the amount of maximum stamina you have. Some by quite a lot. The bulk of the damage to my stamina is being done by, I believe, the double wool coats. So, we made it to a misanthrope homestead. And... He's got matches. I don't actually care about the matches. I'm just going to leave them here. Because that's not important to me. It's important to stealing his stuff. So we're going to root around, and the only things I'm actually interested in taking are stuff I need for the shop. If I see something and go, ooh, that's nice, but it's actually not actually on my stock take list, I won't bother with it. So those crisps I do want, because I'm pretty sure I need more crisps. Otherwise, let's just get hunting now. I know it's a little dark, but we can make do. That's why we came out at this time of day. It means I wouldn't need to light a fire just to see in here. Oh, I can still eat this. Uh, fresh venison cooked. I'll leave that. I'm going to leave that because I can't eat it because I found it indoors, and I'm not particularly caring about having or hauling fresh venison back just for the store. I can find fresh venison off of an animal. And uh, hang on, hang on. 100% condition in the oven? That teaches me something interesting. There is no way that that would be at 100% condition here. That spawned when I came in. I was under the impression that when you... when loot is created in this game, it's created at the start of the game, and then it lies there, and if you take too long to get it, it spoils. But there's no way that's been there since the start. We don't care about water purification. I'll tell you what, I actually might... I might just take it. Same with you, actually. And then I'll leave them on this prominent display here. That way I'll know all the items that I've found in the area. And then I just take out whichever. Wonder if this is any good to eat. This is more this makes more sense, but what's with all the What's with all the raw meat in this household? How bizarre. How wondrous. What other games have you played Minecraft Subnautica Room? Well, that played all of those. Subnautica is really good. It took me a while to get into it, and I'm sure that frustrated a lot of people watching, but I had good fun with it in the end. Ooh, book. I actually do need that for the store, so you're coming with me. Minecraft, I played a lot of back in in-dev and inf-dev. These days, I don't care that much. I made a terrible mistake and showed it to my mother, and my mother got hooked on Minecraft. She probably still is. Another book for the collection. I don't know how many books I need. Let me check my list. It says I need eight books and I have three. Well, now I have four or five. I can use this. I'm going to take that sweatshirt. That's for the store as well. I'll part of this table for anything, really. Is there a way to get electricity? Yes, there is. In this game, during an aurora, electrical devices mysteriously work, so indoor lights will work. 
that makes it easier to go through caves. Some computers will turn on and you can get memos from them. Uh, there's an elevator in a cave that will start working, so you could move through the cave. Can't sleep in this bed, that is forbidden. However, stealing some curtains and things for cloth is allowed, and in fact I will be doing so. So I need to I need you to help keep track of this, the amount of cloth that I'm stealing from here. Because that's two four six eight. Let's see if we can make it a nice round ten if we can find another curtain to tear down. Right, here we go. Ten loads of cloth. Might be useful for the store somehow, so we'll take it. Otherwise, that's good enough. I want to go and grab the meat and head back. Uh, I was taking these crisps with me. And then we'll take the meat from the... Uh, we'll take the meat from the... Hang on, I thought I saw a container. I didn't check. Getting really tired, though. We want to sleep back at base. Oh, I've already checked you. Never mind. So... Ten cloth, grab all the meat I can from the fishing hut, and then drag it back home. It's really warm and clear out here, which is nice. Is there anything around the back of this place, though? Hmm. Because there might be stuff that washes up on the shore, but I'd rather just head on back, actually. Now, these sticks, however, they're found outside, and they will most assuredly be used. Ooh, it's clear! I could, would, and should start a fire. Oh, because the sun's going down, I, I don't get a I don't get a good bit of it for the mag lensing. Keep my wits about me, I don't want the bear to give me a nasty surprise as I come down here. I don't want to give my broken knees a nasty surprise either. Uh that's the that's the one that it isn't yeah. I'm gonna sleep back in the store so it's alright to run a bit. Leave an item on the front door. Show that you've been there. That's a great idea, but I will not. An easier way to do it, I think, is just to do an entire region's buildings at once, and then just mentally cross it off. For example, I've done Desolation Point and Crumbling Highway. No need to go back there. Let's top ourselves up on water shouldn't need to or want to bring this water back, so I'll just leave you here. Are you sure we can just use our mag lens? Yeah, we absolutely cannot. Right, how much of this can we bring back? I might have to drop some gear. How heavy am I? Very heavy, but I want this stuff back here. And I don't want it here, funnily enough, because if there are any wolves they're gonna smell me from a million miles away. Um, whenever I go there, I'll generally be making food, because I'll probably be fishing on the ice bit, or attracting a wolf or a bear over to kill it and chop it up with the heat of the stove in there. So I don't mind bringing all this meat back home with me. And if I really need to, I could deign to spend the much. Minecraft and Minecraft modding has come a long way since Indev. A lot of his grown gone down the pooper. But there's still some... I'm just not interested in Minecraft, right? I spent so many uh, hours playing that game in my formative years. Oh, maybe a bit later than that. And the game's great, but I've had my fill. I played Terraria as well. I never liked it. I still don't like it now, especially not after that horrible weekly one-shot I had of it. I want to be ready for a wolf. They could well want a piece of me. We really, really not start a fire from that. Look at how clear it is. No, okay. This kind of meat should keep us good in the shop for a long, long time. It's just a question of cooking it. Because we only have two cooking spots inside the shop. And this stuff takes a while to cook. As expected, Fido gets a whiff of us. And he wants a piece of us. I'm not sure if I want a piece of Fido or not. I could kill him, but is there really any need to? I'm not so sure there is. 
I mean, he's doing no harm to nobody, least of all me. And I don't need his uh, guts scooped out or his pelt ripped off with my bare bleeding hands. Can't feel my hands. Yeah, good point, Chef. It's getting a bit chilly. Let's make our way back to our beloved home. Did I just hear the bear? I heard some roaring, but it could have been my stomach. You know? I'm a little tempted to kill you here, actually, Fido. If it's ever really clear. I might really want you harvested. Because I'd like to do a, bu a bunch of my cooking outside here. If it's ever really good for it. Not to mention clean away these pallets so I can have a lovely clean display of my burnables out here. But your corpse can be there for a while. It's It's no... No real pain for me. Uh, but if, I, if that's what I'm considering, what I should certainly do is leave the meat out here. Slapping sound of putting out all that uh, bear meat. Besides, I could use a bunch of sticks, have multiple fires so going. Cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. I'll consider that tomorrow. I just really don't want to spend the matches now that I'm good on the matches front. Oh, I guess I already ate my last bit of cooked bear. No, I left it behind. Um, however, what did I find here? I found these crisps. I found ten bits of cloth. I'm going to leave here because I know the cloth here is not for me. So, drop cloth times ten. Was there anything else I pulled out of that? Yeah, I pulled out the spray paint. Not that I would ever deign to use spray paint, although I wanted to spray signs in my store, I guess. No one could hold that against me. Uh, I can't see a dang thing, so I don't want to bother trying. Where's my workbench? Can I get any more work done on my bare skin bed while all the going is good? Yeah, this is apparently just enough light to do a little bit of work. light. Uh, I'm a little out of luck if I don't find my my bear meat. If that's the fire barrel, I need to find a place to rest. There it is. <laughs> and this is exactly how we got the little friends in our intestines before, but it is cooked and it's going down the hatch. And there we go. I really need to do some cooking tomorrow, though, if I ever want to have a hope of... Where's my water? Where did I leave my water? I must have put it down somewhere. Before I left. Here it is. The trouble of not having any light here and being too tight-fisted to use a match. The reason I'm so tight-fisted on the matches is not because we're short on them. We have a lot of matches by now. It's because I'm trying to imagine this was day 5,000, not day 75. And in such a case, it wouldn't really be an option to be wasting matches willy-nilly. So I'd need to get to the point where I can rely on using the mag lens. Then again, if I was on day 5,000, I'd have loads of supplies practically everywhere. So it wouldn't be such a necessity to light up a fire because I wouldn't need to cook some meat. There'd be a pile of... Well, there'd be many piles of um, of food and water everywhere that I need. I'd probably even leave medical supplies everywhere. Right, let's hope for a lovely clear dawn, and until that dawn comes, let's continue working on this bedroll. It only needs 15 hours more work. What do you mean it's too dark? Well, if it's too dark, we can spend some time sharpening our knife in the darkness. There's knife, action, whetstone, sharp. Still takes 11 minutes even at sharpening skill 90. I think it's quicker to sharpen the hatchet. Maybe you just get better purchase on it. Flowers on you then. During day 5000, that'd be almost 12 years. All in a day's work for Commander Shepard, right? It looks rather nice out there. Let's make sure our crisps are on display. Ooh, running out of space for these crisps. 
Can I leave them on the on the window sh uh, sill? No. No, I cannot. Hmm. I will probably eventually use the top shelf. You can't reach it normally, but I'll probably just use the fly command in the uh, in the debug mode to just get up there and start putting things down on it. But I'll probably do that at the very end where I want to organize everything. For now, though, we're at uh, plus one bit of food. If you want to play along, I'll put a link in the description that shows my stock take. So the grocery for ketchup crisps, we are now at... Seven, apparently. Apparently we had six before. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more and we're done for crisps and we never need to worry about getting more. What makes the bare bedroll special? Oh, ho, ho. it has an immense amount of warmth bonus. It allows you to sleep anywhere. It scares off wolf predators who might want to try and eat you. It is not clear out here, so never mind trying to get a fire going. And it can be repaired using bear skin rather than cloth. And funnily enough, bear skin is a preferable thing to use for repairs over cloth because cloth is so hard to get on outer loafer. Actually, see in here, which is a nice bonus. Let's grab the last of my water. I really want to get properly cooking though. I'll give this another couple of hours and then check the weather. And I'm very conscious about uh, running out of calories in my it's belly. So if it goes grim, I will consider just starting fire out. Oh, okay. Never mind, we'll just have a storm blow in instead. Wait, the bearskin bedroll uses cloth to repair? Well, that's not what I signed up for, but neither is this, uh... Neither is this storm. You know what, I think I'm just gonna start the big old fire then. How many sticks do I have? 22 sticks. It's actually not a lot of sticks. But I'm gonna run out of calories real soon if I don't do something. Mm. All this because I'm too tight fisted. Got plenty of coal. There's nothing wrong with burning coal, I just don't want to. Oh, I forgot about one other thing these books. These books are for display purposes. I'm up to one, two, three, four, five books, I think, out of eight. Mm. Difficult choice, truly. If I start a fire indoors, it's actually quite expensive, all things considered. But I am very close to being out of calories. Another way of looking at it is that I could start my fire out here, where it will last longer. But what would I do during all that time? And if the wind changed direction, I'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I would get uh, horrible frostbite if I started hacking that apart. Good for fuel, though. I don't want to lose well-fed. Right. Come with bear. Uh, come with me, bear meat. cook you up. 75% <laughs> chance of parasites if I eat the raw meat again. I don't particularly want to do that. Right, so we are going to start this with uh, some of our wood matches, a stick. It's 100% chance so I don't need to bother about starting a torch first. This doesn't get any extra length bonus for being out in the cold, unfortunately, but... That did it. That did do it, Shepard. Good job. Cook the meat. Cook the meat. Take the even more meat. Takes 45 minutes. Let's add a whole bunch of sticks. And then we should be able to make a lot of them. So 45 minutes a, a pop. So that tells me I need to just work on you for a wee while. Get going for about 45 of that. And then you should be ready for me. Delicious, delicious. Cook more. Cook more. Just eat it up. We want the calories inside us. 
Dang, it's a good lot of calories. It really eats into my thirst, though. Good thing I've got all this water, although I may want to make more water as well here. It's tempting to just throw on some coal, just to get some extra time on this thing. Hey ho. Storm subsided already. Still sounds a touch windy out there. Reminds me of being back making all those other clothes, but at least this time it's just one thing I have to make. Not, uh, what was it we made? We made the hat, the coat, the other coat, the mitts, and the boots. I oh, know we already had the boots, but we made these two deerskin trousers as well. Rough times those were. Uh, how much juice is left in the fire? An hour and a half. Hmm. I might bung on some coal just for the heck of keeping that fire going and cooking more things. This sounds so rough out there. Right, bearskin bedroll. I won't let you down. Much. Two last bits of bear meat. And then after that, I'm going to hmm, I'm shove on probably one bit of coal. I need to stock up on coal, but there is a cave nearby. Oh, a bunch of sticks in here. It's fine then. Nah, don't do that. Just give me all the sticks. And if I have any cool torches, I like my 100% torches, but if I have any cool ones, I'll just store these for posterity. An hour. Yes. There we go. We've got an hour. Spent half an hour working on you. I hope this bearskin bedroll is as good as I think it is. Imagine getting it and it's actually really terrible. Right. I want maximum water. Super maximum water. Oh god, it takes a while just to melt. Well, here you go, coal. You get me that water since I need it so badly. Give this some work for another hour and a half. I should get the water boiled. And with another 44 minutes, I should be able to do one liter in them. What's it like outside, though? Stink a bit. One, two, three of these should prevent stinkiness. Actually, bear meat must smell really bad. We stink with this stuff. But yes, so much bear meat, it's funny how quickly you gobble it all down. There we go. Two on, two of them on me and I don't stink. A quick look outside. We have to confirm if it was the meat science or something. No, 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 no. No more raw meat eating, please. Oh, the grim time I'd rather not remember. Have we got any sticks around here with my name on them? I mean, that was a blizzard. Should have blown in more sticks, right? There's a temptation to hack this thing up just to have some more burnable wood. Times like this I lament all those times I dropped sticks back in earlier locations, but at least when I go back to them I'll be happy. I'll look at all those sticks and thank myself for planning for the future. Or begrudge all that if I die before I get to that point. But we're on full condition. 85% It's the most we can ever have. Oh, and a blizzard just comes right back in. It's alright, let's use what little warmth we have to 
scour the area for sticks. Feels like minus 25. It's damaging my clothes as well. Plenty of things we could hack apart out here for firewood, but for what I assume are obvious reasons, I don't want to stand in this and hack apart pallets, even if I don't have to use my bare hands. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, just did, Shepard. Right, that stuff will boil nicely in 14 minutes, so then I'll have a whole lot more water. Do I want to throw on a bunch of sticks and make even more water? Actually, I kind of do. Because we're actually a tad short on water at the moment. Let's do a little bit of it. Take the water. Power 45. Well, that means I can put on a whole lot of water, no problem. Yeah, there we go. Drink, uh, eating bear meat is thirsty work, so of course we want to have that going as much as we can. Bear skin bed roll for an hour and a half. Shepard's getting all sleepy. The 11 minutes isn't long enough to do dang near anything with this, so I may as well just take a torch and douse it. Then... drink, uh, eat, drink, and sleep. Sun is shining outside, strong winds and hail, weird weather. I assume you mean in real life? Because we sure don't have the sun outside now. Betty bye bye's time. Sleep as long as we can. If we wake up and it's too dark to craft, we will sharpen our knife. But we should get the bearskin bedroll finished today, and then off we go. This is, my, this is why I make loads of water. You need a lot of water when doing jobs like this. I want another bear meat thing. It's actually the middle of the night, unfortunately. How do we pass time in such a situation? Um, if it were lighter, I would mend my thermal underwear. Oh, I forgot about this sweatshirt that I found. I need to make sure that goes into the into the clothing area. For now, though, show me my knife. Show me my whetstone. Oh, the hatchet as well, I suppose. The hatchet takes a lot of condition damage, because the jobs you give the hatchet are usually big ones. Like, chop apart this massive stack of pallets for an hour. Or destroy this bench four hours just to get some cloth that we fail on using anyway. I am quite bitter about that one. Because that was a big investment to repair our bedroll. 85% chance we failed twice in a row. And it took pretty much the day to get the items and attempt the drafting. Provides hatchet is looking great, but imagine if it looked greater. 96%, 96%, great. Same story for the improvised knife. Actually, we're going to go back to bed for an hour or two. Oh, I was looking at the wrong bar. I thought my tiredness was my hydration meter. job to do in the dark. Shepherd's fingers must be so raw. Since I'm quite likely to find whetstones as I go about, I am tempted to not carry one on me. Or maybe switch this out for my 100% whetstone, which I think exists. But with that done, it's hard for us to think what else to do. Uh, I would like more fishing tackles, but I need light to be able to make that. I could go out and hack apart the dog a bit more. Comes with its own risks, though. Not least of all, getting pretty cold. Oh, what a, what a clear night. All this bear meat, all this other meat. Oh, I forgot to take my arrow off of you. Glad I grabbed that. Yeah, I struggle to think of a good reason to be here and pack up the dog. 
just doesn't seem like uh oh 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 get stuck there hey do you want to join your dog friend i might have some work for you if uh, conditions look good oh snap get off of me well worked out in the end gave me a bit of a bruise and i'm not sure if he damaged my clothes i should do a check though yeah, I have a bunch of fishing tackles, so going fishing is an option, but it's really cold out there. I'm not actually sure he damaged any of my clothes. I think it comes up and specifically tells you clothes damaged. I don't think that was sniping. That was a little too close to be sniping. Anyway, I'm hoping for a clear day. For now, though, I'll see if I can't sleep a final hour and then... And then have it bright enough to get to work. So that's having good protection gear, already damaging him with an arrow, and then using the hatchet, which is the best self-defense weapon. I think there's merits to using the hammer instead, but not sure. Also, did my hatchet take much damage in that? Uh, I think it was already at 96 before, so perhaps not. Right, bearskin bedroll, come on, there's not much left to do. The wind has died down. That looks like sunshine. I'll see if I can't use the dawn light to start a fire out here. Although I don't have a lot to burn. I could slam on some coal. Yeah, I could start a fire. Sweet. I don't like the position of this fire, so I'll just break it down for now. Mm. Mm. Conditions are nice, but the things I have to burn are incredibly few. I could slam on a bit of coal, use that coal to break apart the pallets, and use the pallets to keep this thing going and cooking a lot of meat. And water, and harvest more dog. Might be the best idea, actually. Could I have you here? You might be protected from quite a few elements. Yeah, I like that idea, but I really... I need quite a bit to get this going. Alright, although I'm using up my daylight hours, I think that's how I'll spend them. I'll have to carve up those dogs and hack away some of these pallets that are in the way. And I do have coal here for exactly that. I can go, I'll go and grab some more coal. It'll be my top priority once we get the bedroll. Just making sure. Survive and fill the cabinets with the stock list, right? Correct. That's the goal of the run. Get more bear meat for the gut. I really need to repair these thermal undies. They're dying on me. Mm, yeah. I think we'll survive a little bit longer. Right, here's hoping for no wind to come and beat my fire into submission. Just turn you around like so. Can't feel my feet. Hmm. Not quite, actually. I am miss Oh, did it just cloud over? Uh, uh, <laughs> come on, game. That's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. Oh, well, we'll see if the clouds disperse after I do a bit more work in here. And if I'm going to be doing some work in here, let's actually fix these ragged thermals. Also, there's you. You're going in my pile of clothes. Is this the same run? Same run we've been running for quite a long time now. Despite nature's best attempts, we still live. So, actions, repair, one bit of cloth, sewing kit, that's fine. 
Don't let me down. Some of this cloth is on loan, you know. For the love of God, Shepard, why are you so bad at sewing? How much more cloth do I have? Two bits of cloth, but I don't know how much of it's needed for the workbench. Uh, maybe, maybe no more. Hopefully no more. Let's just finish the damn thing. Okay, there we go. Bearskin bed roll at long last. Look at how thick it is. Look at that 16 degree warmth. Unfortunately, look at that weight. Three kilos. And the only cloth I have remaining are two bits of cloth. Mmm, from that savage, uh, salvage bedroll. So one bit's going to be used on my ragged thermal undies, and the other... I already have three bandages, so that's okay. But still, I do need this repaired. Stop failing me, Shepard. Ooh, okay, right, they should hold for a wee while. I'd still like to get them more repaired, but that will require more cloth. And cloth is hard for me to come by on Outer Loafer. Very hard indeed. Right. I was thinking about any of my matches that I wanted to leave behind. If I have 9 of you and 18 of you, I think I can quite safely drop all 21 of those. Worth noting that these are personal matches that I can use, not indoor matches that I cannot use, so I'll try and segregate them to keep that mentally uh, remembered. I actually need more fishing tackles to do repair jobs and things with, because the sewing kits are dying on me. Sounds rough out there, I bet the sun isn't quite shining the way I want it to. Does any of this need left behind? No. Not really. I mean, you're on your last leg, so I think I'll just put you on display. Sewing kits are a finite resource. Once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, the whetstone is kind of dying here. I'm going to switch it out for a good one. Or just not carry a whetstone at all. I'm almost certainly going to find one of my travels, so I don't think I'll stress about having one. Although I did really mess up my knife, didn't... No, the knife's fine. Mm hmm. Check the workbench drawers. Yeah, now that you mention it. Yeah, I've got a lot of fishing tackles. Sweet, I should keep these on me. They're so light. I think the reason I stored them was because they clog up my inventory really foul, especially this screen where I like to scroll for my torches. Hmm, yeah, actually, that's a lot of fishing tackles. I shouldn't need more at this point. I like these ones because they're good for fishing with. So I think I will just keep those on me. No problem. No harm, no fuss. I like to keep some arrow shafts on me because if my arrows break, I can swiftly make new uh, arrows at a workbench. Okay, shame about the horrendous weather out there that only seems to be getting worse, but such is our fate in late game interloper. Right. In that case, do I really want or need the scrap metal? I might actually keep the scrap metal over in my workbench, since it's about the only place that I would consider using it anyway. And it's heavy in bulk, but actually, strangely enough, not that heavy in small amounts. So just keep that around to play with. Still a little heavier than I'd like to be, but that's largely because I'm out of water. So... Where can I store water? Actually, I think the locker's a good place to put the water in. It's easy to find. And we'll leave behind... We'll leave seven litres in you. Carry a bit more on me. It's getting late in the day, although the weather is terrible. What am I considering doing right now? Well, I'm pretty sure I said I was going to do something, and I managed to forget what exactly it was. It was probably going and gathering coal, because heavens knows I need coal. So, yeah, I'll go on a coal and sticks expedition. That means heading north up to 
the mine towards Pleasant Valley, but not going through it. We'll go and grab all the coal in there and bring it back here, so we have a nice centralized area with tons of coal. Because we're going to be coming back here with goods that we find in other places anyway. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, and it's a relatively good time of day to go out. Although I will want some more calories inside me. really wish I had those wolves hit up, though. It bothers me that I'm not tenderizing them and doing all that cooking. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is fine if I stink of it. I've got seven arrows to, to show them what's for. Since you combed the beach... Oh, I haven't combed the, boot, uh, the beach once, I think, in this whole run. Never mind getting back or not. The weather is beyond terrible. So let's have a rethink. <laughs> what can we do instead? What can we do that does not involve going out in that? I'd love to repair my clothes even more, but I... Whoops. Actually, why not? Why not give it another go? Let's use one of our fishing tackles. Don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. Whew, there we go. Now our outer thermals are pretty damn good. Great for the warmth bonus. I want a lot more cloth, but as I said, getting cloth is hard as heck. Oh yeah, a nap might not be a bad idea. Take a nap for an hour or two, just to get the awakeness back up. Not to mention, finish off our condition. Oh, redecorating. What are you trying to say about my store there, Trickney? You got a problem with how I lay out my merchandise? Holy smokes, it's still grim out there. Are there any houses nearby I can duck into and start looting? You got stuff on the beach at least once on this run? I mean, I, I trust you to remember better than me. I just do not recall that at all. Put you closer to the other tinners. I want this bag of crisps. Why is it playing Resident Evil style music right now? Don't give me that. Oh, it's horrible out here. You know, I think there's a house over here that might be capable of being explored and having not already been explored. Is it you? Yeah, you look about right. Just want to use my time productively. Uh, does this not look incredibly similar to the misanthrope's house? The creatively bankrupt interior decorators. Under, checking between. <laughs> isn't isn't this exactly the same building? Uh, spray paint. For our spray paint collection. Pretty sure it was this run you were passing by and had good stuff. I have no recollection of that. What would be good stuff I'd find in early game beachcombing? And it must have been early game. I don't know. Like I said, I don't doubt you. I doubt me. I have no memory of that. Rusty tomato soup. That might finish off our tinners collection, actually. What are our tinners at? Tin food is at 10. That took me to 11. Ooh, this takes me to 12. A soda that we don't need, but we'll take it anyway. Oh, coffee's nice. Tarkin, the one reason we're allowed to be indoors is to gather things for the shop. We're not allowed to use anything we find here. We're not allowed to rest indoors, we just have to beeline from item to item and not use them at all. Otherwise I'm quite certain my list of items that I need to get for the shop would be impossible. Some of them... Okay. Well, it. I've, I've searched a lot outside and not found a single bit of beef jerky for one. But the main reason I even have this getting indoors caveat is just because I want to see the indoors. If the whole run was outside, I'd probably get a bit knackered of it. I bet it was a hat and some scrap metal. That sounds like Beachcombing 101. Maybe a stick and some cedar firewood as well. Mm 
This is why going indoors for stuff is good. There's usually, usually clothes inside there. There wasn't this time, but there often is. Very warm. Plus 8 degree bonus. Not as warm as a bare skin bedroll, but still dang warm. Uh, I don't think I'll take any more cloth. There's not much point to grabbing cloth. I just grabbed 10 so I'd have it for display purposes, and I'm not even sure if it was on my list of things to get. Well, this place... Well, it was good for the coffee, but otherwise a bit, a bit lame. I was mostly here just to pass the storm. Oh, oh we certainly passed it. And it's light outside, right? Those, those dogs don't know what hit them. I want that fire started as a matter of urgency. Before the weather decides that I've had enough sunshine for one day. Right. Wait, what do you mean I can't start? Did it immediately cloud over there? It did, didn't it? This game is being a bit rude. Being a bit very rude. What did we, what did we grab there? Tinners. Running out of space from tins. They're a bit precariously on the edge now. Sorry, we can stack them closer. And if I'm not mistaken, we also grab some coffee. And this. Was there anything else I found? I'm not good at keeping track of these things. Okay, uh, spray paint, of course. No, we haven't found any money yet. I need to go and loot more safes, but I don't know where all the safes are. It's about to be night time. I said I wanted to go up and get that coal, and I still do. So let's go up and get that coal. It's the warmest time of day. We'll take advantage of it. Uh, I said I'd grab the coal, but don't I already have some coal on me? Yeah, but it might be useful if somehow I get uh, in a tight spot on my way up. Good, I've got food, I've got drink. We can, we can do this. So it's a bit of a trek to the Pleasant Valley Mine, but inside that mine's a whole lot of good stuff. Which we've already looted, of course, but I'm going there for the coal. I might as well grab every stick I can along the way. Lighting up inside there might be a doozy, but I could sleep inside the cave and then pop out at the first light and then... Hopefully it'll be a clear day. Not, not been seeing in many of those, have we? There's a trailer up along here as well. Could go and give that a quick check. It's nowhere near as warm as I'd hoped. Feels like minus 17 out here. The warmth is just being sapped from our body. There's a trailer with God knows what inside it for us. Change this weather. I feel like I'm in Pleasant Valley. Coastal Highway has not been pulling any punches for us the moment we arrived here. Yes, I saw that other stick. Maybe spend the night in the mine in case of the Aurora. If the Aurora hits, I'm going to beeline it for the Cinder... Not Cinder Mine, the... the oh, it is Cinder Hills Aurora Mine. I've never been inside the... Uh, Aurora area of it, so it'd be nice to see. Although I have been told that there are bare wires. So we've got to be careful of that. Those would give the burn affliction, I believe. Stay satiated. I'm not made of cloth, so I can't bandage up many wounds. Uh, there's not really any necessity for me to grab reclaimed wood from somewhere like this. I just forget what it is. The jeans? That'll come in handy. 
Yeah, I think I will take the jeans, actually. Only for display on my shop, uh, clothing area, and the closer I can find those goods to my shop, the less wrecking I need to do with it. I love that shaky noise. Makes this trailer seem so homely, although, yeah, it's really a very, very cold place to be. Uh, before I head out, is there anything I need to care about? Not really, I just need to make something of a beeline for it. Although, jinx, it seems grim's out, uh, grim out there. Oh boy, it's grim out there. Oh, crumbs. I need to think about this. I can't stay in the trailer for... Um, for shelter that would completely go against the whole point of the outer loping but being out here isn't a great alternative there's a cave nearby not a very good cave but it should at least shelter me from the wind is that is that a sleeping bear? Cold is making my head feel thick. Well, I guess I'm not getting in there, unless I give Lord Barrington a reason to sleep for a long, long time. But no, I have loads of bear meat. I don't need that. Don't need that in my life. I don't know if sleeping headshot does ultra damage. Can't imagine why it would. Headshotting a bear is not an insta-kill. It is if you get a critical hit, though. What are the critical hit chances? I don't know. I've not finished all the bearskin goods, but I don't think I'll make a bearskin coat. Very heavy, and it would slow me down a lot. But I do have... Bearskin bedroll. Funnily enough, if I was sheltered from the wind, like here, I could actually sleep in my be bearskin bedroll and gain warmth back, but that's only because it's the warmest time of day. When night comes around, that would not be viable. I'd freeze to death in my sleep. Hello, do we have a building that needs looted? I think we have a building that needs looted. I think that all to do with the storm outside. Right, I don't think I need stacks of papers. Let me check my book collection. No, the only books I need are books. Hey, a book. Oh, more books. Nice. Okay, that might actually fill up my book collection, so we're not going to get any more books from now on. Stacks of papers we ignore. Hmm, yeah, I said I ignore books, so we'll ignore that book. Pretty hard to see in this dark, and my storm lantern has barely any fuel left, so it's for emergencies only. Probably place practically nothing but books. Who could want this? Books, stacks of papers, pillows, and other things to break apart for raw materials, but anything in the garbo? No. Mm, anything under or behind the chair? Nope, well then, next. The cave that the bear was in didn't have a warmth bonus, so it wasn't hardly a big concern for me. Right. Oh, yes! Delete this. We have never found any salty crackers yet, and now we've finally found one. That is great. I was worried that I was never going to get those from my shop, but they are on the list, so we need to get them. We've got to squint those eyes around here. It's getting dark, really dark. I once had somebody notice some matches that I couldn't see one here. in a situation. Ooh, oh, I don't need a can opener. I'll take a can opener. I've got loads of can openers. I don't need another one. Yeah, I'll take a can opener. 
you guys seeing anything that I'm missing? You know, outside of the outside of the usual. Uh, the list is something that I made. It's completely arbitrary. I just took numbers of what I assumed would be plausible amounts of goods that I could get on the run, and I rolled with it. Bottle under the bed. Oh, whoa! I, I see nothing but black here. But hope nobody needs this. Anymore. You're right. There's some spray paint, and we do need to grab spare, uh, spray paint for the store. Already building up quite a lot of weight. It should be fine though. More concerned about this horrible weather. What am I going to do? I could climb all the way up to the abandoned lookout. If we're up for doing a lot of climbing, that could help. We trade tiredness for... Wait, can we even climb that? I left my crampons at home, didn't I? Ugh. That's not a great climb for us. But it might still be worth it. Alright, go for it, Shep. Just look at our tiredness. Hang on, hang on. This is a bad way to go, actually. You need an additional rope to climb up, I believe. I just double checked. There's another rope that you need that isn't attached, so going up there is actually suicide. Oh, hello. Missed you. I did not. I caught you before. Alright, so unfortunately, we actually have to take the long way around. And that is unfortunate. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chef. I didn't need that reminder. Well, let's just uh, break a leg, so to speak. But not by climbing up there, not without my crampons. I actually kind of regret leaving home without the crampons. I miss them already. This game is so good at making you feel unbelievably cold. Probably a great game to play in summer, kind of like Frostpunk. If I recall well, when I first touched Frostpunk, it was summer. Well, uh, one of those incredibly hot summers that smacked Europe. 2018, I think? Or was it 17? Actually, that feels like too long ago. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, it was a very hot summer. And playing that game helped not me think about how unbearably hot it was. Feels like minus 22 up here. I feel like a lot warmer if I was protected from this wind in any way, but now the wind is blowing directly at me. Those poor trees are leaning over in it. As soon as I can, I need to make a sharp turn to the right. Ooh, this tr yeah, that sharp turn to the right. But this trailer has probably not been looted. In fact, it's rather nice that the only places I looted indoors up until now were Desolation Point and Crumbling Highway because it means that every building I come across is fair game. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 I saw something there. A hammer. Right, excellent. Uh, this is less excellent, I can't see in here. And I don't have a lot of juice inside my storm lantern. This thing's meant to be for emergencies. It's just about dying. Quickly now, quickly now. Anything hidden in awkward places? Kind of. There's a bit of juice under there. Alright, that's that. Do I dare go and get the juice? Is it even worth the time? Well, I'm tapped, I'm tapped out of juice, so I really don't need to get more. So I don't think I'll bother. Well, we go, go. Yeah, if I loot for the shop, it's around, Hurundi. And everything that I'm looking around here is purely for the shop. Once I deal with this, I'm going to do the lookout tower. 
and then I'll round, round back to the store, drop things off, and then I'll go... Actually, where will we go? We do have options. We have Bleak Inlet, we have Black Rock, we have the Summit, we have Pleasant Valley. I don't really want to go back to Mountain Town. We were just there, even though there's a ton to loot. But the main reason I'm coming right here right now is for some much needed coal. Can't see a dang thing, but it's fine. We can just sleep. Preferably with a full belly. Eat first, then drink. And then how long do we sleep? Oh, might as well sleep as long as possible. Wrapped in fur, it's achievement get. Bearskin bedroll, sleep whilst covered in uh, animal things, I believe. Yep, animal things. Running real low on water. Maybe I should have taken some more. I would quite like to not use a match to look around. I'm being way too tight fisted on my matches, right? This ain't a 2000 uh, day run. I drop heavy stuff at the entrance here, just in case I find an absolute load of goods. Including the bearskin bedroll, I guess. And why not? It's indoors, it should be fine. These books are surprisingly heavy. Then let's grab our torches. Light them up. And go and find all the coal in this mine. This is why we're here. We haven't been here in a long time. There should be a ton of coal that's respawned. A ton of coal that's respawned. Yep, it's just hiding around the corner for me. Right here. Right here. All this coal. Um, so much coal it's going to curl your... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, hmm. Don't make the fool of me, game. I'm here for untold riches of coal. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Made the turn earlier. Go here, nothing left here. Okay, not too shabby so far. Just that torch later, no problem. Same with this torch. Hmm, more coals respawned than I thought, but maybe it's because we've been away for so long. It's been weeks, maybe even more than a month since we were last here. Drinking liters of water before sleeping means that short sleeps frequented trips. Well, fortunately, that is not modeled in the game at all. Here, the ultra realism crew would love to have. Such bodily movements managed. Me, kind of glad not to have it. Especially since my runs tend to be uh, very much crutched with tea. Oh, and uh, a cat tail diet, which probably doesn't help those matters. Mm -hmm. I recently wanted to check the oldest videos on your YouTube channel. Ever since YouTube, for some reason, removed the option to sort by date, manually scrolling through several thousand videos is not really an option. Uh, I should be able to check that on my own uh, dashboard, but if I'm not mistaken, there'll be some old Golden Horde or Ramazan videos. Some really old EU4 stuff. Aztec. Yeah, I'd, I'd just rather not remember any of those videos existing. 
I'm sure I would crease up and cringe at hearing any of my old stuff, so like most things I don't want to indulge in, I just don't do it. How much cold do we have so far? 36! Oh my goodness, this is good. This is a solid check mark for reasons to stay in Coastal Valley then. So much coal. You've got this mine, the other mine, the other other mine, and you've got uh, the one towards Crumbling Highway as well. It's a coal extravaganza. And you don't really need to use that much coal. You just chuck on one, maybe two in a pinch on a fire to, to get the warmth. You shouldn't be using coal to have fire going for a long time. You should be using sticks and uh, fir wood for that. I wanted a sort of time capsule with a younger you. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Keep that a personal project, okay? Don't, don't involve me. I prefer to look forward, not back. Hello. I left myself a lot of coal here. I kind of need that now. I'll still leave that coal for future jaunts in that direction, but 50, bunch of, uh, 50 loads of coal to bring back home? Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, past Jake leaving me a present like this is lovely. I'm somehow not overweight. Hmm. Well, that's good. Despite all this coal and the other stuff that I grabbed. Oh, wrong way. Ass Jake is a crutch. Yeah, every place I go through, she just immediately have everything picked from it, and everything I drop behind just instantly despawns. It's the only way to make the game fair, right? By the way, Mike, why did you send me a video about lubing up an axe for chopping wood? It's just one of those things I wake up, bleary-eyed in the morning, and it's like, notification from Mike, I'm like, he hasn't sent me a message in years. It's, what the hell, man? He just laughs and says, why not? You, you want a list? How do you want the list sorted? I thought you'd like it, okay. Okay. Right. Dawn is coming. Oh, right, I'm not overweight because I dumped all my heavy stuff at the entrance. I will certainly be overweight on the way back. Even so, we'll try and preserve this fire and make our way back to... Oh, but it really attacked us up for metal. Nope. Grab the stuff, preserve the fire, make our way back to... I if I can drop any of this gear. Good God, I'm heavy. 52 kilos, right. Well, as long as I don't get too hefty, it shouldn't be too uh, too tired, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, conditions are nice. Right, heavy though we may be, let's get going. Jake, thought that maybe, if that is a bother, you could make one homogenous playlist with all your videos. Why? <laughs> it would be a... God knows how many thousands long playlist. How many videos do I have on YouTube? Last time I checked it was 3,000, and I checked last time years ago. If you really want to know my oldest stuff, I can easily... Oh, you know what, I will, I will do you a solid right now. I'll go straight onto my dashboard. It'll show me content. Sort by date. And what do we have here? It's taking a while to process that order. Uh, Golden Horde. Video 1 of who knows how many. 26th of February 2014. With a copyright strike, probably because it has Fala La La Lan in it or something similar. Followed by lots of Golden Horde videos, then Foie videos. And lots and lots of foie videos. Oh my days, I just had these chopped up in 15 minute blocks back then. Resetier 01. You know what? People don't need to hear this. 
Let's not go down that rabbit hole because if I end up looking at those old videos, I'm going to crease up with cringe and unlist all of them in order to maintain my sanity. And that's a very selfish thing to do, so I'm not going to do it. Ugh. Make my skin crawl just thinking about it. No one likes to be reminded of things they did in the past, even if they were good. One of the privileges of growing older is looking back and just seeing how terrible you were in days gone by. Uh, anyway, all that talking has made me forget where I am relative to where I should be. Um, I think I want to be going down and around here. There should be a lookout tower somewhere. Can't feel my hands. Oh wow, the temperature is really grim out here. Oh, well, should be a lookout tower somewhere. It being a tower, it should be easy to spot. You'd think. Hypothermic risk is doing its usual. Can't wait for my broken legs to set up crampons on as I come up here. Especially since I'm overweight. Always have incredible difficulty finding this lookout tower. How can it be so hard to find? It's a tower. You my dinner, dog. I do need a fire to warm up, buddy. Okay, I don't think breakfast dog is being my breakfast today. Sorry, a little bit of cold won't kill me. Not finding this tower could kill me, though. Where is it? You scat. Now where the heck is it? Up around here, perhaps? I think I had the same problem in Pleasant Valley. Ooh, but i tell you what we do have here. Maple saplings. I will take those. That whacking sound, I can tell I'm tearing it down with my... Um, hatchet rather than my hacksaw, which is interesting. To somebody. Where's Jcat now? We're on Coastal Highway. We're looting the houses and the coal mine. We got a huge amount of coal, thankfully. But we're trying and failing to find the lookout tower. Looks like I survived another night. Yes, well done, Shepard. We're all proud of you. Really need to preserve this fire, but I'm doing so anyway. Hold on, burning my excellent torches to do so. Must be wind blowing against me if I'm getting this slow. Surprise hasn't blown out my torch. Shelter from the wind, why not? Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Get away. Eat this bear meat while I'm at it. Lighten my load of touch. Same with chugging my water. Oh, I have no water. Okay. Not a fan of that fire, it, it, uh, that wind that is asking to blow up my fire right now. There's the lookout tower, thank goodness. Uh, I'll just leave the wolfie, he's having a fun time some way, somehow. Thermia risk is no joke, and it's doing some serious damage to me.
Don't have to be back here anytime soon, so we'll just pick these. Right, 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 right. What do you have for my store today? Actually, hoping not a lot because this is really heavy coming up here. I see an upturned um, thingamajigger, a seat, a book that I won't want. Uh, this stuff will come in handy. An agonizingly heavy tor um, rope. A whetstone that I don't need, so I won't take. I'm only taking stuff I need. Tinners. How am I doing on tinners? Probably need more. I usually need more. It's starting to weigh me down. Oh, this is going to be a slow walk home. I don't need that book. I don't think I need anything else here. Alright, well, let's take this very slow walk home. I'm not taking the matches. I don't need them for the shop, and I wouldn't be able to use them for myself, so I'll just leave them behind. We'll call it a present for future Jake. Cold. Feels pretty cool. Can I just nestle into somewhere protected from this wind for a little bit? Here, for example? And just, uh, just warm up a touch. A book on the floor next to the stove. Great safe placement. Keeps it safe for me, I guess. Right. Come on. On some coal, on some sticks. Just warm myself up a touch. And I could really do with some water. Just generally warming up a bit. to warm up a bit, I could sleep in here for one hour. Hope the wind doesn't change direction. That would be horrible and funny. Jake, would you consider modding this game? There are cool mods, like cold interiors. I wouldn't say there are cool mods. This game is not very mod-friendly. And the mods that I have seen seem pretty... Pretty base level. Feels like a lot of gear. It is a lot of gear, Shepard. Yeah, it's while I am sitting here just barely warming up, I'm gonna Well, I want a lot of torches out of this fire, so I will grab torches out of it, but I'll also harvest the ones I do have and then we'll get moving. changes direction and blows out my fire. I feel it coming already. We're quite close to the shop. It's not too bad to get back. I just wanted to alleviate some of that cold damage and get myself a drink. Anything else I need to care about putting on? Or anything I could prepare? I could always go some rose hips. Good enough, let's bring torches home. Even crummy ones. I mean, it's clear outside, so uh, starting a new fire later on with my mag lens will be easy. It's just, the game loves to cloud over in mere seconds and then deny you your mag lensing. A tragedy, I know. God, it's going to be a heavy walk home. Yeah, so paper has a way of smothering fire. It can be difficult to actually set paper alight. That's why newspapers are so good, because their particular paper is so easy to do that with. I've started plenty of home fire. You'll need to add in home parts, since I am friends with an arson. Oh, he's an arse, all right. Okay, if I take this shortcut, it's a very fast way home. 
but I, I worry it might be too fast. Oh yeah, oh crikey. Right, well, let's take a slightly safer spin on this. No crampons means significant risk of breakage. Don't worry about it, Shepard. Don't worry about it, just keep on going down. Okay, good job, good job. These are exactly the kinds of skills that keep the universe safe. Yeah, Skyrimming our way down. Oh, that's a bit... okay. Even a relatively short fall is enough to do in your delicate Canadian ankles. And that was just part one. There's part two over here. Thinking about it, I could have set the rope up there to create a shortcut, but shortcuts can make long delays. Especially when... Hang on, is there something here? There's someone here! If this uh, run ends due to a death, what do you think is the most likely cause of it? Um, bear attack or falling off a cliff? Those two seem the most likely. Oh man, I do not have the space in my backpack and stuff. Cold. I should have drank a cup of tea. Uh, there's nothing actually stopping me from making a lovely cup of tea right now. Eh, sod it, I'll take the slight condition damage on the way back. Yes, yeah, see, absent-mindedly walking off of this would get me killed. But non-absent-mindedly doing it would get me a neat shortcut. What's the goal for today? Today, we it's all about stacking up these shelves. We are really well kitted out for long-term survival. Feels like it's clouding over. So it's just a case of making use of that. Oh, see, now that looks like a dangerous fall. Let's find a way to make it a little less dangerous. Like that. Oh, oh, that was very dangerous, but we made it. So we're going around the buildings that we've been ignoring till now, looting them and bringing the goods back to the shop. The main reason we're so slow right now is because we found some heavy tools and I'm sure there's another reason. The coal, right, this coal is heavy as hell. Merchant is a community challenge. No. Not that I'm aware of, at least. I just wanted to loot and loot hard. Even though we're heavy as hell, we see sticks, we grab sticks. As long as we don't get full on hypothermic on the way back, we should be able to recover any damage taken quite easily. Although I would like to bring the fire to my front door and hack up those wolves that I left behind. Stink, but I also don't have any food on me apart from those crackers that I found. And those crackers are not only important for the store because they're difficult enough to find, they're also... Not something we're allowed to use, because we found them indoors. As per the Outer Loper rules, we can only use things that we found outside of man-made structures. There's a lot of grey areas, and I've outlined those grey areas in the link at the top of the stream. Which, if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, I suppose you don't see, do you? I think I put the link to that in my first video on the playlist. I usually do that if there's info in a run. I put it on the first video. In particular, there were a couple of outtake runs where I died. So there's a link to those videos in the first video in the playlist as well. Yeah, there goes the wrist. So I won't be able to use a bow now. Hopefully I don't have to. Carrot Smuggler misses the worms. Well, you know, I do not miss the worms. Not by a long shot. Okay, there we go. At least the wrist won't slow me down. 
But this wind looks like it's blowing in my face, and that will slow me down, so I'm trying to stay away from the wind. So apparently in the content that they're adding this year, they're going to give you a craftable thing that allows you to drag heavy goods further. Looking forward to that, because this is one of the less enjoyable experiences in Lawn Dark, hauling lots of heavy stuff from one point to another. But I suppose that encourages you to make multiple bases. If you just have one central base where you bring everything to, yeah, there's going to be a lot of this. But... And that's why you should have a base everywhere. Maybe even multiple bases, because some areas are very large. Like, have a base at the north and the south of Forlorn Muskeg. Have a base in a triangle formation across Bleak Inlet. Have an east and west side base in Ravine. You get the, you get the picture. I don't think you should have just one base. One main base, perhaps. Not just one base. So, okay, right, actually over there is our shop. It didn't cloud over, so bringing this fire with me was not actually that necessary. It's just meant a lot of condition damage for me. I hear they're overhauling fire starting as well. You learn a game and then they decide to change it all up. Such is what I get. This is when I went out fairly light laden, however... Every time we check things off of our shopping list, it's fewer things that we actually have to stop and grab. So we wouldn't have had to get the heavy hammer. And we hopefully don't need to go out and grab 50 bits of coal again. How about five main bases? Well, as many as you want. It's like playing... Uh, it's like playing a strategy game, like Civilization or Dominions. Are you going to have one main place? Why not build... Your citadels of power in five places, ten places. Why not have every province be a citadel of power? If your blood economy is that good. Yeah, I have a lot of sticks and I want to start carving up these doggies out front. And cooking them. The corpses are still there. It's good. The weather is still. The wind is let. And hopefully the wind remains let, because there's a lot of cutting and cooking I wish to do here. This is the shop. Yes. You haven't seen the shop? Well, you are potentially in for a treat. It just clouded over right now, I think. Even so, let's set you down. Use our torch. Burn this stick. And start a good long fire. Bung that on. One bit of coal and a bunch of sticks. Wow, I, I bunged too much on there already, but what the heck. Uh, Fido's meat can go first. Right, I'm going to ditch what I have right now. I'm going to bring out a couple of cooking pots and we are going to get cooking. And I hope that the. I hope that when I open this door it doesn't place me straight at the fire. That would be hilariously bad. Right, what do we need to drop? We found. The heavy hammer. Uh, yeah, you, I guess. Have you on display with the rest of the tools? What else did I find? These books. Book, 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 book. I uh, found a ton of coal. I mean, what do I do with coal? I just store it here. I don't want to care too much about coal. We'll keep 44 units of coal in there. I'm already much, much lighter now. Uh, what else did I find out there? Oh, I found these uh, green mixed saplings. Shove them over here to cure. Dunk, dunk. I found these jeans. Buy jeans. I found some tinners. I'll organize these properly later. I've got cooking to do. Tonk tonk. Anything else I found indoors? The rope. Oh, and this uh, spray paint. Finally check rope off the list. Crackers as well, but where's the rope? I don't think I need that scrap metal. Where's the rope? There's the rope. Oh man, that's a load off my backside. 
delicious salty crackers. I'm just throwing them down because I need to quickly get to work. Did all the books look like this? I think they turned into the same design when I stepped. They certainly look different when I grabbed them. There we go. I'll make a proper camp later on, but right now I've got stuff to cook. Don't place me in the fire. Ooh. Okay, I was a little worried that it would. Uh, keep the wolfy meat, wolfy meat going for now, but I wanted my cooking pots because then things will cook faster. Your scrap metal is safe to use, Jake. You found it in the mine. Thanks for that. I know things are safe to use when I put them back here, and I probably will want to use it. What did I come in here for? My cooking pots. Come to me, come to me. Cheers, Chumro. It's good to know people have got my back. Right. That fire is relatively sheltered, but wind might still come and ruin my day. Now, whilst that is doing its thing, I've got some doggies to carve up. Let's use my knife, my nice and good neck. You need a horse. I know you're hungry, Shepard. You're always bleeding hungry. This is just a small bit of wolf, so down the hatch it goes. Should have plenty to burn on the campfire. Done in 15 minutes, so take 15 minutes of meat off the dog. Now, the reason I'm insistent on doing my fire outside is because outdoor fires burn longer. It's very important. It makes my fuel twice as efficient. It doesn't strictly work that way, but it might as well work that way, especially when it's this cold. From 0 degrees to minus 30 degrees, it linearly increases the time that the campfire will last, up to 100% extra. Right, get scooping. All I can think about is food. Oh, Shepard, you're hungry. You're always hungry. using the pots because it's faster to cook with those. It's just a shame campfire only has two cooking slots. I'd love to do a lot more cooking. I'd also love to smash up these pallets to keep this fire going longer, but uh, there's plenty of downsides to that. For example, I'd have to spend two and a half hours doing that, and I don't really have two and a half hours to do that. Can I, what can I also do? I can scoop out your guts in the last year meat. Actually, I don't care about that tiny scrap of meat. Just give me your guts. Sounds like bull crap. What, you mean the fire burning longer outside thing? It is a lot of bull crap. That is true. Take that, take that. Let's continue to work on the wolf meat. Scoop out the guts. Oh, don't blow out my fire. The fire is blowing out. Wait, the... Oh, Jesus. So the, the fire... The, the wind changed direction blew out my fire, but... It didn't actually blow out the fire. The fire is still safe. I can still add... Oh, well. I can, I can't. The game can't make up its mind. Anyway, wind suddenly changing direction kicking your campfire right in the face is always a pain. Especially since i got a good temperature going here and I wanted to put it to good use. You know, when I think about it, why am I even doing it here? Isn't there a perfectly usable fire out back? Mm, no, no there's not. I must have been thinking of somewhere else. I thought there was a fire barrel around the back here. 
Fire barrels are nice because they're uh, safe from the cold, but you, uh, or the wind rather, but you can't make one. I think I might take this fire inside. the fire and keep some cooking going on in here. I certainly have a lot of sticks for it. Again, the game insists on using my cardboard matches instead of my torch for this. Which is a good reason to drop the freaking matches. Come on. While I'm dealing with everything else, just make me a little bit of water. You're not gonna last for that long, so take a whole bunch of sticks. I already have quite a bit of water, so that's no big deal. Yeah, still a little windy as sin, but hey, the, the, the meat cooked. All these indoors for curing. And I'll leave the bear meat here. I'll focus on cooking rancid dog meat. Too heavy. I better be careful, I'm almost too hungry. Right, moldy wolf meat cooked. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It'll be nighttime soon, which is fine. I need a good long sleep after all this work. I didn't take my cooking pots indoors, did I? No, I did. Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's no curing meat. You just get it raw, and then you cook it or you don't cook it. Go on, you go. Cook moldy meat. Cook moldy meat. Uh, the big ones. Got more guts to cure is also a nice thing. It's not all what I wanted to drop here. I wanted to drop guts. Guts for curing. I don't think I have anything to do on the workbench, and my clothes seem to be in reasonably good nick. At least the ones that I'm willing to repair. Things that cost cloth are a different story altogether. That head wrap actually costs a fair bit of cloth. Oh, I did burn most of my sticks doing this, though. If it weren't so windy, it would be actually quite nice to spend the late afternoon slash evening going out and gathering firewood. That'll tire me out and then give me a good long uh, reason to sleep. For now, though, I'm just going to put up all this nasty, moldy wolf meat while I can. And whilst it cooks, just absolutely make sure that I've ditched everything that I wanted to ditch. Oh, I found this old t-shirt indoors as well, didn't I? I missed that. How did the meat get here? Yeah, I'm sure some biologist out here would have an answer for us as to why exactly meat goes moldy. Mm, yeah, this coal takes up a valuable display area. I'm just going to dump the coal somewhere quite unceremonious. I think eight coal is what I have to have on the on stall, so uh, on on the store. So we'll just ditch it there. Thing that I have to make, which is nice. Although I would love to have the makings for more bandages. Basically, I need a lot more cloth as usual. I studied biology. The answer is in this instance because it's a game. Spring, don't I? Give me that. 
I did not actually mean to eat that. Those big chunky bits of wolf meat, not the wee crappy ones. Unless that's cooking, let's see if there was any see if there were any sticks or things outside of my name on them. Lovely, easy to grab sticks. Uh, oh, nothing easy to grab about you, and because I've injured my hand, I can't shoot you with a bow. So I think Lord Barrington has opinions about me searching outside right now. It's tempting to shoot him, but really I don't need more raw meat. I need more meat cooked right now. Uh, we sprained our hand climbing down. We weren't wearing our crampons in favour of getting the rather minute warmth bonus from the ear wrap. I'm starting to wonder if I actually want this ear wrap. Crampons are just so good at preventing those scraps. You know what? I will stick to the crampons. They're a bit heavier, but not getting the sprains is so nice. It also reduces the max maximum running amount, but that's okay. Your sprain is healed. No, the pain from the sprain is healed. The sprain itself, I need to rest for two hours. Or use a bandage, but bandages are not much of an option for me. How much more of this stuff do I have? The answer is a ton of it. Let's keep all my lovely edible meat over here. Not accidentally mixing it with the raw stuff. Raw stuff should stay on the floor. If if it's here at all. bad about this fire going out, but I do not want to waste precious um, coal on it. Besides, it's making me a good chunk of food right now. I'm looking for an apple. Do you have any stock? Someone get this joker out of my store. An apple. You know, people like you are the reason I keep a gun and a hammer right by my hands when I'm at the shop. You want you want some of the heavy hammer? Or do you want some of the pistol? Can't actually use the pistol because I've got my injured hand right now, but if I if I could. Yeah, we might have a lot of it, but that doesn't stop it being precious, Marvin. Right, anything I care to do before I go to sleep. Stink to high hell here, so I drop my ruined meat. Get this ready, we'll eat, we'll drink, we'll sleep. Although, was, was there really. No, I wanted to go out and check for firewood, but. As I said, Lord, Lord Barrington is on the prowl, and he'd probably have a thing or two to say about that. I would quite like to do a stop take on my shop, though. This stuff won't burn, because the fire will go out before then. So I will check off what I've brought in, and you can check along with me. So still no I need fire strikers. I have a mag lens, so this is okay, I can check that one off at the end. Uh I didn't think I don't think I did any of those, although I should grab eight sticks at some point. We have our coal, accelerant, and fire log. Books we should have plenty of. How many books do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we never need to worry about grabbing books again, ever. The pharmacy has three out of four emergency stims. I have the fourth one in my hand, but I'm keeping it on me just in case I really need that. Ooh, four bandages are needed. I'll make two... I'll make four bandages and put them on display. And... Uh, wound dressings are needed. I don't know how many of these I need to make wound dressing. I make one out of three of these. I have four. Five, six, so that's two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Should be able to make plenty of that and have it on display. Okay. 
Um, before we do more of that, forget the drinks. Although I'll need to cook up some coffee if I want to make more of that. Uh, DIY stuff. I got a billion feathers on command, so I'm just going to put that at eight. Mm, they're not on display, though. I'll put them on display later. I <laughs> know the car battery will be a pain, but we've got the rope. We have a number of sewing kits here. One, two, three. All right, three sewing kits then. I'm sure there'll be more. We've got a lot of spray paint by now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, we never need spray paint again. We do have two hammers, I believe. Uh, I thought I had two hammers. Why is there only one hammer here? Don't tell me I need to grab another. Okay, the other hammer is there. Good, we're at two heavy hammers. Uh, one simple tool. Actually, I have four quality tools. I've got a ton of wet stones. I won't look at clothes right now. Flares, lantern fuel. Oh, that's when I had more lantern fuel. No, I've only got two. I must have gobbled the rest up. And as for groceries, one, two, three, four barred food. That's true. Um, it's more the tinned food. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen tinners. So we only need two more tins of food. Now we need to stop. Then we don't need to worry about dragging any more of them back. I don't think I have any of the rest of these, although my ketchup crisps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, it's actually pretty good. We're coming along pretty nicely on that list. Takes really living the childhood dream of any Englishman picking coal from a mine. Not an English man, perhaps an English boy. All right, let's make those goods here. So bandages. Let's make four bandages and put them immediately on display. You can craft things like this in the dark, thankfully, somehow. And four of these wound dressings. Okay, and of course it's too dark for me to see where they're going to go, but I think what I'll do is... I'll leave the lichen on the floor for now, even though it's un unsightly. Actually, it is unsightly, and I don't think lichen goes off. So... Where is it? Yeah, lichen doesn't seem to go off at all, so I'm just going to store it in here for now. And then, as soon as I can see in the morning, I will put four bandages and four wound dressings on display. And that'll be that. I also need to check it off on my list. So bandages, four, yes. Wound dressings, four, yes. And I... Made sure I used the cloth that I had found indoors for that, because there's no way I'm using my precious cloth that I found outside to make those. I'm going to fill our belly with moldy cooked wolf meat, take a, uh, take a drink, and take a long sleep. As long as we can. Uh, no, no, we're not tearing up a cardboard box. We're going to B-E-D. Oh, there was an aurora! Ah, damn. I'm gonna miss that, so I won't be able to take advantage of it and go into the mine. Although, hey, look! We can finally go on the internet! Can fun post on all my favourite sites. Oh, you're meant to be able to interact with these, instead you just get that weird bit there. Also, why are the lights not on? That was the lamest aurora I've ever seen. Right, satiate ourselves with food as well. And then consider what we do now. There are more places to loot here in Coastal Highway, and I think I do want to go and do that looting. It requires going out and around, maybe even doing a bit of beachcombing, do Jackrabbit Island, the fishing camp, and there are other buildings over in that direction, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure if it's worth it in general, actually. What could Jackrabbit Highland really have for us? A lot of jackrabbits, perhaps, but I'm not sure if it's going to be that good for us. What we need are houses. Houses with good stuff in them. The Pleasant Valley would have that for sure. Hmm. 
You can, it's just the screen bugs out every now and then. Okay, it's certainly bugging out on us now. Ooh, what do we do? What do we do? Well, we can't. S Wait, this is leave the gas station? Where even am I? Feels like minus 22 out here, which isn't brilliant. That's what we get for being out in the dead of night. Ooh, these planks would actually make for some good uh, wood to to burn with. I'd immediately take some coal damage doing that. That might not be a great idea right now. Yeah, we're still instantly losing lots and lots of warmth. Bear meat is still to be cooked. What a shame. Thirty-three kilos. I feel like that's a bit overweight. What am I carrying that's so excessive? Only one bit of coal, after all. Mm -hmm. Crampons aren't that much weight. It's only half a kilo, and a quarter of that is gone. So we're wearing... oh, I suppose this meat I just picked up, and I should travel with some water as well. I'm not thrilled at how dark and cold it is right now. If I can find my way to the bed, if I can tell where I am, I think that was the entrance way. So if I go through here, I'm in the workshop. Back here is my bed. And I can just pass time for a couple of hours because I can't think what else I'd do. I don't know if you burn fewer calories and just generally passing time rather than doing stuff, but that should be fine. Satiate ourselves on water, and then we're heading out. So, chat. Bleak Inlet and Pleasant Valley are two obvious places to go and loot. Which will we do? Bleak Inlet or Pleasant Valley? Yeah, the, the broken ribs healed up quite a while ago. But then we got uh, parasites in our intestines, which was, in a sense, even worse. No, I'm just doing a just doing a finger in the air. Bleak Inlet sounds fun, says Chumro. Wick wants Unpleasant Valley. Bleak Inlet, Bleak Inlet, Bleak Inlet, Bleak Inlet, Bleak Inlet. I guess we're doing Bleak Inlet then. I'm not very familiar with Bleak Inlet, which is probably all the more reason to go and get familiar with it. Um, let's load up on food. Grab our water and get going. I'm being a bit heavy because I know that what I want to get is certain items. Right, that's quite a bit of water, but just give me a litre and a half of it. There we go. Now we've got about 13 kilos of spare space, and you can even go about 10 kilos over that and still move. And some of this stuff I'll be eating as I go along, and drinking as I go along. Alright, so Bleak Inlet means going through and down the ravine. Unless we go all the way to Forlorn Muskeg and take the cave from there, but I think we'll do that on the way out instead, because that leaves us a lot of coal to grab on the way out rather than on the way in. Ooh, speaking of coal, I would actually like some coal on me in case we desperately need the heat. So, what do we have? We'll have six coal on us. Uh, I don't know if there's coal to be found around there. Well, there is the mine, uh, the cave system that leads out of Bleak Inlet that we could check if need be, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of wood and stuff to grab along the way. Don't want to overburden myself with coal. Need the charcoal. God knows I won't be needing that right now. It's easy enough to get. I'm going to take two cans rather than any cooking pots with me. Otherwise, we should be good. We should be very... Oh, God, I've got a can opener. That is one thing I do not need on me. I'm just going to ditch it here. That's a quarter kilo that nobody needs weighing them down. Alright, it's going to be a cold journey over there. I'm sure we'll be fine. Onwards to the ravine. Ooh, it's clear. Clearly very cold. Holy crap, morning is cold. Better get a move on then. 
kind of tempting to go to Jackrabbit Island along the way just to see what's in it, but it makes no sense to be checking that out as we're leaving. Now, sleeping opportunities aren't great on the way over to Bleak Inlet, at least until we get to the ravine. That also means that opportunities for being cold are plentiful, so let's get a move on. Feels nice moving this quickly though. Holy smokes, look at us go. There's a spring in our step. I doubt we need all these fishing lines with us. We could ditch those for inventory cleanliness. Uh, that's not a really good reason to do that. I suppose part of the reason I was so light was not a lot of burnables, right? Yeah, nine sticks and six coal is nothing. I want every stick I can find, because heaven knows I'll probably need to make a fire along the way. Not on that set our limb, though, much as I would like it. Just checking that trunk. Clearly fries it open already. I would be interested in finding a battery as close to the store as possible, because dragging a battery over there is not going to be fun. Do you have your bearskin bedroll? You made me worry there, but yes, I have my bearskin bedroll. We didn't deploy it, we were sleeping in the bed in the shop. Now, early on, we had this idea that we wouldn't be sleeping on the job, but on reflection, terrible rule, so we immediately got rid of it the moment we had to do the agonizingly long crafting. Because otherwise, it's just a lot of back and forthing outside, awkwardly setting up positions to sleep. It's our store, anyway. Mmm, sticks. Laugh at the hypothermic damage, even though we're already down at, what's that, 60, 70% condition? Oh, right, there are fishing caps over here. I'm actually going to check those out on the way, and if there are goodies, I'm going to leave them maybe on the... somewhere prominent inside the fishing cabin. There's the Aurora Mine. I'm trying to think of a reason to go in there. I'm not coming up with anything, because it's not an Aurora. Checks on reflection. Interloper, where you just go into buildings and use them as normal. I don't think I could ever go back. It's just so easy compared to Outer Loper. This run has been a lot of uh, a lot of difficulties and challenges to overcome, and it's been all the better for it. Hang on, is it just this one building? Oh, this isn't the fishing camp. This is just some some weird uh, cabin here, which I can barely see in. I get barely see in. I cannot see in. But there's a shelter breakdown. Well, this isn't convenient at all. There's an old bedroll here. Could be sliced up for um, cloth. And whilst I do need cloth, I wouldn't be allowed to use it because we would have gotten from indoors. Seem obvious to myself, like I repeat myself a lot, but there are people that come in constantly going, Oh, what's up with this? Interloper, but what? Check for my ag lens. You often get it at dawn, even when cloudy. Really? Not quite nice. Can we just make a cheeky little fire here? Absolutely not. Oh. Feels like it got brighter between that transition. But I might have imagined it. Do you think you'll be mostly done with the game after Outer Loper? Uh, I struggle to think of something to do after this. Oh, it's hard to see in here. And I'm totally not just stalling for time to warm up. I'd never be so underhanded. Well, this, this place is a bust, unless there's something obvious that I'm missing. There's just nothing in here. Maybe I already checked this a while ago. No, because the container there wasn't already checked. Yeah, my lens won't do it. Right, not another building here. You're boarded up and cannot be entered. The other house I think here is just burned out. So we continue on, grabbing every wee stick we can. Nice to know that I can use the bow, since my hand is healed up. 
delicate Canadian wrists getting destroyed on a climb down on snow. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. It's a little bit more direct if I just go over the ice, but I'm sticking to the roads. I tend to find more sticks that way. Like so. So yeah, even wearing eight dogs and probably twelve deer, our heat just evaporates because we're past day fifty on interloper, and the weather does not mess around. Got a lot of sticks. Mm. They're just so good, especially at level five fire starting. Mm. Fido wants to have a word. I don't really want to have a word with him, but we have a number of ways to shake him from here, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't want to waste the arrow condition on him, because I wouldn't be putting his body to use. Man, we move fast when we're not uh, not knackered. Did you give As the Dead Sleep a shot yet? So I have the achievement for that, but I have no recollection of doing it. So either I did it ages ago without even knowing, or... It somehow awarded me that achievement for doing the Dark Walker. Neither of those make much sense, but I suppose another idea is that I have actually been an avid Long Dark player for years, and some incident made me manage to forget all about it. By the time you've dried out a bow, killed an animal, dried out their skins, the clothes you have are basically useless. The clothes that you find, manufactured things like uh, shirts and parkas and uh, hats and things, many of them become redundant. I check that fishing hut. The door is open, but I'm going to check anyway. Or rather, double check right now. Apparently, I have already checked you. But well. Killing Fido next to that would be a reasonable way of staying warm, but nope. We don't need his meat. I have plenty of meat. In fact, that's probably why he noticed me, because I do have a little bit of Pong going on. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm doing no Goa. No Goa seems incredibly dull. Difficult, sure, but dull kind of difficult. Uh, ruined Socks. A little bit tempting, actually. Because I could have some more... Oh, I should have taken note of how many clothes I had on the shop, but I said, nah, let's not bother with that. Um, how many socks do I need to get? What does my list tell me? It tells me I need two pairs of socks. I could always just take off some socks that I have at the end and put them on display. That's no biggie. So I don't think I'll bother with clothes in general. We have loads of clothes. I might need shoes, though. I haven't found a lot of shoes. Hmm. Well, this cabin blows. Fortunately, there are three cabins. Yeah, better clothes are just plain better. Because the world gets colder for the first 50 days. It eventually gets 20 degrees ambient colder. And the weather gets really bad as well. So yes, you do want good clothes. Although some people play this game naked, I'm told. Uh, that's kind of nice. Antiseptic, some mittens, some reclaimed wood. Ooh, some shoes. All of this isn't too shabby for the store. The reclaimed wood's not a big deal. I can get that easily enough in many ways, but this is still a conveniently close location to the shop for it. Both beds give 60 degree warmth bonus, even though this one's just a mattress and this one's actually got a duvet. Well, it would be hard-pressed to call that a duvet. How is that in any way something to sleep under in Canada? Um, doesn't sound very nice out there. Jeez, the weather's brutal. VR of this game. You play in a temperature controlled room. I'm sure there are people that would spend a lot of money to make that a reality. Mm. Sounds like the equivalent to that 
DDR thing where they had flamethrowers blasting you for every wrong step you made. Well, there is actually nothing in here. Not a sausage. Maybe there was stuff inside the containers that uh, degraded away due to bad condition. I don't know. Coming out of here, I want to leg it up towards the ravine. But I could stop by Lord Barrington's fishing cabin. Or a couple of trailers. Not entirely sure either way, but... Oh, boy. I do know that whatever I do, I'm not going to like it. What little warmth we had immediately melts away. Yeah, running into Lord Barrington here would put a swift end to the campaign. Because I think he'd kill me from this, pos uh, this position. He shouldn't spawn in a blizzard, though, I think. Oh, well, this cabin isn't doing anything for me. <laughs> it's long gone. Right, what do we do then? What do we do? We need to think. Otherwise this blizzard will be the end of us. It really will be the end of me if I'm not careful. I should settle down and start a fire and wait this out a bit. Holy smokes, it feels like minus 67! That is no joke. Well, it's not a good joke. If I'm in shelter, it still feels incredibly cold. And there's not a lot of good shelter available here. Hey, it looks like I took shelter here in the past. Right, this should be sheltered. So, as miserable as this condition might be, let's get you lit up right here. Of course, the mag lens isn't going to work in this situation. Lost in a blizzard, just got high and lost a possible run ender. We got coal, we got uh, ways to start a fire. Let's not worry about it, just bung on. Two bits of coal, a few sticks. And maybe even take a nap. If I can position you well enough. Come on, bearskin bedroll. You're letting the team down here. I think the wind just changed direction, thankfully. Oh, it did. It just changed direction right into my campfire. Alright, well, how about you make me some rose hips while we're busy being blasted by this cold? Why are you tucking yourself to the corner instead of the fire? Yeah, good point. I just feel more cozy when I'm the one in the corner. But uh, yeah, the, the wind just knew where I was and changed direction to screw with me in horrible ways. But I'm just going to chug this for the warmth and warmth bonus. And I, I mean, it's not going to last, but hell, let's go. Where even am I? Why am I cold? Just, yeah, my warmth is just disintegrating. <laughs> I need a bit of a clue where I am. Uh, divining stick. Which way is north? That way is north? Oh, okay, oh, sure, why not? Cold is making my head feel thick. <sighs> Ain't the time to be wowing at uh, maple things. Sorry, Shepherd. 
blizzard came out of bloody nowhere. I mean, I could sit here, chuck on another bit, uh, another couple bits of coal, and just hope that this subsides a bit. Might be a decent idea, actually. Don't do me dirty like this, blizzard. Not entirely sure where I am. I need a couple bits of coal to keep me warm. Give me a give me a lovely hour of kip if you don't mind. I could actually get my bedroll somewhere. <laughs> okay, no. Oh, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Doesn't your map show the maple? Uh, well, the map I have does, but I don't know if it's that maple. It might be. Keep that on us. Oh yeah, if I wanted to repair this, what would it take? Ugh, it does take cloth to repair. Uh, that's not great news, but it is news. it's way too poor a condition to map anything of the area. Mm -hmm. Divining stick, which way is north? That way is north. Then maybe I've gone way too far over to the west without realizing it. That would be something. If I went that way and turned right and there was a fishing cabin, I'd know where I am. If not, well, God knows. But there's not much imperative to do anything other than sit here and suck my thumb in how horrible a condition this is. Actually, it's a good opportunity to get some extra sleep then. As long as we only sleep an hour at a time because it's very, very risky to do more. Because as the wind changes direction, it could kill my fire, and then suddenly I start freezing in my death. And on an interloper, you don't wake up when you start freezing. On easier difficulties, you do. Okay, game, you've, you've maybe made your point. <laughs> Gathering a lot of weight in water, but that's fine. Actually, I wonder if you move faster when you... Whoa, whoa, wind has changed direction and is looking right at us, but has... We're miraculously covered somehow. I guess it's one of those low-angled winds. Loaded on food because I love well fed bonus. I on tea ingredients these days. Once upon a time, I couldn't get enough of it. Having this dirty water. You know, just just cook that out of my inventory. There we go, seems to have subsided. 
that case, bearskin bedroll, come with me. We were too slow, the, wa uh, the water boiled out, but what I can do is keep this fire with me for a while. Torches, since we have a huge amount of inventory space for them. As long as, the as long as the weather doesn't go to hell, we should be able to carry this nicely. But yeah, if I were in a cave, I wouldn't have had to waste a lot of coal and stuff. A lovely warm cave would keep me good, but one of the reasons Coastal Highway is not good for outer loafing is that there are not a lot of natural places to take shelter like that. Right, where in the world am I? Oh, okay. There's the fishing cabin. <laughs> Again, if it weren't outer loafing, I would have just ducked in there to get rid of the storm, but we are, so we got to deal with it. We will, however, grab this mushroom and raid the fishing cabin. Might be anything good in it. I feel really light on tea ingredients, and I don't want to turn my back on my save here, so grab tea we shall. The laptop in here. I bet the whole farm that there's nothing in here. There's never anything inside something you have to pry bar open. And this is no exception. By the way, I bet everything, so uh, you owe me everything. Now. Blade shirt. Interesting. I mean, I might want that at some point. But I highly doubt it. I don't think we need more clothes. Same with books. <laughs> the game wants to show off dysentery. I should have read up on what dysentery does in the game, because... There's a little bit of a temptation to go, Haha, let's just go and catch all the diseases, like... Uh... Let's not go there, but... Yeah, show them off. But maybe that's a terrible idea. Oh man, it's lovely and warm now. It only feels like minus six, not the minus sixty we were enjoying earlier. I don't want to lose the height that I have. This height might be useful in getting up to the uh, ravine entry area faster. Maybe it won't make a difference. Hmm. Yeah, the Pokemon run. Catch every disease. Well, thankfully I don't think there's 151 of them. Gen 1 for life. I know it has its faults. There is a trailer over there. Do I want to check it while I'm here? Sort of, especially while the going is good. So, uh, nah, if I ever come back this way, I can go that way as a bit of a shortcut. Also, didn't I already check it? Didn't I check the trailer in the cabin on the way in when I was coming back? Maybe not, I was already super overloaded. Yes, this is a problem not keeping track of where you're checking. All 1,008 of them? Nope. Unless we're doing Poké Fusion. Then I can fusion Hitmonchan and Kingwood. Right, the ravine. Once again. But this time we will not leave the ravine towards Mystery Lake. Even though I'd really like to check some of the Mystery Lake areas, they should be pretty loaded. Yeah, this would be a hilarious place to end the run. Just whoop, off the edge we go, whoop, off the edge we go, whoop, no. I think some people would legitimately cry about that. Potentially including me. Whoop. <laughs> what if we go really close to the edge? No, 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 no. Let's clear this before I even think about hitting the auto walk key. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Crying laughter, maybe as some people would. Right, that's such a good time of day for exploring. So I feel bad about having wasted that coal on the fire, though now I've only got enough coal to dig me out of one, maybe two grim situations. 
Well, I always have the stim. Stim's always got my back. Marvin showing his sadistic streak there. He's the one hoping for me to have such a bad time now. After everything I do around here. Get to Thursday, let's just chug, chug, chug. That's good. I would like to search for some birch bark stuff, even though I just recently checked for it. I don't know how frequently birch bark respawns, though. Hmm. Tricky choice, but I'm on the way towards it anyway, so I may as well. Birch bark tea is just such a boon. Especially since I've taken about half of my health and damage, courtesy of all that cold that I was in earlier. That will slowly come back over time, just by not having any uh, issues, but I'd rather get it back at an accelerated rate, either with some good rest. Uh, actually, I will probably sleep at the bottom of the ravine in the warm part of the cave, because there's no way I'm going to need a fire down there. It does mean losing my fire, so hopefully I'll bring it down there and uh, hunt some rabbits or something to enjoy while I'm down there. Speaking of hunting rabbits, any around here that are looking to be hunted by me. So I could do with some rabbity meat just to keep me going. I'm sure they didn't hunt every rabbit here to oblivion. But I'm not seeing any rabbits, so maybe. Did, I leave, did past Jake leave present Jake any presents here? Water, some, uh, some curing or cured guts, but aside from that, nothing worth caring about. Or at least not worth getting excited about. That makes sense. I was here quite recently, so it's going to be full of the world's best goodies. Even so, I appealed for any rabbits. What about deer? Would I care about a deer here? Not at the top of the ravine, then I couldn't reasonably bring it to the bottom of the ravine. Are those corpse crows, or...? No, no, they're just meaningless crows that mean nothing. And if you think they are indicating something, you are off your rocker. Although sometimes they mean bears. I don't know how they're different. But I have heard of bear uh, crows. Man, it feels good being fast, but it also feels unusual being fast. Let's not slip and fall to our death down here. Mm -mm. Okay, here's where I want to check for birch bark and rabbits. Great spawning grounds for both those things. However, I did recently pick this place. Maybe not clean, but certainly came and did some picking. Crows indicate weather transition. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, Asselker. Well, not a lie, but I don't think it's true. After all, what weather transition are we seeing? It's still kind of misty, non-breezy. No snow. It's like a rumor, like something being under the truck by SSN. So I should be going down there right now, but I'm doing a quick check here for birch bark and rabbits, because we have plenty of carry weight, and it's very warm right now, although it's about to get a little bit chilly. That's okay, though. I can handle a little bit of chill. Actually, not a whole lot, and if I'm not about to see some obvious birch bark or rabbits, then I'm going to give up my search and actually head down so I don't take too much condition damage. 
last check. If there's nothing at this peak that I can see, we're turning back. No, no, and never felt so cold. In my Yoink! Life. It's one birch bark tea. Good enough. That'll almost undo the damage that I'm certainly taking just by being here. There is something to be said about uh, just popping it down right here and, and drinking it here and now. And you know, I have the fire, so why not? Don't use the cardboard match as your tool. Timing gets messed up from speaking to the fire when you're uh, when you're level five at this. Right, prepare that birch bark. Just the one. Look at my condition, dying to the cold. Yep, I know, I know. Don't worry, we'll get it all back right now. Give me that birch bark to you right now, please. Nothing else to see or care at here. This time's already immediately drink. Gives me a small amount of warmth, but also the warming up bonus, so it should be all I need. And a fresh fire to bring down with me. A uh, torch, rather. Speaking of which, I don't like littering the world with these torches, so let's bring them back when we can. Well, is it really littering? It's leaving unprocessed wood lying around littering. Hmm. Sounds a little too... Uh for my tastes. Not hypothetical, philosophical. Right, down we go, go. This is my first ever trip to Bleak Inlet, apart from when I played the Dark Walker, and that totally doesn't count. I wonder if you can Billy Goat down here. We will not be climbing up this to get out of here, no way. It's a big climb. What I will instead do is take the cave system to Forlorn Muskeg to get out, because that way I can loot Mystery Lake on the way out. Unless Bleak Inlet is so good for me that it has all these things that I need to take back. Boy, my condition is ass. I really need to rest up good and long tonight. It's all the more reason that this climb down is very useful for me. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to climb back up. I'm too tired. I would die. I'd lose my grip and fall, and my condition's so low the fall would kill me. It's getting pretty chilly. Let's, uh, let's make haste and lay waste. I don't mind all the running because we're going to be tiring ourselves out for a good long sleep anyway. I'm going to take some stones because there should be a rabbit around here that's just begging to get my belly. Nice stuff. I want to tear up for uh, branches though. Uh, not branches, but um, bark. Alright, eyes peeled for the bunny. Should be down here somewhere. At least one of them, preferably more, but the amount of wildlife actually reduces over time as well. I don't think it ever completely goes away, but... There, yeah, well, there's my bunny, at least. Alright, bunny, time to get in my tummy. If I can remember how to do this, I go here, I go drop, I go here, and I go... Come on out, bunnykins. Where'd you wander over to? Look at my get for taking my eyes off of the oh jeez what a terrible shot he clearly faked me out but he's also running into a very dangerous whoa whoa what are you what are you doing bunny well, whatever he is doing it's working I can't land my hits he's too powerful. Oh, Jesus. I need those stones back, Chief. Oh, I need my fire back as well, actually. Alright, pet the bunny. Give me that fire back before it goes out. It might already be out. 
I want to waste the match though. Right, I'm not even going to consider that it might uh, might be usable right now. Let's just go and chain it. Oh, just in time. It just ruined just then. Any other bunnies? Any other bunnies? Or was it just the one? Just being the one, though. I don't need this fire very long. Fire here, use our what's left of our torch. <laughs> a bunny luring me to a bear, now that'd be savage for me. Come on. There we go. We're going to need on you probably a few sticks to keep you good. I want my bunny over here for processing. See, it's actually cold next to the fire, but if I get behind the invisible wall here, it's lovely and warm. Now, that's terrible, but I think I'll just tweak out your. Feel really tired. Tweak out your bits. Cooking it up. Yeah, that'll do just fine. Do I want your guts and things here? I don't have any better ways to pass the time. Do I actually need to use my bearskin roll, or can I sleep in that thing? How warm do I think I'm going to be tonight? It's risky to use that. I, I would quite like all this fur, especially while it's so warm. Some place to escape this cold. Might warm up a, a fair bit and then go and knock it up and then get moving. Although it will take more condition damage doing that, of course. This thing takes an hour to hack apart, doesn't it? It's a big bit, but... You know what, I would actually quite like it. I think there's rose hips for me. I'm gonna drink the rose hips, tear that thing apart, and then go to sleep. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Shouldn't need any more fire. Oh, it's up to your own choice in that pie maker, but I'm allowed to go through mines on this. I don't see a good reason not to. Right, so hopefully this doesn't hurt too badly. But I want this, I want all that fur firewood. It uh, barely hurt at all, good. I am still warm back here. Feels like 15 degrees. So you'd think we'd be safe in the bed, but do I want to risk it as another story? I mean, how cold is it reasonably gonna get here? So I'll just sleep in the existing bed. No need to use up my bearskin bed roll at this temperature. Nine hours of uh, glorious sleep. Risky, isn't it? What if the temperature takes a massive nosedive? Have faith. You faded into the long dark. All because I was too stingy to use my bearskin bedroll. Whew! Okay, I had a good lot of condition back for that. It <laughs> got close though! Temperature dropped by 12 degrees! Better find some water. That's scary. Maybe for the last leg of this, I should use my bearskin bedroll. We're miserable out there, so let's just take another few hours kip in this considerably warmer bed.
Okay, there we go. Dawn of a new day. Empty backpack. I can't think of a good reason to tear you apart in here. I mean, what if I come back here and I desperately need some stuff? I could use the old gut scooper on you. And then, because I'm so highly skilled, I could just use my bare hands to rip your hide off. My, my tummy's grumbling here. And then we'll just pop out these. These seem to harvest as well. Where's the zip on the bearskin bed roll? Hmm, it does make a zipping noise, doesn't it? And we didn't use any scrap metal in its design. But the character can even sleep is beyond me. I wouldn't have been able to unless I passed out. Well, to be fair, we were at the level of passing out in terms of tiredness. Right, I certainly have no need for this rabbity pelt. Down it goes to dry out. And if for some godforsaken reason I ever need it, we can come and grab it. The mag lens won't work because it's too cloudy, as it usually is. I never get nice weather anymore. I'm gonna replace those stones that I lost against my rabbity friend, and it's really cold. Probably not the best condition to be going over to an unknown location, but we're going anyway. Onwards to Bleak Inlet. I think. <laughs> Let me go check my map. Alright, apparently, yes, this should be it. I hope I don't need a, a rope that I haven't brought with me. Well, this looks already unpleasant. What in the world is this? i got to cross this to Summit Ravine's End. And then down here there's going to be some kind of pensive outlook in the distance. Remember, I'm here to loot for the store. And apparently freeze half to death, because it's minus 21. Even considering the clothes I'm wearing. Might not be the worst idea to grab some... Uh, cattails. See some over here. First time in Bleak Inlet. Oh, okay, I was expecting more cattails than almost none. I wonder why they call this place Bleak Inlet. Should keep my eyes open for any caves to warm up in. Already thinking that, although I just got here. Down here to the left should do me fine. There are very few hours in the day when it's warm enough to reasonably get moving. Even under all these animal skins. The only familiar thing from this journey is missing the ropes. We got our ropes back, they healed up nicely. I have only been here once, and that was during the Dead Walker Challenge, and I don't think that's a very transferable skill for this. So that big old broken tree. Well, there's a cave, which I can warm up in, and I need to warm up already. Sticks will be helpful for that. This will not, but I'll still take this sapling. Yoink. Well, it's not a bear cave. That'd be, be pretty bad. As long as the cave gives a warm bone... Wait, whoa, I can't get in because it's blocked. Unless I can squeeze my way in. Hey, there we go. That stuff is just for show. Ah, it's lovely and barely warm at the back. Hmm. 
Is it getting lighter out there? Light enough for a mag lens light. So cold. Well, there's not a lot of value in here aside from warmth, but warmth is good value, so I'm gonna nibble on this meat. Gonna chuck some of this water. The day will warm up, so at least I have that going for me. I can take the opportunity to prepare some racial mushrooms to do a slight amount of warming up. And then, just in the interest of warming up faster, rather than start a fire, I'll just uh, sleep for an hour in here. Keep myself awake, alert, and inherently more powerful. Alright, there we go. Hopefully it's not too cold out there right now. Feels like minus 16. <laughs> yeah, you go for it, Shep. Yeah, it's snowing as well. Jolly good. Right, what are we doing here? I think if I just follow the left, there'll be a pensive lookout, so... God, now it still feels like minus 21, so much for the place warming up a touch. Pensive is this? Look, I didn't drop the sapling for curing accidentally, but maybe that's a pretty poor place to be dropping it. Seems a bit out of the way. Sticks are never out of the way. Mmm, I love them. Every stick is uh, 11 minutes on the fire, 22 if it's outdoors, and it's plus one degree on the fire. Grab six sticks, why that's six degrees, and uh, two hours of outdoor warmth. Pretty huge. The UI does not show this doubled outdoor length, which is a royal pain. I wish it did. Well, that looks like a pensive outlook. We'll go and check it out for anything we can bring back to the store. It's a long way back to the store from here, but if it's a rare item like a fire striker, we definitely want it. And that's a good one anyway because it's going to be light to take around. That's a rope down part, but there's no rope attached. Is that going to be a problem? I don't know. The cold is making my head feel thick. I know, shit. It's pretty bad. How do I get up there? <laughs> On reflection, maybe being in a new place at day 91 is not a great idea, but here we are. I don't think Bleak Inlet was an original part of the map. Does anyone know when it was added? Wait. Or maybe I'm off my rocker. It's so cold. That looks like a way that goes up and around to the, to the thingamajigger. Shepard's more wimpy than Frostbuck citizens when it comes to minus 20. Well, it's actually minus 60. Uh, not minus 60. Well, it was minus 60 earlier. But he's under some incredibly warm clothes. Our Frostpunk denizens just had the shirts on their backs from London. And their weird uh, steampunk style goggly eye mask things. Right, I'm not allowed to rest in here, but we can certainly go in and loot, and loot we shall. Check the outside first. Anything outside is fair game. We're talking about things that we can find. Oh, well, I'm taking that. Something. That's okay, because it was outside. We can take stuff that's on a building, just not in a building. That rope's rather nice. I think I might attach it straight away, unless there's a better place to put it. Let me check my map. Is there anywhere else that I might conceivably want a rope? That might be the best place for it. That way I can get down and make my way just around the whole of Bleak Inlet. But there is another way down that takes me to Echo One Radio Tower instead of going down this way. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, but I'll still attach the the rope. Seems like the right thing to do. Although that takes time, and I will get cold doing that. It's a lot of books. But we've already filled up all the books needs in the shop. There's a whole lot of not much in here. I better take this food. I do need that food for the shop though. We are low on candy bars. Uh much as I would like this set our wood. Where can I put it? It's prominent. On the bed, I suppose. Hmm. 
really nothing else here right now. Oh, a cooking pot! That's kind of cute. Uh, I could take it for the shop, but I won't. We already have three of them. Oh, I need you. Oh, Do I need any more tinners? I don't think so. I don't know, actually. Let me check my grocery list. I have 14 out of 16 tinned food. Well, that's one, and then I only need one more and we're good. If they're just Londoners, I probably won't grumble just... Uh, they probably grumble just as much. We just don't want to hear it all over all the get back to work. I miss saying that. I miss having good reason to say that. What's under the stove? That is a Tinder plug. And I definitely have no use for a Tinder plug. We just pro put prominent things on this... Uh, on this table then. Books are not exactly prominent. Well, this is disappointing. And at the same time, pretty good. I just... I'm difficult to please, I guess. Right. That rope's an interesting one, but setting up will be a cold Get bit of work. I might just leave it down by the by the point there. I doubt I'd want to climb up it to get out. Not up to this way, at least. Ooh, temperatures take... Well, the, the whole weather's taken a turn for the worse. Um... Going down and down and down. This is definitely taking time. There we go. I wanted to get rid of my sprain wrist. Still feels like bollocking cold out here. Right. Let's carry on around here a bit. Hopefully, I can find a cave or just somewhere that I can nestle down and warm up a touch. There was this outcroppy bit, but then whoa, it goes down, it goes down a lot. Yikes! Hello, what's this? I know a map. Map is nothing compared to experience. It's a body, and I would like the food. Uh, this is also right in the middle of the wind, isn't it? Are we at least windproof here? Not at all. How about here? Uh, oddly enough, yes. Is it worth a... I can't mag lens it, but I do want to warm up a touch here, so I will start a fire. Harvest this corpse and enjoy it. Oh god, I'm the one in the wind right now. Hopefully the fire is okay. Um, hmm, difficult choice. I don't want to waste the coal, but I'll slam on some coal and a bunch of sticks. It should give me all the temperature I need to harvest you. Oh, that's a little further away than I'd like. Some water. Always like having water. I like my own load by having this. And the wind ain't so bad. I am warming up here. Just need to get to a position where I can stay warm and still harvest you. Just give me a couple of very small chunks out of you to cook. And, uh, that water needs time anyway. Just give me the whole lot. I'm still warming up, so it's fine as long as my fire doesn't blow out. What about our friend over here? Well, that's the last tinner. We coast. never need to pick up any more tins of food. Let's try and keep that in mind. And let's try not accidentally eat the tinners we do find. Mm, actually, we will do two of you because you're going to take the longest. Finally free from the Christmas dinner. We're not free free until we get it back to the shop. Pick up feathers because they are practically weightless. In fact, 10 grams for a feather seems quite a lot. I guess they use it because it's the lowest unit. 
More feathers, more feathers. The only use for feathers are in making arrows, but I still want that, of course. I need this food because we, we ate up all of our previous meat. The only thing I have left are 1,500 calories worth of cattail stocks. Should have gotten in the shelter from the wind before making these. Oh, but the wind is let up anyway, so that's fine. It's actually rather nice and warm here now. I only have one old man beard dressing. I'm going to make a second one. Because if I get a double bite, I want to be able to heal both of them immediately. These, I think, are going straight in my carnivorous belly. Yum, 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 yum. It's amazing how fast you get hungry on Interloper. Just no satiating... Commander Shepard's stomach. I'll enjoy this warmth for as much as I can, actually. Don't bother doing that, just boil the crappy water that I have for now. You get done. Take you. And then I'm going to take a one hour nap here because the going is good. No, no, not do that. I want to make more water. I want to check my weight. That weight is fine. Because late afternoon is the best time of day. I want to just sleep one hour and then make the most of the late after. Actually, sod the sleep. It's a really good time of day right now. It's not windy or anything. Why jeopardize that? Just cook up the last of my crappy water and give me uh, give me torches. Haven't you found a shelter? Here? Well, there was a cave a way back. There was the uh, the lookout tower, but we can't use that because it's a man-made structure. So yeah, there's a cave I could go and backtrack and sleep in, but I'd rather make some progress. That is a terrible, terrible torch. I'd be better off just... Actually, there's an idea. When I do this whole routine, what I should do is wait at the very end, harvest the super crap torches, and then get uh, moving. Just to maximize my time with the glorious fire and get some sticks back. Ooh, I said that time is looking good, but the wind is now picking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these less than 30 ones should just be harvested for sticks. Why well, can't you use a man made structure? It's a self imposed rule. Outer loper. Man made structures are not allowed to be. Uh, well, generally entered, but there are exceptions. If I need to, uh, if I need to get to somewhere and it's behind a structure, then I can go through it, like getting into prison, because you have to go through an office for that. But I'm not allowed to make use of any structures or loot them, except to just take goods back to my shop and stock the shelves in our shop. Hey, nice torch. Too nice a torch. We're not going to use it. Instead, I'm going to holster you. I'm going to drink up. Cause I Forgot about that. These ruined old dinners that are going to be on sale in my shop. Sixty grams of meat still on me. Right, let's go. But to where? Well, up and out of this cool little alcove place. Sorry, I didn't take your guts and stuff. That corpse is probably going to disappear into the aether soon. Hope this wind isn't too fierce that it blows out my torch. I like the warmth bonus from the torch. So, where can I even go here? I hope I'm not about to find out that uh, rope is my only way out of this place. Wow, if I'm in the wind, this is nasty. I'm gonna hug over on this side to try and stay away from the wind, because blowing direction does matter. Really hope I can get out of here. At least the rope indicated that my way out is down. That's a lot easier to make my way through than just more up. And although I have sprain risk, don't worry about it. The sprain risk will go away as I throw away the, some of these crummy torches. So what do we have down here? A road? That might be good. I'm certainly going downwards, which also might be good. A lot of sticks, that is good. 
best time of day, late afternoon. Let's try not to waste it, although it'd be nice if there's wind and snow let up for a change. So, oh, oh god, I can't remember this from the Dark Walker. If I recall, I had to double back after a wee while. Well, let's still explore. Might be something good. Yeah, yeah, I remember walking past here, the Dark Walker passing me by because of a lure I set down. Good times. I hope there isn't a battery. That's, I actually don't want to be uh, encouraged to bring a battery from the shop from here. Memento key. Key to a locker. No indication of which one. Interesting. Now, there is a fuel cover. And you can do nothing with it. Strange. Always check the beds of these things. Will you ever need more than five to six torches? It's good for chaining the fire, so I like to to use it. And there's almost no investment in having lots of torches. Because you can pull them out of the fire very cheaply. Let's prize this open. There's nothing inside here, though. There's never anything inside a trunk that needs prized open. Never, ever. I don't even know why they added it. Ooh, our very first bit of beef jerky. We need beef jerky for this. Uh, okay, the front doesn't open. Does your front open? Yep, yeah, and no battery. There's a tower over there. Hopefully it's got some fat loot in it. Fire striker is going to be one of the more painful things to find in this campaign, I think. This, I think, is where the... Um, the Dark Walker memo was, which you need to find to banish the Dark Walker. It was a great scenario. I did enjoy playing it, even though it was a bit frustrating to jump into the game blindly with that. You have seven kilos of torches, that's way too much. Yeah, but I'm not noticeably overweight, so it's not a problem. Sewing kit, I needed one more of these. So I'm coming, now you're coming with me. <clears throat> I need to remember to drop it off in the shop, though. And I'm not allowed to use it as well. Uh, I actually don't need any more marine flares, so I will not take you. I do have my own marine flare, right? Yeah, I do. I actually need regular flares, not marine flares. I like this. It's like a treasure hunt. Reminds me of a game mode in Monster Hunter that I really enjoyed, but it was sadly not really used anymore. The os- oh god. Nice combat boots, but way too heavy. There was a mode in Monster Hunter. Oh, is that more of them? No means no game, I don't need these. They're way too heavy. Not either. Yeah, so instead of getting your usual loot, you would find treasure. And you get paid rewarded, uh, get rewarded depending on the amount of treasure you get. I like the fact that there was a game mode dedicated to it. Treasures were folded into the main game, but I always missed that part. You ever stream Monster Hunter? Yeah. Uh, I was working on a series called The Naked Scotsman, where I was hunting beasts completely uh, naked, so no armor on. But I dropped it after a while because actually streaming Monster Hunter isn't very fun. Love the game, but streaming it sucks a lot of the fun out. Very simple yet ironclad rule about streaming. If I don't want to do it, it doesn't happen. Very important that I continue to enjoy this. Alright. I mean, this is a great place to be if I wanted loads of boots. But four kilos worth of boots, I'm not taking that out of here. I'm only slightly overweight. I'm going to drink some water to help alleviate that. Storage cabin or anything around the back here. What do you have for me? Mag lens, fire striker, a regular flare. Oh. 
Of course. Absolutely nothing. Yes. That's what I was needing. So everything was going too well. Wow, really? Nothing is uh, a little shocking. Right, actually, what can I do here? I'm more stuck than I thought. Um, do I actually need to climb down using the rope that I deployed? I didn't think I'd have to do that. There's usually a way to billy goat your way down. But they've got this stuff fenced off. Oh, seriously fenced off. And ooh, boy, oh wow, that's further than I thought. You missed an important note on the keyboard. Really? Uh, in here or by the uh, by the radio tower? Was there even a keyboard here? Oh, hello. Quest extraction, wolves everywhere, chased out of muskeg to the coast. All predator deterrents failed. No food left. Use code 154 on the worksite thing. 154. I doubt I'll remember that, but hey. Might be of note. Yeah, the wolves are the food. This guy didn't really understand, did he? Ugh, there's some plot in this game about nasty people doing nasty things here in Bear Creek or whatever the place is called. Great Bear. But I'm not invested in it. I don't like the story content in this game. But the survival mode is just, mmm, oh, brilliant. Sheer brilliance. Okay, so as best I can tell, I do need to use the rope to get down. Maybe there's a way that doesn't require it. So with some weird walking up here, or just a route that I haven't found. But I am not experienced enough in Bleak Inlet to attempt that, so we're going to use the old boring climb down. And then I'm going to hope that there's a cave nearby. There's a cabin, but I can't use that. The nearest cave is an Aeon to the south. Even so, I think I'll go for it. Uh, indicator tells me it's a bear cave. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. Maybe I should double back to the cave that I was at up north to sleep the night away. There's a way up and over there, though. Which would take me up, but not necessarily to a good place. Hmm. Hmm. Can't feel my feet. Cold to think. The story's really good. Too surprised you didn't like it. What? Well, if you say so. I seem to recall Heldon laughing at me quite a lot when I was facing the Dark Walker here. But Heldon is a nasty man, so go figure. Grab some extra sticks. We are getting tired. Not really sure I want to... Yeah, the, the reason the game freezes is because it always pauses when you tab out, and I'm using the opportunity to actually check my map. That cave is a dangerous place because of that bear. Bear could come and do nasty things to me in my sleep. If I set up a fire in there and kept it warm and going, then I could get around that, and I might actually do that. Kind of a risky biscuit to go over there like this. Besides, what if the bear is in the cave? I might be able to shoot him and get him out, but if he rages at me over that, then I die. It might be a much, much better idea just to seek shelter in the cave that's further north. It's not that far away. And then come at this with a fresh, uh, fresh start. Yeah, because I can be warm and get a lot of health back in that cave. And we do still have some decent food. Yeah, it's simple. Just kill the bear. Oh, right. So, slight complication about all of this. Is that there are wolves here. 
Nasty, nasty Timberwolves. Now I can... how cold is it? Oh jeez, it's pretty damn cold. I can, I can do them in by just lobbing torches at them. It does, yeah, look at that, it does morale damage to them and makes them want to smeg off a bit. Timberwolves are dangerous for this reason. Smacking them with it's good. Right, they wanted to scatter. You are not for some reason. Fine by me. Right. Given how that just went, though, I'm going to take the opportunity and carve you up. Sometimes dinner just wants to come to me. I'll take it. Yeah, I could throw rocks at them, but uh, I have limited rocks. So how cold is it? Minus 15, huh? Come on. Come on. Need this warmth, so just dunk on that coal for now. A few sticks. Take the torches back. Take my arrow back. Some water while I'm at it. I have to hope that the weather doesn't turn to crumbs during this, actually. I should first just take off uh, a couple 500 pieces of meat and get them cooking. Story of the stick, you there, 1 or 50, nothing in between, damn right. Sticks are good, after all. Right. It was a good big wolf that we got here, so there's plenty of eating on him. Or her. I don't know how to tell a male dog from a female dog at a glance, but I'm really bad at the animal kingdom. Yeah, 20 odd minutes to do. I can warm up next to this fire. Not by a lot, but by some. And it'll last a good long time as long as no wind comes and blows it out. So this is actually great. We used an arrow to defend ourselves and get food for the evening, and to use this uh, lovely, warm, calm evening time productively. As long as the wind doesn't blow this out, we should be good. Although the wind is picking up. Uh, we are mysteriously sheltered from the wind here, though. I'm not sure if I'd buy that entirely. So let's just make hay while that sun is shining. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Now these would cook faster if I bought if I had brought a cooking pot with me, but I don't think cooking pot is worth the weight. They're what one kilo, maybe more each, and a tin here is 150 grams. So I'm a tinner man till the day I die, it seems. Good, still looks fine. Let's use the old gut scooper. I'm gonna make use of this fire for as long as I can. Uh, I guess I'll leave the guts here as well. That's good, that's good. And then with our bare hands, off comes your skin, buddy! Mm. Now there's nothing left to harvest out of you. You're done. Anything to grab from nearby while the going is good. Dog should have ran while I had the chance. And it did have every chance. I'm getting really tired though. And it's still a bit of a hike back to the cave that I came from. But I will be going back there. I think of no good reason not to. It's going to be a slow and heavy hike, so... It's actually a good idea to drink some tea to keep me warm as I head back. Something's gotta go. Racial tea, rosehip tea, racial tea. Although I would like to have more water, actually. All this is coming back to the cave with me. Plenty of food. 
Oh, I wish there was more tea around here. Time to cook some water? No, not really. How it harvests these ultra crappy torches. If it was Aurora, t I have no idea how to deal with Aurora Timberwolves. Oh, that does look like an Aurora, doesn't it? Uh, right, change of plan. The guts and the meat stay here. I don't want to stink. And we are smegging it back to our. Um, back to where we came from. Chew on this while I can. Uh, I am going to, in a very clever motion, put on a load of water to cook. And I'm going to take so many torches that you uh, that you boil it, but you don't overboil it. Which means I want to leave it for about half an hour on the fire. I'm going to have to leave something behind. Shepard's not wrong. We need to be able to run out of here. So... 30 minutes? 30 minutes is maybe a bit too much to do that. So what I'm going to do to lighten my own load, because we're really tired right now, is I'm going to drop a bunch of torches. I'll grab them later. Yeah, this is a lot of torches, I know. Don't need his pry bar either. And I doubt I need the hacksaw where I'm going. They satiated. Drop a couple of my tinners. Let's go. Quickly now. The wolves, I think, scattered in that direction. I certainly hope so. What can I tell you? I have phenomenal... I have phenomenal torch luck. Now if I do get uh, absconded by a wolf, I can shoot it dead, no question about that. I should have brought a torch with me. But I shouldn't need a fire inside the cave. Under a bearskin roll it should be plenty warm. I can shoot it dead, but the problem is timber wolves hunt in packs. Just like we get warned about in... What's that crappy game called? Dragon's Dogma. Who else is excited for Dragon's Dogma 2? I'm hoping it fixes the myriad of issues in Dragon's Dogma 1 because at the core there's an excellent game there. It just needs to actually be made fun. You still have meat on you. Uh, a little bit, but not enough to cause me to stink. Thanks for whoever pointed out the risk of Aurora, because yeah, it happened. I think I need to lay down. What would it take to hack this stuff down anyway? 23 minutes of I don't have that. So let's just get to the back here. Feels like plus 12. But we're still going to use our bedroll for massive temperature boost. And stay completely satiated and sleep until we're no longer able to sleep. That should rest, that should get us back most of our condition. Yeah, I heard that, Pepper, but I've not had anything to actually confirm that. Well, morning is incredibly cold in uh, an interloper, especially beyond day 50. This morning is no exception. If I head out there, I'm going to partially freeze. I'm going to eat what's left of my beloved wolfy meat. I will consider if there's anything I want to do right now. It's bright enough to start a maglens fire. It is, but it's also quite windy. Looks like I made it through another night. You did, Shepard. Well done. I can't think of anything I could do to productively use my time. But taking a Maglens fire with me not, might not be the worst idea. And then I go down... Hmm. 
do over there? I could just beeline for the... God, I need to think what I'm, what I'm actually doing here. What am I trying to do? There is a fallen lighthouse, but it's so far south, it's going to take a long time to get there. Only a lot of timber wolves along the way. But actually, if I took the side bit, I could hit up a cabin. And, 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 and... Then there's Bear Cave, cannery worker places, and then on my way to the Lonely Lighthouse. Not without its risks, though. least bring a fire with me. If I'm so good at making a fire, I should instantly be able to grab a torch from this thing and get going. And, oh, oh, yet another amazing torch. Oh, it instantly blew out. Well, forget the good torches then. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold! It's so cold out there! Oh, Jesus! Back in bed, back in bed. No one wants to be out in that. Jesus, oh, still feels like it's freezing back here. Hmm. Hmm. At least it didn't cost anything to start that fire. God, it's so cold on late game in developer. Well, at least I can reflect on how we've grown as a person. Harvesting all those carcasses, cooking all those meals, mostly teas. Starting all those fires, shooting all those arrows. We done good. Soon we'll be a level 4 archer. Mending, on the other hand, what a pain of a skill to level that up is. 91 days survived. Mm, over a quarter million calories expended. Even so, the game thinks we spent most of our time indoors, but that's because this area it thinks is indoors. Jeez, I don't even want to go out in that. Uh, I guess I'll just pass time for an hour, because there's precious little else I can do. At least it warms me up a touch. Oh, two way to look at it, though. i got to face the music. I want my mag lens fire back though. I guess this is why people love to have one big main base, because going out and exploring is just so painful. That did it. Alright, how bad is it now? Feels like minus 25 when I'm in shelter from the wind, and when I'm not. Well, let's not even consider it. We've got to get moving. Gonna go and get my meat back. Feels like minus 35. Yeah, bye bye warmth. I should have warmed up a cup of tea or something before I got moving. Or we just accept that it's going to be cold and get moving. Hope that bear isn't too. Uh, too concerned about someone marching in in his cave. Sorry, Yogi, but I need it. I need it badly. Really do freeze in seconds. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm wearing eight dogs. Never felt so cold in my life. Don't blame you, Shepherd. It is rough out here. Even so, I want some more of that lichen. To heck with the um, the guts. I don't need them. Might have to drop some gear. 
comes a point where I maybe, maybe have too many torches. Oh, that's right. I need to climb down, don't I? This is going to be too many torches. These crummy torches, and I suppose I could drop some water or something at the top of the. Uh... Oh, thank goodness you ran away. I won't have to deal with that. The whole bye bye torch. Right, what are we leaving behind here? I want to leave behind that. Uh, kind of a shame to leave behind all this lovely doggy meat. I'll eat as much as I can before I head down. Oh yeah, it's old venison. Where you go. You can only throw the torches if they're lit, so that would be a bit of a waste. Okay, I'm I'm very grateful for that. They're getting scared by my by my cool clothes here. But yeah, comes a point in time a man's life he has to admit he has too many torches, so bye bye my wonderful torches. Now let's go. Blightless rain, welcome. Welcome to the world of being insanely cold. <laughs> right, our only real hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something called a secret mountain pass. If I went that way, there is a cave, but I don't know which side the cave is on. Ooh. No indication of which side it's on. That's dangerous. Screw it, I'm going to take the north way. At this point, Shepard must really be contemplating setting himself on fire. In the wind, it feels like minus 41, and that hypothermic risk is gonna grow. Well, let's get moving regardless. But it's coming up to midday, so they should be getting gradually warmer. But the wind isn't doing me any favours. And running into wolves won't do me any favours either. Let's just keep moving. What do we have over here? Do I want to go through there? No, I want to keep going up and around, especially the wind being on my side like that. As in, to my side, not helping me on my side. Yeah, even with some tea, I reckon this uh, cold would just blow right through me. Right, that cabin's getting looted. Nothing at all to do with me being so cold. <laughs> Oh, there comes a point where you're so cold all you can do is laugh. Shepard's been in that position for about 92 days now. Also, I see sticks, I grab sticks. Let's see, the, uh, rose hips, I grab rose hips. Alright, the only thing we're allowed to do here is loot anything for our store. No loitering, no resting, no mending, no nothing. Just looking and grabbing. There's nothing in there. Breaking apart furniture. I mean, it could be done if I wanted to reclaim food back at the store, but there's no point. Plenty of closer sources of that stuff back near the base. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen Rim Grill before. I'm assuming that works just the same way as a metal barrel does for heating. Oh, I got excited thinking we had a bedroll there. No, old bedroll is something very different. Dog food, but... Um, correct me if I'm incorrect, but our... Wait, do I, don't I need more dog food? Where is... Do okay, no, I've already got five out of four dog food. We don't need any more. Sweatshirt might sound nice, but unnecessary. Just leaving them in a prominent position there. Nice if I ever come back here for whatever reason. We can instantly see what there is. I don't need new coat hangers. 
Settling for the bare minimum in terms of dog food, Jake. Oh yes, yes I am, Ninjin. If I played this for a thousand days, I could probably harvest everything in the world and bring it back to the shop. But if I were doing that, I'd start again, and what I would do is I would only be allowed to use uh, natural things. All, all stuff like these sweatshirts and dog food things. I'd never allow myself to eat a can of food or a bag of crisps. Okay, uh, no kidding. I really, really do not want to step outside. I'm trying to think of any reason to remain here. Oh god, the roof's broken. I'm surprised with a broken roof like that, it even feels like minus six in here. Well, let's go for it. Yeah. No blizzard, I hope. That would be a horrible development. The cold is making my head feel thick. Uh, which direction is north? Appears to be some kind of bridge here. Is there anything over here? It looks like something where there'd be something, right? I am on a big hunt for two fire strikers. Maybe someone left their fire striker for this destroyed picnic table? No. Maybe there's something down there. I am too cold to even think about checking. Still a long way from the bear cave, which would be a nice warm place to be. That still doesn't make it an ideal opportunity for me. The day is slightly warming up. Slightly. I am thinking about just taking a break somewhere, making some teas, a fire, staying in shelter for a couple of hours, sleeping, that sort of stuff. Especially if I find some tea ingredients to enjoy for it. a lot of wind, so if I can stay somewhere nice and sheltered and just dump a bunch of sticks, that'd be nice. Birch bark tea would be lovely, though. Too much stuff to carry. I know, Shepard. I, I might actually uh, set a fire under a bridge and live like an ogre for a bit. As long as it's safe from the... Uh, the wind. The wind's the killer. Yeah, under the bridge. We're going troll strats now. Please be safe from the wind. Oh, this should be ultra sheltered. Great. Uh, was it always this foggy? I can't mag lens this. Oh, bollocks. All right, well, don't blow this out, please. Feels like minus 30. In that case... Please don't blow out my fire. There is no reason for you to change direction and blow out my fire. Jesus Christ! Capping out at plus 31, I think it is. Alright, have some more fur firewood. Um, yeah, have another bit of fire. Fur firewood, that stuff's heavy. Alright, I'm fairly warm here. I'm probably going to sleep for an hour at a time. Just in case the uh, situation turns even grimmer and blows out my fire. So it validated there for a moment. Yeah, there we go. Now, this is unpleasant in many ways, but as long as my campfire holds, it should be alright for now. One hour of sleep. Oh, God, it blew out my fire. 
Well, this stinks. I cook uh, both of my rosehip teas. I might need them to survive this. That was a huge amount of burnables in there, and uh, the wind just caned it. Okay, how the hell do I get out of this? It's a long way south to the bear cave. But there's no other cave that I can see here. And I mean it's a very long way south to the bear cave. Let me use my divining stick to check direction here. Is there a cave left of the waterfall? Uh, not that I'm aware of, and I'm not willing to risk it on something like that. Okay, if that is north, then I need to head south. Well, I always need to go south, but you know what I'm trying to say here. I'm going to drink this immediately, and I'm going to drink this one when I start getting really cold. Take my can, take my rose hit, and just uh, book it. There should be a trap to follow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this does not look like much of a track to follow, but looks like close enough of one. Even though I have the warm... It feels like minus 63 out here. <laughs> ah, it's so freaking cold. Alright, well, at least I dumped a bunch of my burnables. It means I am not so heavy, but it does mean I need more of this stuff back. I mixed it up with Desolation Portal. Well, thank God I didn't follow your advice there, Lizard. <laughs> you trying to get me killed! Okay, thankfully in a snowbank it doesn't feel that cold. There is really something up with the wind. It whips out your fire even if it's not blowing at it, I swear. In a game that's so harsh and with permadeath, the bugs are pretty hard to forgive. Unless that's intended, but... That's pretty horrible. Can't feel my hands. All right, need to need to warm up. Rose hips, save me. I should come across a road eventually. Hey, that's a road, and I've seen roads before. I haven't been to Rhodes, but I uh, have been to Malta. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Why are we even here? Was there was there some profound reason for us to be here? You naively asked chat where to go. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I did. Right. <sighs> Problem with having burnt all my burnables is I'm probably going to be taking shelter in a bear cave because it's the only shelter that could be considered outer loping for a while. And, uh, Bear McGrizzly. Oh, here it is. Probably won't take kindly to that. I hope he's not in the cave, right? That's not a bear, right? No, it's just a bear shaped rock. It's not even warm inside his cave. Okay, right. Well, that's pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna come out here. I'm going to smack down this. Actually, I should just put it next to where I am back here. Because I'm going to be sleeping in this situation, it doesn't really matter. Burning through my matches like nobody's business. Fishing huts, not much further. Uh, this cave has more warmth bonus. I just dump the fur firewood on you, and you, and I'm going to sleep here for probably four hours. Well, definitely four hours. Well, four hours is a bit much. I'm going to go with two hours. And then we'll see what's what. Hopefully not a bear. Bear could kill me. Politely remind him possession. possession's like tenths of the law. 
Well, Blizzard doesn't want to let up, but at least my health is coming back a little bit. I'll give it another couple of hours. Oh, but we're, com we're approaching the best time of day. Mm -hmm. One hour then, and hopefully the Blizzard lets up. Then I'll explore the uh, worker residences and then head on over to the lighthouse. I just destroyed 14 hours worth of burnables under that bridge, thanks to the Blizzard. Did I really sleep for... An hour there? Well, if the blizzard isn't letting up, I don't have much choice. When in doubt, make water. Come on, blizzard. Time to go. I got places to be. overburdened because I dumped all of my lovely burnables moments ago. Can't harvest those bones for anything. I suppose to take a quick peek outside, see if there's anything worth knowing. <laughs> Minus 60! Look at that warmth evaporate! Good thing I brought food with me. Wait, didn't I drop food at the top? No, I've got, I've got some decent food on me. Fingers feel numb. I used to love doing this as a kid, and I still like doing it now. When it's horrible weather out here, just like run out for a few minutes. I think it goes back to when uh, going swimming in winter, getting out of the pool, and then just like dancing around in the snow for a bit, and then jumping back in the pool. Oh, it feels good. Again. Leave that one. Oh no, I've got two saplings. Just leave them there to cure. Why not? Give it one more hour and hope that this blizzard subsides. Uh, blizzard? We're starting to be taking the mick here. The absolute Omega bit. Okay, well, I guess this is my life now. <laughs> this is so freaking horrible. Alright. Nom 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 on the wolf meat. Hate this place. Five fire starting keeping me alive here, thanks to how long my torches last, or my twigs last. Alright, there we go. We're relatively well rested, unfortunately it's the cold, dead night. Grab ourselves some ultra torches, the only torches I want to know. And we get moving before Lord Barrington comes back and has a word about- is that him right there? Oh, you s right. Hey, bear body. Down, boy. Uh, what? I wasn't actually meant to kill him in one go, but... I'm so freaking good at killing bears. Right, well, what do I do with you? I now have a pretty golden opportunity to... Uh, have my way with you. Poor guy, he finds someone's uh, brutalizing his home and this happens. Hmm. I do really want all that bear meat. I think I'll keep this fire going for a good long while. And harvest him as much as I can. Speaking of harvesting, let's make sure that our arrow is properly harvested. Quartering would take too long in that 
ungodly cold, I think. But it would allow me to bring it in there and... No, see, I don't really want his hide or his guts here. But his, uh, his meat I could carve off quite quickly. Yeah, look at my warmth just evaporate out here. But that's okay, because I can do that. Come in. Warm up next to you. Enjoy myself some nice big bear steaks. Can't feel my feet. I could even take a nap for one hour whilst those are cooking. And then just repeat the process. You can escape out of the quartering, it doesn't lose the time. Ooh, interesting. But do I really want to do that? I mean, I'd be dragging all the meat in here. I would keep myself warm as I harvest it and everything, but... I don't know, I think I'll just have him up and drag him in. I can clearly do four... Uh, or kilos at a time without too much risk. Oh, maybe that's big risk. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, two kilos at a time without risk. Ah. Good thing it's nice and warm in here. I've eaten there before. It's rather nice. Cold is making my head feel. They like meat in general. Bear skin bedroll's already lost half a degree of warmth. Scary thoughts. Mmm, the texture of bear meat's really nice. Yeah, I have really burnt through a lot of my burnables here. That's what they're there for, I suppose, but even so, I'd be happy with more. Just pastime until I warm up. Oh, why that pastime quicker than I intended? Let's go and dash out and grab two or so kilos of bear. Oh, hello! Good to know that the good weather was just a facade. Can't feel my hands. This bear meat's got loads of calories on it though, so just carrying around a bunch of these will keep me well fed for a good long while. The thing about quartering the bear is that the stacks of meat that come out of his quartering will degrade to nothing, whereas these steaks, they will not. And then again, I could bring him in and hack him up in the warmth with relative warm uh, fire impunity. Good weather was a quick opportunity for your food delivery service to spawn in. <laughs> I think that is the. Th In fact, all three bears I've killed, I'm pretty sure we've one shotted by now. Uh, I'm actually having a second thought about quartering him. Because it might be nice in the future to know that I have a bear skin over here to, to enjoy, not to mention a million guts. But it's going to be expensive on this. Very warm fire, after all. Surely you didn't activate some console command, surely, Marvin. What do you take me for? Right. 
yeah, let's quarter Lord Barrington and bring him in. Quarter him. Load the hacks up. Oh, where'd my warmth go? <laughs> it just disappeared! <laughs> These would help, actually. Having a cup of tea would uh, make me lose less heat out there. Or at least lose it slower. I'm running out of things to burn here. That's not good. Right. Jesus, that is nasty. Firing gonna last. Sleep for an hour, or I don't think I need an hour, but I do need to warm back up and finish that harvesting. Apparently, I still have the warming up bonus. Right, come on, can we finish this harvest job? Or this uh, hacking up job? Quartering, another 40 minutes. Smile through the pain, Shepard. Get in, get warm. Hopefully it's warm enough to sleep here through the night, because God knows I need it. Funnily enough, it'll be a lot more efficient to cook this meat down at the, uh, the burned out lighthouse. My fire would actually last longer there as well, because I think it's considered outdoors. for the guts, they can just go here. This fire is already here, so I might as well use it. Boy, I need a lot of sleep to undo all this pain. I need a nice long sleep. Uh, not too long, though. Don't let Lord Barrington's wife discover this. Or maybe this was. Maybe this was Lord Barrington's wife. I know you're happy, man, but I'll wear a lot faster. We just do this a couple at a time. At least with all this meat, as long as it remains warm back here, and as long as that bear doesn't respawn damn near immediately, we should be safe just chilling out back here, harvesting meat and sleeping. I don't... wait, where's his hide? I have a fresh wolf pelt as well, I'd better drop that one here. It's been weighing me down for no good reason. Wanted to already touch you. Does the stuff stay in the cave when the bear respawns? Generally, there's a lot of object permanence in this game, so I do expect it to last. Just 
gonna. Hmm, what will I do actually? Pick this off the floor so it's not taking condition damage. I'll take a quick peek outside, see if I can't find. Wait, did I gra grab all of them? Alright, we grabbed all the bits of bear that there are. I would love some more burnables because we have nothing now. Wait for that meat to cook anyway, and I'll be warm when I get back in. Next. This doesn't count, it's a branch. I don't want to stand out here for the precious minutes it would take to break that thing down. Well, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Nothing to burn. I mean, it's uh, dying from cold out here. stick we're grateful for. Oh, wait, no, there's no way I should be taking hypothermic damage out here. We are damaged enough as it is. So cold. Jeez, I have no idea whether he would be so bad. Into the shelter, Shepard. You need it. Huge amount of bear meat is nice, though. No doubt about that. Carb it all out, Shep. Carb it all out. To be fair, thanks to Lord Barrington, I have a lot of supplies. But I need to keep warm, and this cave is, I think, the only cave around here. Unless I want to hold out in the Fallen Lighthouse for a long time, and I don't. Uh, there is a cave over, if I go around the inlet, past the cannery. And it's not a bear cave, so it should be safer, but there are wolves nearby. Good to know. I'll feel a lot more confident after I've slept here for several hours. I just really hope the bear doesn't respawn so quickly because I need to sleep here. It's the only warm place I could reasonably sleep. Lots of water, which is nice. I shouldn't have passed that time. We should have hacked up some more of this. Oh well, silly me. How much fire do we have? 38 minutes. Where did all the coal go? I left it back at the shop. It's way too heavy to carry around. But sure enough, perhaps I should have uh, taken some more coal with me. I figured six would be plenty. I figured there'd be more to burn in Bleak Inlet. It's about as good as I can hope for. I think I'll carve up the last of this stuff. And then it's time to sleep. Yep. Weather seems to have calmed down, but yeah, I need to um, I need to sleep badly. There's a lot of condition I'm missing. I just hope the bear doesn't instantly come back. Does anyone know the respawn timer on a bear that's been quartered? Oh god, it's getting cold in here now. Bye bye fire, bye bye warmth. But hello, loads of meat. At least we won't go hungry anytime soon. I'll just in case he gets any funny ideas. I wonder if I could place my uh, thing somewhere that he'd have a hard time reaching. There we go. Just try and get me up here, Barrington. He might, actually. Just imagine that. Alright, the warmth bonus should help keep me alive and sane up here. So we're going to sleep for as long as we can. 
Are you going to be able to eat all this before it spoils? Doesn't matter. We're at cooking level 5. So even if food spoils, we can still eat it. He didn't come and eat me in my sleep. It's got to be a good start. as I would like to stay in here for a bit longer, I can't reasonably pass time. Or could I? I mean, I could pop out and have an exploration. It's the warmest time of day, after all. Yeah. Who's going to stop me? Certainly not Barrington. He's too busy being a bunch of diced up bear paws out here. Can you be cut up for firewood? I mean, I am so desperate for something to burn right now. Feels like minus 17. But it also feels like I could get a fire going. Maybe I should get a fire going and take all this meat over to the Lonely Lighthouse. I don't know how warm it is in there, though. It might not be warm in there at all. But I need all the warmth I can get. Yeah, no, no intention of doing motorsport. Uh, well, not that motorsport game again. If there's another motorsport game to uh, to be had, then I'd certainly, certainly be considering that. that. Should be good enough to mag lens out here. Yeah, right. Before I do this, though, I need to consider my options. I think I mag lens, and I maybe take some tea as well, and then what do I do? Mm, I mean, there's a fishing hut, there's the Fallen Lighthouse, I could at least explore them. But I think I need this cave more than I am willing to admit. Gee, what do I do? No, I could make my way across to the next cave. But there are timber wolves that would sniff me out. And also, would my fire last long enough? Also, it's a late in the day, isn't it? Hmm. What I could do is take this opportunity to go and loot the worker residences, the fishing hut, and the fallen lighthouse, and then come back here and sleep again at the end. And I'll run as much as I can to tire myself out. That's the best idea I've got, and it's probably not a bad one. I will uh, eat some more of you, though. Keep myself good. And if I find anything I can burn out there... Then, it's, then that stuff is fair game. Couldn't you find coal at the cannery worker residences? If it's indoors, I'm not allowed to use it. It'd be nice if it's outdoors, though. Did right. it pretty well? Yes, it did, Shepard. Good job. Now, put down these teas in case things get really cold. And, 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 and... Get ready for this. So, thank you, take you, immediately drink you, just for the warming up bonus. Not for the heat itself, just the warming up bonus is important. And then, let's go. Time's not on our side, and the weather certainly isn't either. What order we do this? Probably in a circle, so fishing hut, lighthouse, and then beyond. Anything to burn, anything to burn. Looks like a no to me. There's the big cannery operation over there. This game looks so different from when I played it years back. Uh, there's certainly a lot of UI differences between then and now. I still think the UX is, leaves a lot to be desired in this game, though. Right, the thing is, coal isn't great for burning duration, it's just good for temperature. And actually, I need duration over temperature inside the caves. What have we here? Uh, that's cool and all, and I'm allowed them, so I guess I'll take them for cloth. Scrap metal is also allowed, because it's uh, this counts as outdoors. I know, it might seem weird, but... The reason is that it doesn't give a massive warmth bonus. Air temperature not changing at all. 
At best, one of those can give a small warmth bonus, and you don't get cabin fever in them. But if you need a real reason, just say it's because we're arbitrarily saying it's that way. It'll be a lot easier for everyone to understand. There are too many grey areas on Outer Loper, so... We're just playing it the way we want to. <laughs> the way I want to. And even so, I'm in a tricky situation. Oh, sticks! Oh, goodness. I feel so raw about having lost 14 hours of fire in that blizzard. You really... I think you need to find places that are 100% safe from wind when you're in a blizzard like that, but sometimes it comes out of nowhere and you don't have the time to assess the situation, especially since I don't know Bleak Inlet. Yeah, it was just grim. Yeah, I already have double socks, but I want those other socks to tear up the cloth so I can repair probably my thermals, but maybe my toque if my toque has taken damage. Because, yeah, it's cold. It's the warmest time of day, and it feels like minus 15 under all these layers of clothes. Right, Lonely Lighthouse. I have spawned here once before. I don't know when or why. I think when I was testing out different starts to interloper one time I spawned here. No, there was a... There's a mission, or a... Or something like that. There's no warmth bonus whatsoever inside here. But there is... Ooh. 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 Uh, yes. Okay, so this thing has a six-stove cooker, and I think it's the only outdoor six-stove cooker, meaning that you can cook incredibly efficiently here. All those bear steaks I have, I could cook here lightning fast. But I'd have to drag them over here, and then drag them out if I wanted them beyond that. So it's not perfect. Um, even so, Fallen Lighthouse... Fishing point nearby? If you just had a lot of burnables, you could get... Oh, wait, speaking of lots of burnables. What do we have here? Uh, not as much as I'd hoped. I thought that might be more stuff to, to burn. There's a bed there, so I don't even need to use a bedroll. I suppose it'd be... Oh! Use this. Yes! That's ten cloth right there. Oh, my savior of cloth has arrived. What a find. What a great find. Mm, nothing else here, though? I mean, forgive me for poo-pooing finding a bedroll. But is this all there is? Oh, this would be a, a big point for goodies. Oh, that's nice. That's why I double check. Smashing part of that chair would take half an hour that I don't really have. This pallet is a little tempting to smash apart, but it's pretty damn cold. Even so, I think it's worth it. I'm going to use my torch and some sticks, get a little bit of a fire going here, and smash apart that pallet. If the fire's going out, the burnables haven't been burned, you should be able to re-pick it up, but the game needs to make a tough decision. Oh, the game needs to make it? I'm not sure I'm following what you're saying, but sure. Uh, just take a bunch of sticks. The warmth isn't going to be great here. Maybe I could have a cup of tea or something. My warming up bonus is almost over as well, so let's just chug this thing down. Enjoy the feels like minus 12 and break you apart. And because this counts as an outdoor fire, it burns for quite a long time, which is nice. It's still cold as sin, but. It's okay, we're heading over to the cannery area, or the workers' cannery area soon. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean about um, fires getting blown out? Yeah, it kind of super sucks. But I guess what really sucks is it sucks to be me. I should have done some sketching up there, but no way, it's too cold. Too cold for such frivolities. We've got to move. When I get back to Bear Cave, there's actually quite a lot of mending I can do to pass the time, because I did bring my fishing tackles with me. 
Uh, I wanted to check more sticks, but I didn't. But hey, we got some reclaimed wood. Reclaimed wood actually burns for a good long time. It's actually really tempting to move my stuff over there, but Bear Cave just has that natural warmth that I'm going to love a lot. Is there anything here? Why am I even here? I need to go over there. Hopefully this ice doesn't give out from under me, but wearing our crampons. So cold. Just put my way down for a bit. Don't worry, Shep, we'll be okay. We have enough health to handle this as long as a bear doesn't come and ruin my day. Or a particularly feisty wolf. check you and then we'll check that and then we're going back to bear cave to warm up god outer loping and bleak inlet i thought this would be a great place for outer loping it's horrible too wide too open no shelter that you can use all right make it good that's good that's double good where's the good stuff oh cloth is like gold dust but we did just find a Compressed ingot of gold dust in the bedroll. Nothing up top. Don't really want any charcoal from inside. Anything in the boats? Sometimes there's little tins or things hanging around. The special thing being about tins I found outside that I can actually eat them. I don't need to bring them back to the shop. But we're not seeing anything of use there. The only thing we're seeing is pain. Right, what do you have? Uh, what I would like is my fire back, actually. Could I just mag lens a stick and bring it in as a torch? Or is it just going to instantly blow out? To be fair, it would probably have been a better time if you had gotten to here before the temperature escalated. Well, there's only so much you can do in 50 days, especially when you're clamoring for survival so much. Oh! Damn, there goes the fire. Well, it's a bit of a shame, because it's hard to see in here. Not impossible, I guess. Table... Can't sort of get outside here. It's in the trunk. This stuff will come in handy. A decent hoodie, eh? Well, I'm not interested. You on display on the table. Marine flare, but I don't need it. I have plenty of marine flares back at base. Ruined fleecy mittens. Don't need you either. Goodness, this is hard to see. I think I can use this. <laughs> yeah, more mittens. Again. We can't use it anyway, and we don't need more of these for the shop, so away they go. Mm, pillow, chair, crate. It's actually easier to see on my other monitor. The It's still dark, but you can see a bit more contrast between things on it. There's a door. So desperate for a fire lighter, or fire striker rather. Our shop is meant to have two of them, and I found zero of them. And I don't know where I'm going to find one. Does a hoodie count as top clothing for the shop? Yeah, it does. Are you getting at the fact that we don't have any top clothing? Yeah, you might be onto something there. I'll take it. So, yeah, I don't think I have a lot of top clothing in there. I'm sure I've got plenty of gloves. You know what? These mittens are really light. We'll we'll have we'll have them back for show. Right, should be some pretty much bombed out residences here. Bombed up, boarded up, all the same as long as we can't get inside. 
Bye bye her hypothermic risk, but I know you're going to be back momentarily. All this wood and nothing to nothing to burn. Cold is making my head feel thick. Yeah, you and me both, Shepard. Are these planks? No. Oh, hello, coal, and more coal, and even more coal. Ooh, nice. Jing's even more coal. Don't mind if I do. Because it's getting pretty cold. Can't be salvaged. This can't be salvaged. I mean, there is a door there, but not something we can enter. Don't know if there's anything under all of this. I'll have a quick gander over here, and then I'm hightailing it back to my beloved uh, cave. I don't know if there's enough sun left in the sky to do a mag lens fire, but we could try. Hopefully I don't need a fire, but if Lord Barrington comes calling, then I might be in trouble. He could kill me in my sleep, I just don't know how fast he respawns. Are there sticks here? There are sticks here. I know I'm freezing my bits off, but I do still want them. Eleven minutes and one degree. That's the power of a stick. Feels like minus thirty-four here. Jeez. So outrageously cold. Pretty sure there are five strikers in one of the cargo containers in Timberwolf Mountain. Not sure if I was playing on Interloper when I found them, though. Timberwolf Mountain Summit should have some excellent loot. So I will be going there almost certainly. As for a fire striker, well, I can hope. But aren't there quite a lot of containers to saw open there? This damage is getting outrageous. We need to make our way back in stat. At least there are plenty of sticks thanks to all this wind. But there's also a lot of me freezing half to death because of all this wind. Well, I have a bare skin uh, drying here if I end up here for an outrageous amount of time. Ah, there we go. Can I squeeze a little bit of fire out here? Mag lens fire. Nope. Shop's closed in that regard. Windy here. Right. Well, now. <laughs> what a horrible place. Uh, right. We have cloth. A lot of cloth, even. So what did I say I was going to do? We found these socks. We're allowed these socks. So I'm going to actually wear them. They are good, actually. We're going to wear these because they're slightly warmer, and we're going to tear apart these other crummy ones. Not repair, harvest. Maybe I should get to higher ground when I do anything in this cave. I don't know how good the bear's path thing is, but let's not put it to the test, shall we? Well, I know we can get up here, but I'd rather not risk it. Every bit of advantage we can get over Lord Barrington we should take. Right, what could I get the most warmth out of repairing? This took would give me almost a degree. Some of these things are getting quite knackered, actually. Probably because of all the blizzarding I've been running through. Yeah, the took's, uh, took's an easy choice. One bit of cloth. I can't use that sewing kit because we found it indoors. I have to use my fishing tackles. Don't screw up, Shepard. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Almost a degree. And... And, and, and... Oh, we don't want 
go around the back if we want to be up the top of this. I guess I'm going to tear apart this bedroll. Kind of sucks. It would be nice to have it on display in the shop, but the windfall of 10 cloth is much too much to pass up, so bye bye, beloved bedroll. Ah, and now I can repair more things made of cloth. Do I want to do my warp blade shirt? It's probably too dark to repair. Well, that is surprising. There we go. As good as new. Gets a whole half degree. Probably would have been better to do up my thermal undies. It's still not too dark for this. That's cool. I guess the moonlight is that powerful. Oh, we failed. I don't know if that's because it became dark or if we're just crap at doing that work. Rain brisk. What do I have that's making me so heavy right now? Oh, right. I found this cooking pot. Cool find. May or may not carry it around with me, but I am starting to get a bit over encumbered with items. Found, yeah, the coal and the reclaimed wood was really nice. But yeah, it weighs me down, and we're getting tired. Extra clothes as well. Right, don't know if I can do anything else to pass the time up here, because I would like to be more tired to get more sleeping done. But I can't think of anything to. Well, since it seems to be so bright out there. Good. Drink up. Prepare mushrooms. Since we seem to have found so many of them. Just generally passing time so I can sleep as long as I can possibly sleep tonight. Since it's so bright with that moon out, I actually think we could try our hand at repairing our thermal undies again. Go fishing tackle. He's so bad. 85% chance of success and he's just... no, no, no. There we go. Cool degree of warmth out of those ones is very nice. Should be able to sleep for a good long time with us as long as I chow down. Matches, accelerant, and fire strikers. Is that one up at the summit, or is it one of the other ones that has fallen, fallen down in Timberwolf? Very important. Well, we're not at Timberwolf now. We first have to survive being here, and we haven't found any of the rare items that we're looking for for our store, sadly. Uh, now we're definitely going to be warm enough in here, next to the bedroll's massive insulating properties. Got a lot of health back, which is good. The question is, do we move on from here or not? It's a real doozy of a question. It looks nice out there. I could even start a fire. But what would I even be carrying with me? We're already quite heavy. I could make my way across the long bridge, check the cars along the way. I could take the river crossing, actually. There might be some stuff there. Which means going out, going north, across there. Follow the road. There's some blown out trailers that we might be able to use. I'm not sure for cover. Um, maybe, but if nothing else, there is a cave at the end of it all, and it's starting to be the best time, well, it'll soon be the best time of day for traveling. So I think I'll just carbo load, grab a fire, and move along, because the conditions look great for it. Do I want this cooking pot? Not really. Will I take it anyway? Not really. I should have left it at the lighthouse, but... I don't rate a cooking pot very highly, and we have a lot of them back at the base. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight. Wow, well, you can carry quite a lot before you get too stinky. But if I need a ton of food, we know this is here. Four of these should do me fine. Although I would like to be eating as much as I can before I go. Alright, so grab fire and make our way out and hope that the weather doesn't decide to piddle all over my cornflakes. And that should keep us good. Thank you, Maglens. Thank you, Stick. And also we grab every stick we can along the way. Doesn't matter if we get a little overburdened. I have quite a lot of water. I might leave a single batch of it here just for future emergencies. All right. There we go. And our weight is good, so let's get going and hope that it's not so windy that this instantly evaporates. Our uh, our personal warmth is instantly evaporating. Look at it go. We've lost a quarter of it, and it's still going down. Well, what a bummer. <laughs> but what can one reasonably do? Okay, once we're done with Bleak Inlet, we'll be hauling our stuff back to the shop, and then the next dead, uh, the next place to be will probably be Pleasant Valley, actually, but yeah, maybe we'll do the summit first. You know, everyone, everyone's seen Pleasant Valley, not everyone's seen the summit. I've never made it to the summit in a regular playthrough. I think I went up there when I was flying around testing things out. Seems reasonable. Thank you, crampons. Big thank you to the crampons. I definitely would have broken something coming down here normally. This is so cold. What happened since day 10? Has he lost his trousers to a bear? A bear has not managed to get me yet. Give it time. I'm sure they will eventually. However... Every single bear I have killed with a critical headshot. One of them in one shot, the second one in two shots, and the last one also in one shot. Feels pretty good to be me. Right, so there was... I thought there might be something over at the top of the bridge. There was not. We're going to follow this road around for a while. Might even shortcut it a bit going this way. I am already cold never felt so cold in my life. That's not true, Shepard. You have felt colder yesterday. It's just a drama queen. Yeah, my ribs were slowing me down, so the moose decided to take care of them. I bet Shepard's ribs didn't actually heal. He just took them out. Just accepted that that's his new lot in life. I do stink a bit, so I've got to be careful of timber wolves. The last thing I want is a uh, showdown between them. Because it's going to waste time and fuel. And I need both those things pretty badly. Okay, so that's a turn off that heads north. That means this thing turns around this way pretty rapidly. There'll be a lot of cars along the way. We can search them. Anything in a car is fair game. Although if there's a battery, I don't think I'm going to bother with it. The distance in this game is incredible. We were just over there moments ago at that lighthouse, and it feels like it's aeons away. Not to mention where we came from over there. Mr. Howard getting utterly mogged by this game out of Canada. <laughs> my phone uh, my phone just went off the moment I said Howard getting mobbed. <laughs> He's watching me, isn't he? Right. Keep the fire going, although at this point, what even for? I could warm up inside one of these cars. Since it's nice and clear out, it's actually a decent idea. I'm going to start a little fire here with our torch and a few sticks, and I'm probably just going to sleep inside one of these cars for a little bit. Maybe just an hour to heat up. Come on. Well, 
Thank goodness. Yeah, for how that. warm it? How my warm is it inside the car right now? Feels like minus twelve actually, with just a little bit of uh, sticking in here. We could get inside our bare bedroll and warm up in here rather nicely, unless the weather suddenly goes ultra grim. Still eat this. Oh, those are those are a okay, and I have. Do I need any more ketchup crisps? I don't actually know. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, let's just enjoy the warmth bonus for a little bit. It's not a lot, but it's something. I think the wind just took out my fire, as it usually does. Ugh, of course. I don't even have any tea I could thunk on you. Are you not free from the... No, 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 no. And I bet if I try to do this, it's just going to go out. Yeah, well, too bad. That was barely worth the time. We won't get anything out of here. You never do. Never, ever. Nothing in the back. Some place to escape this cold. Quick rumble around the glove box. Oh. There's a locked box in Bleak Inlet. Right, well, eyes peeled, folks. We want that. Never, ever anything in the back. I'm actually really wondering what to do here. Um, oh, that overturned trailer. <laughs> I'll see if I can start firing there and warm up. Vehicles are okay. The Riker is not a vehicle. It's a ship. Pop the hood. I didn't pop your hood. It's an easy way to take note that I've already checked it. And also, I will at some point need a battery. And sadly, we haven't found any batteries just hanging around the coastal highway. Right, this should be a great place to warm up. Looks like it has a lot of cover. There we go. And it's pretty clear, so... Maglens, help me out here. This will be a good place to warm up in my bedroll for an hour. Right, feels like minus 14, so I'm just going to slam on one bit of coal. Gonna prepare a couple of teas because I'm out of tea and I like that for the warming up possibilities. How does a mag light work inside a container? The game's a bit generous. If you are considered outside and you could get a light from outside, then it considers you starting the uh, the fire like that. If you're indoors, I don't think it'll do it for you. I've put a bit of water, as I recall, so let's make more of these. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll get more water when I'm napping here. And better believe I'm napping in here. When the good, when the going is good, the good get sleeping in their bearskin bedroll for plus 11 degrees warmth. It just calmed down a bit, but still, we'll get this warmth while the going is good. Whoa, whoa, that... Did I just hear the wind immediately pick back up? I don't think I did. I'm sure it's something out there. Campfire's still good. I'm not really tired. I'll probably just take torches and move on. I love taking torches. They're practically free, you know? Uh, not that one, though. That's a good torch. It's a good enough torch. Let's go. I'm surprised there's nothing around here. But not surprised enough to hang around for longer. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back.
sorted. Thought there was someone at the door, but clearly my imagination playing up. <laughs> Unless there is, in which case, it sucks to be them. Right, as usual, there's nothing in the back. There's nothing anywhere that you use a pry bar. Hello, hello. Shoot it at midnight so I know you're there. So you're telling us about the memento hint and plastic container. Wait, I don't recall checking a plastic container in there. Doesn't mean I didn't, though, just that I don't recall it. Right, out we come. Now there are wolves at this cannery area. You kill them. Oh, well, I think I'll have a hard time fighting them without uh, fire. And I do stink. Hmm. Right, what do I do here? Right, well, uh, they want me. I wonder if they can get in here. Can't start a fire here because it's made of wood. Could maybe find an opportunity to shoot them dead. Man, they are fast. Mm, it's kind of cold in here. Wonder, could I mag lens a little fire here? Well, that would actually block my exit, which wouldn't be good. Maybe a little bit further out. Yeah, I'm weary of the wall hackers. We don't like them. I don't like them. I don't want to waste my precious arrows shooting these guys, but they're still a royal pain to me. Kind of cold here. I would like the opportunity to warm up a touch. I just don't want the wind blowing out my fire. I'll try my luck with some coal because that warmth would keep me good. Can't tell which direction the wind's going though. Oh, they're there, and I still want. They still want some of me. Sorry, Wolfie. Oh, oh, my arrow! I need that! Ah, I thought I was getting the head, but I guess I just got the back shoulder or some such. Is that the same wolf coming back for more? He's crying. Can't tell if he's bleeding or not. Can't see any blood coming out, so maybe not. Oh, jeez, he didn't give two hoots about the fire. Should have backed off the moment he was gunning, uh, gunning for me. Deal with wildlife in this game. I can shoot through that. The thing is, you line up a shot and they get spooked because of uh, aggressive action plus fire. Funnily enough, you can wait them out, but I hear it takes a long time. And again, I'm not made of arrows. Right, I guess my best bet is to chuck torches at them, even though I hate that strategy. Fortunately, I have quite a few torches, so... Get out, you bum! Oh, that landed so short, and it blew out. So, that doesn't work so well. Oh, 
And why are they getting the burned uh, malice? Did actually scatter there, didn't they? But they'll be back. They always come back. Well, thank goodness they didn't start making me bleed. I can patch it up, but I'd rather not waste my precious cloth on such bandages. And yeah, I count four. One, two. Uh, buckle my shoe. Whoa, what the hell, man? <laughs> you freaking wall hacking dogs. I don't know which clothing he nicked there. Maybe just plain all of it. Right, you know what? I could always just bonk you in the face. Uh, I have a limited number of stones. And I have to do it without aiming. Ah, uh, yeah, bombs. I hate that so much. Right, oh, crap. I think the wind changed direction, blew out my fire, and then changed its mind. Yeah, I hate bleak and lit. Why am I here? There we go. That's a good one. You just want it to land near them and stay on the ground near them for a good long while. Oh, no, they're, they're splitting. Good, that's good. They are almost ready to break, I think. There we go, get the hell out of here. Miserable freaking fight. Oh, the torch is back. They're precious sticks to me. Well, I should take advantage of them not being here and loot the area. Man, they, they did a number on my health and my clothes. I suppose I have a I have a fire now. I should make use of that too. I think there was anything to search in there, so let's just see what there is inside here. I think I see your arrow. Wait, my arrow is out there? I'd like my arrow back if that's possible. Where did you see it? Well that seems unlikely because I shot the wolf. It was on the road. Uh... Oh, hey! I guess I missed the wolf then? I must have, because it only took 5% condition loss. It takes much more than that if it lands its hit. Right, what am I to do then? Wolves scared of flares. Okay, thank you kindly for that information. I'm very unfamiliar with this place, so I have no idea what I'm quite looking for. But let's just loot while we can. Trailer, trailer, trailer. Anything good and new? Oh, okay. Flying salty trackers, but that's great because now we have both these salty trackers that we need. Let me check my grocery list. Let's all check my grocery list. Salty trackers. Need two boxes? Got two boxes. So that's excellent. We don't uh, we don't need to grab any more of those. There'll be more cases like that growing, I hope, where I go, oh, no, I've already got this. We don't need more of this. I don't need a can opener. We already have more can openers than we need. Are you noting what you find indoors? Not really. Uh, just generally anything manufactured during this hunt, I'll just have in my head as... Uh, not allowed. Although there were one set of mittens I can tear up for cloth. It doesn't really matter which one, but uh, I need to find a moment to do that. Well, it's trailer blue. What else is there? 
Yeah, I'd love some cash. Cash would be grand. The cold is making my head feel thick. Are there any safes? Safes usually have cash. Oh, don't tell me I have to break this down to get in. I can't even climb up there one way or the other. A warmth bonus in here. What a dire place. Oh. Is this indoors or outdoors? It's kind of blown open. Hmm. Difficult bit of arbitration here. With you. Dive in warm -up I don't actually need accelerant. I shouldn't have taken that. This is probably indoors. It feels pretty indoors to me. Sardine cans with high quality food poisoning. We don't get food poisoning off of manufactured foods anymore. Hello, how do I get to you? Must be a way upstairs to that um, to that backpack. I don't need. Well, actually, I need no more tinners, don't I? So let's just leave you behind. And what else did I grab that I actually don't need at all? That accelerant, and it was indoors, so I don't care either. Kind of. Any way up there? Coal bin for coal. Coal bin for coal. Would like somewhere I could start a fire to warm up. Safe. Sweet. Um, this doesn't feel indoors at all, so I'm not going to have a problem just starting fire to stay warm here. I'd far rather... Uh, far rather do this somewhere that isn't going to blow out. Take a bit of coal to warm me up, please. I'll take the opportunity to make some water, as I often do. As long as you don't get blown out, we're going to warm up again, and I'm going to get this safe cracking. Forty-five. 45, 40. Forty-five, forty, fifty-five. Nice and easy. Come on, Canada money. Ooh, that's good. That is actually quite good. We did want that. Is getting worse. I think I wanted to warm up here a bit more than I am doing so. Maybe I should just pass a bit of time in here. This will warm me right up, surely. Ain't too close to another object. Better hide the maple syrup in the sea. Yeah, we know we know we're in Canada. Right, uh, there's still a lot of time left in this campfire, so I will harvest some crummy torches. Man, there's definitely a lot more to be had here. I'm just unfamiliar with the area. Since it's so grim, I can't really spend the time to look around. And the cave is still a wee bit away. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Oh, I definitely want to keep you with me. Oh, I did last long. Uh, that is... Some wood that I want. That's right, going out of my way for wood. I forgot to beachcomb at the lighthouse, damn. That would have been a clever thing to do. Anything down here? A couple of chests? Oh, 
Windbreaker. And Mittens. And they're both outside, which is nice, but I don't need either of them. Really, they're just cloth fodder. Getting cold as balls out here. I don't like it. And my health is already dangerously low. Can I enter the ship? Is it like the Riker? Oh god, wolves. Oh, and the wolves know I'm here. How do I get in here? How do I get in here? Was close. Oh, 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 Nelly. Yeah, you better scatter. Whoa. Tell me you're tell me you're staying away from me. Yeah, be gone. Too cold for this. Thanks for the acknowledgement of my good shot. Because it was a good shot. Is door even open? God, I'm so lost here. How can it be so hard to find your way around a cannery? Here, although I'm still freezing and losing a ton of condition. I have a stim if things get really bad, but I'd rather not use uh, use it if I can avoid it. But at this point, a wolf could probably do me in. Oh, a battery. <laughs> I don't want that. One of these ruddy places must have somewhere I can warm up in. Some, uh... Some fire barrel or something? These are not fire barrels. That's a toolbox. I guess I'll check while I'm here, but... Great place for battery if you want to make bullets. Yeah, not really a concern for an outer loafer. Hey, my old fire is over there. I'm dying here. I am seriously dying. I need a place to just bunker down and warm up a touch. Hey, dead body. <laughs> Let's not become like him. You know, it might actually be best to just hold out here. Right, warm up a spell. We seem quite well sheltered here. The campfire has some good heat in it. Let's increase that heat a bit. But I need good long sleep. Little chunks of sleep aren't going to get me the health back that I need. Killing the wolves, though, is going to make this place a good bit safer for the, my, for the rest of my duration here. Let's focus on that good point. It's good to say I'm not the only blind guy here. I've just never done bleak inlets. This is all new to me. Feels like zero degrees. Alright, here's another bit of coal. At least this campfire is going to last a good long time. One of the warehouses should have a fireplace and a bed. Once I've warmed up a bit, I'll go and check. There was another warehouse in that direction. Apparently one of these is enterable. 
Oh, passcode and Aurora are required for first time opening. Well, if there's an Aurora tonight, I could maybe open it up and have a gander. Since we have the passcode, don't we? What was it, 1-6 something or other? Ah, there we go. It's nice to be warm for a change. Whilst I'm enjoying this, I'm going to set on some water and see what I can do to pass the time. I'm going to break down a couple of those mittens that I found. Two of these are fine. Uh, I think it was the good ones that are mine. I think it was the good one. I actually didn't keep track which one is mine. I'll just assume one ruined and one good one. Or considered mine. It doesn't make any difference. And that windbreaker was legit as well. I could tear it down or I could keep it on for my store. It's worth two cloths, so it's absolutely worth something. It's absolutely something I want to tear apart. Two cloth, huh? I like two cloth. Considerably warmer now. I should go and have a look. Put on some water, there's no harm in doing so. Nibble up one of my bear meats, drink the problem away, and then go exploring. Oh my god, the wind blew you out? What wind? There is seriously something up with the wind affecting uh, fires in this game. At least it didn't kill my temperature, but it killed the time on the fire. So, how do I get over here? This is blown out. See a way over to you. Doesn't mean there's not a way, just means I can't see it. Huh, how do I get over there? Maybe there's a way up and over. But the stairs are destroyed. Ask the audience on this one because I'm out of a Scooby Clue here. I think the wind does not abruptly change; it moves to a new direction, blowing out your fire for a brief second. And pro yeah, but that is a royal pain in the bum to put nicely. I'm getting more tired and losing carry capacity. There is an argument to be made for just sleeping here for a little bit. But I'd love to be really tired and sleep a long time in the cave that's nearby. I just want to loot this. There must be some good stuff to loot. It's terrible. Coincidence that it was at nine minutes, or did the wind blow up the fire again? So, anybody? Anyone know a way up? I'm sleeping. Leg up here. Wrong house. Okay. Something along here. 
doesn't look like it. Across the cannery, there is a rope. Uh, what do you mean across the cannery? Or to put it another way, bring out my divining stick. That is north. Where am I going? North, east, south, west. What? What the? <laughs> what? There, there is something all sorts of wrong going on with the fire here. North, huh? Is there really a way to connect this up? North, northeast. You mean over there? How does that connect this? Jeez, it's getting grim out here. Need my antique cans back. No, not there, not down. Then where? The what? You mean you mean here? This this bit that I'm looking at right here. I need to go in there for some reason. Well, if you say so. I can't afford any condition damage now. I've got to warm up and live. Unsurprisingly, yeah, that didn't last. Oh, is that? No, I thought. Oh, it is reclaimed wood. Good, gimme. Uh, ruined sardines. You know what? I could just eat you right now, ruined sardines, and I likely will. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give those ruined sardines. I don't think this would. Can, I don't think this can cause food poisoning. Oh, not at least. Thank goodness. Because apparently our cooking skill somehow transfers to all of uh, all of the normal cooking in the world. Right. So why am I here? Hey, there's a rope. That might be useful. Also, I'm dying. Horribly. Maybe I should consider not doing this and instead going to the cave where I can rest and uh, get a lot better. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff to search here. I'm not in a position to do this. Hey, but I could probably run over to that thing. I really do. I'm gonna die here if I don't find somewhere to warm up. Ah, oh, smeg. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Right, here's hoping this totally counts as sheltered. Please, Cole, keep me warm and don't blow out. As long as the wind doesn't suddenly blow this campfire out, I should be able to live here for a little bit. Maybe. Maybe me sleeping in this bear roll will scare them off somehow. I'm dangerously close to dead though. Right, give me give me sleep for one hour and please don't blow up my fire.
That does not sound like my fire still being there. There's some... There's a whole lot of nonsense going on with the wind in this game. amount of health that I'm getting back from this, but I just needed to warm up a touch. Now I need to figure out how to deal with these accursed wolves. Maybe I can shoot them from above. As long as they don't do any nasty hat. Wait, where are they? Remember, you're not part of Mother Nature's plan. <laughs> yeah, I'm certainly not part of her planning committee. So, uh, this gets me down to here, sure, but I suppose there's nothing else can loot here. Truth be told, I don't know if I could be considering this inside or outside. There's no warmth bonus. It's kind of like a blown open barn, so... Well, we're here. Down on the boat, there's a walkway to stack of papers. I don't need any more book-related things, so that's a no. Search here while I'm here, see if I can find any fat loot. But yeah, those dogs could easily kill me. I'm on death's door right now. Ooh, sewing kit. Oh, a double sewing kit. Yeah, this place is definitely outdoors. I was just typing definitely indoors. <laughs> okay, good. The wind did not come and destroy that. Okay, right. If 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 you're offended by that, here's my here's what I propose. There we go. Definitely outdoors now. Let's get out or loping. Does the wind get worse up in the air? I don't know. I'm not convinced it really matters. Oh god, it's picking up again. Right. Probably gonna blow up my campfire real soon. So I need to decide how I handle this one. Can you enter the... the Harbinger? Apparently this thing's called the Harbinger. Looks like it's got a door on it. Didn't you just say you could wait the wolves out? Yeah, for 12 hours. As long as my fire doesn't go out, that's a possibility. Looks like I would... Hey, there's a fish over there. But my campfire is staying safe. That's good. Just considering my options here. I'd really like to get to the cave and just hang out there till I get my condition back. At least it should be warm and not need a fire. No entry on the boat. The door is frozen shut. So what I'd probably do is I'd go on there, try to get the wolves away from me, and then leg it over to the cave, and then hang out in the cave for uh, a long time to get my health back. Because we do have the food, right? Kind of. That is a decent amount of food. And we have the cattails as well, but I could always hunt a dog if I need even more food. Basically, I hate bleak inlet. I haven't found a fire striker. I haven't really found anything worth my time. 
just regular stuff I could find anyway. That doesn't mean there's not goodies, like there could be something really nice on that ship. But the conditions here are horrible. Ah, let's throw in another couple of sticks and take another lovely outdoor nap. Look at how nice and outdoors this is. Mm, bracing. That blew up my campfire again. Yeah, the wind is right on my campfire. Well, uh, uh, since it could be a matter of life and death, I'm going to heat up these. I want immediately to get the warming up bonus so that I lose my heat a little slower. Take the other one, pick you up, and then hook! Marine flare, that's good for getting rid of the dogs. I will consider actually using that. Still need this. Crisps are nice. Oh, that wasn't a fish, it was a picture of a fish! Really nothing else on this ship? I hate this place, it's a silly place. Oh, but maybe I should take advantage of being here and uh, kill these wimpy... wimpy dogs. Kill them or just run away? Chris, I don't know, I, even, I don't even know anymore! What if they can path up here? Well, I think it's less of a what if now. Inlet is not enough to provide goods inside a locked locker. There is a heat bonus inside this cabin though, so it definitely counts as indoors. Wait, I can walk along this for what purpose? I just want out of here. <laughs> this is a horrible place. Feels like minus everything. Spray paint shouldn't have even picked it up. Am I gonna go across these on top? I guess so. Raggedy jeans, that's just free cloth. I can't afford the hypothermic damage, I have to drink up. I still think the implementation of animals in this game is so poorly done. I don't know how to do it better, but I still don't like what there is. Alright, well I finally made it over here, where I think I was wanting to go, but I'm not entirely sure. It's still cold as sin though. Stim? Yeah, I need those stims alright. And I think I just need to run over to that. There we go. Good 
Could I start a fire here? Because I need... I need a fire pretty badly. I can feel the wind over there for whatever reason. Could I feel the wind back here? No. Can I start a fire here? Ah! No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die if I don't start a fire somewhere real soon. I guess I could do it here, but this is not wind safe. This looks man-made, yeah, no kidding. I even go. Oh, thank God, a fire barrel. Uh, hmm. Difficult choices to be made here. This is definitely indoors, it gives a warmth bonus. However, observe. The sheer power of adhering to your own rules. I hope the wolves can't get up here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what a horrible situation. Right, I'm gonna warm up a bit. my incredibly long arms to do this. Get me some nice warm tea, please. Uh -huh. We'll actually explore this place. Oh, right, this is the part that needs a keypad, doesn't it? No aurora for me just yet. I may want more burnables on this thing. There's an idea to just uh, smash these crates apart for reclaimed wood. Feels like barely warm. Go my hatchet. Looks like a new day is dawning. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Jake. Now we know we should avoid this region in our place. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this bleak inlet. <laughs> Certainly lives up to its name, though. No, don't do that. It's too... too cold. I need to warm up more. Cold is making my head feel thick. To warm it up a touch. Is there anything I could repair to warm up a touch? Not reasonably. Wow, they did a number on my wolf's... Uh, my rabbity stuff. I will need to fix that eventually. Right, any of my crappy torches to throw at these mutts so they go away. Pulling a torch actually reduces the temperature, so I don't like doing that. But even so, I do have a lot of reclaimed wood now, don't I? So on you go. And let's get these mutts out of here. Where are they at? Yeah, there we go. You don't like that, do you? and I didn't even know. Where you at, dogs? I need to find some place to escape. I thought they might have been there, but it looks like they're over there. 
They care a little bit. You can see their morale bar at the bottom. You just need to know where they are and throw accordingly. Not easy. I'm taking any damage right now is unforgivable. My health is way, way, way too low. Rebound? No. Oh yeah, the moose would be here destroying me, that's for sure. Could I just sleep for an hour while going is good? I'd rather sleep for much, much longer, but I will... I will do that soon enough. It's like one of those 10 hour YouTube videos you fall asleep to, but... It's not rain, it's dogs. Like you annoying mutts. Ugh. I got you a bit. Come on, dogs. Mutt. Yeah. Really compelling gameplay is this? Throwing torches at incredibly annoying dogs. Maybe this isn't intended. Let's do a lot of my Whoa, that's a good torch. That ain't a throw at dogs torch. Throw at dog's torch. Come on, calm down, dog. Just stay there so I can bully you with my. <laughs> Maybe you're intended to just make a fire indoors and call it outer loops. What? Blew over my head. Stay, dog. I want to bash you with this. There we go. Scat. Okay, now I feel the pressure easing off so much already. I got some more fire to keep this thing going a little longer. Right, now, there are surely good things to be had here. But I'm so almost dead that I can't really make use of it. I'm going to bung on some more reclaimed wood to get some heat out of this. And I'm probably just going to sleep here for six hours. With my belly full of meat, of course. There is some dog meat out there if I'm really hankering for it. Yeah, it feels pretty warm. I should be fine here, but this isn't going to give me nearly as much condition as I want. Also, is that actually going to give me uh, to pass? Is that actually going to pass six hours of the fire barrel? I wonder. I don't know. At least, no matter how bad the storming gets, it's not going to blow out the the barrel. They are immune to such things. It did not. Wow! Even though the fire barrel is indoors, it gets the outdoor bonus. So I guess it cares where you are, not where fire is. So what now? I think I already came through there. I need an Aurora to check this place out, but it probably has some good stuff. You're fairly rested, Jake. Maybe it wasn't six hours. Well, there's no way it was three. Where's the good stuff? 
No, it ain't here. What's such a terrifying place? <laughs> and all that food I had, oh, it's quickly going away now, isn't it? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I could hang around here and pray for a, an aurora, but it strikes me as not a great way to spend my time. I could just leave here, go hang out in the cave for a while. Or I could start considering how quickly I can leave Bleak Inlet. The wind is horrible, the temperature is horrible, it's horrible for outer loping. That's meant to be great stuff at this cannery, though. We already found the safe, but the Aurora warehouse apparently has some great stuff in it. I want it, but how can we... well, we can't be sure we're going to get an Aurora. We might get one tonight, though. That's not unthinkable. Maybe we should have some... have some faith. And have some fresh beer meat cooked. And then... But there's that dead wolf downstairs that I would love to harvest, but I really think... I think we'll give it a shot tonight. Hope for an Aurora to get in. Although we already had an Aurora two nights ago. I don't think it's likely we'd get another one so soon. Hmm. Or we take advantage of it being the best time of day right now, and we go over to the cave. The wind is still incredibly nasty, but what's a man to do? Do you remember how to get here? It's a pretty simple straight line from here uh, to here from the cave. There's some trailers I need to check out. Uh, let me think. That was the bridge over. This is the entranceway into here. This must be where I killed Fido, right? Where did I, where did I kill Fido? Those crows overhead tell me it was somewhere around here. Oh no, they're over that body. I don't know where I killed uh, killed Fido then. The greed is real. My main greed right now is for my health. I would like it back. I'm going to take another one hour kip. What is that noise? I wonder if it's the sound of... Um, Wolves coming back to tear me a new one. But I think we should just go grab some torches and get the heck out of here. Before things get real grim. Fido was near the crows as well, under the house that's next to the Aurora warehouse. Down there was where I... Because, I mean, I could chop him up and have a lot of food to enjoy next to this thing, but... It's not warm. I need to keep burning things to maintain my life here, and I'm not sure I want that. We could have a quick look around. Did I loot everything in here, for example? I didn't notice this. I think I went up and around. Hey, there's dead Fido. I think I wouldn't mind tearing apart dead Fido. Dead Fido's friends come to say hi, then. That's six kilos of dog meat. How can I say no to that? I'm going to attract every dog in the region by doing this, but uh, it will Turned keep me good in my well. cave for a while. Right, add some reclaimed wood, just a little bit. Start shredding two half bits off of Fido. Oh right, this is cold. Uh, yeah, 
completely forgot that I need to stay warm myself. Oh, jeez, not that again. Um, feels like minus 19, because it's windy here. Feels like minus 13 here, though. I'm going to use all of this, but I am a cold man. How about we put you on? And you on? And I'm just going to drink this tea. That'll keep me uh, from losing too much temperature here. As long as I remain out of the wind. There we go, it's barely going down, even for this. I need to drop something. It looks quite a quite a way to get to that. Um, it was quite the journey to get to that. I know. Getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Cave. <laughs> so desperate for caves on Outer Loafer. At least for tasting all the delicacies that Great Bear has to offer. Three bandages, that's good. The extra stim is also nice. As long as we can get back, get it back to the store. I'm not really sure I still want to be here in Bleak Inlet. Why, why don't we just check the trailers and get the heck out of here? The only difference will be if the Aurora hits. Let me think of my game plan to escape. I do want to go to the cave and rest up until my health is back, because there are, are no good caves that I can see on the way out. Well, there is one, but it's ages away from here, so that's a no. Now, though, I would still like to have this stuff cooked. Uh, have that ready in case something burns out here. We can bleak inlet, man! Jesus! Keep me warm, reclaimed wood, keep me warm. Because I can't keep me warm. Oh, crumbs. This does not look like good run to the cave weather. It's like quite the opposite. I wish I had coal. Coal would be much better on bringing uh, temperature to this. I have too many torches. I am at the point where I'm willing to admit I have too many torches. Willing to admit that I have too much meat, though. You were generous with your coal yesterday. Yeah, I know I dumped a few onto the thing, but it wouldn't matter. That coal would not have translated to being here. Paddington may have respawned. Yeah, but I don't really want to go back that way. I don't want to make the full loop around Bleak Inlet. Jesus, I'm so glad for this big chunk of machinery keeping me safe here. From the wind, that is. I need to put on some sticks just to warm this place up a bit. I'm going to get into my sleeping bag to uh, to warm up as well. Oh, it calmed down a touch. That's nice. Right, it needs a little bit of time. I'll just sleep in here for... Wow, feels like bollocking cold. I'm not out of the way of the wind, though. Where's the wind? There we go. Blocked for, uh, blocking it from here. Give me an hour just to warm up, please. It's disappointing Timberwolves just give normal wolf hides. Yeah, it'd be nice if you got Timberwolf 
uh, fur, and you could use that for I don't know, trousers or something under your other clothes. Oh, oh, well, there goes, there goes that. Now, I might need tea just to survive getting to the cave. I might need my stim just to survive getting to the cave. But now I need to get to the cave. Divining stick. Which way is the cave? I'm a little too heavy for this kind of running, aren't I? Uh, maybe I should just park with some of my torches to lighten my load a touch. Definitely part with that. Too cold to think. Jeez, I am actually cold, right? Let's get that inside us. I'm gonna drink this as well, just to get as much warmth in my body as possible. And just in the off chance that this is going to hold, I'll get you. Wait, divining stick. Which way is north? I don't actually know. Drop one stick. That way is north, meaning I want to go this ish way. What, really? Nah, I don't buy that. Is that really north? Really? Alright. I believe in you, stick. Please, no wolves on the way here, even though I stink a little bit. Have mercy, game. Crumbs. Right, where are they at? There's not much left of them, they barely have any morale. Can't see the wee bastards. Give me the fire, give me the fire, give me the fire, where's the fire? What do you mean invalid? Let me place my chuffing fire. It should be very easy to make them scatter. I just need to lob a torch at their face. We go, get out of here. It wasn't enough for you, but I'm going to need that torch. Start sodding off. That no, wasn't an Aurora. If it were an Aurora, those wolves would not have given two hoots about my fire. Alright, I think the cave is over there. What? Another? Maybe if I just keep moving, he'll, he'll go away, he'll ignore me, he'll not be my problem. I need that cave. Need to find some place to escape this cold. Oh Jesus. Take it easy, get the fire. All the fire at their face, keep going. Where are they even? Come on. Where are you? I barely see you. Well, that did almost no morale damage to them. I'm taking cold damage here. Never felt so cold in my life. I can't deal with them, they just keep running like that. Right, you know what, the cave is practically right there. How about I just leg it while they're preoccupied with themselves? How do I get up into the cave? Oh, 
Around here, perhaps? This ain't looking like a way to get up and around. Okay, there we go. Maybe. No, maybe not. Come on, Shepard, for God's sake, just climb up a tiny little amount. Right, think about it. Where am I even? How do I get up here? Oh, apparently you can't get in this way at all. You need to take the northern route. Oh, Jesus. Right, you know what? I've had enough for you. Oh, well, the feeling is mutual, it seems. dogs. It's cold. Damage is getting outrageous, though. Uh-oh, he's going for me. Ow! Right. I'm dying here. Badly. Get the fire up, get stim inside me, get up there. Alright. Where are they? I can't see them. Right. The time has come. You guys, you gotta go. I gotta go. Doesn't mean I'm going to pass by sticks, even though I'm dying here. The cave! Oh, I'm marginally warm. I think this is a good opportunity to actually start a fire. with my lit flare. Hey Jake, can you please explain what is the fun part of this game to you? As I understand about all those strategies, I see no challenge. See no ch I am literally dying here. And I am being followed into this cave. Okay, well then. Smeg off, dog. There we go, we broke them. We well and truly broke them. Hopefully they don't follow me in here ever. Give me that, give me that. Give me that. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. An emergency stim. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> right. So... Screw the fire, let's just assume it's going to be warm enough in here inside my bedroll. I am going to eat... Do I even have wolf food on me? I must have wolf food on me, I packed it all with me. I have bear meat as well, but... Uh... Ooh, actually... That should cook it, but not, um, not kill it. Right. Never mind. Just drink lots and sleep for maximum time. It shouldn't be so cold that it kills me, because we're inside the nice, warm, back 
side of the cave. And let's just sleep for 10 hours. And uh, 9 hours. Look at that! Look at all that health! Oh, God. Thank you, Bearskin Bedrill. I'd be dead without you. And, uh, lovely wolf meat. <laughs> and it's a clear day. Around you know what that snow. means? Nothing to drink. It means I can mag lens this fire and make more water and stuff. Uh, I might not need it, but let's assume that I do. Do you get worried when you go to sleep? I absolutely do. But I'm fairly confident with the bearskin bedroll and my current clothes, I'm fine in a cave. I'll see you more loot. I'm working on it, Marvin. One thing at a time. Make more water so that I have that as an option. Keep all my food here. It's not a ton of food, but it'll keep me good for a wee while. Kinda wish I'd killed the dog over there so I'd have easy access to food, but I wasn't thinking straight. A little bit of reclaimed wood will go a long way. Back of the cave has absolutely nothing. Still grateful for the emergency stim, though. We tell Jake that there could be a moose on the way out. It's alright. I know how to handle a moose by uh, trying lots. I see a wolf over there. You know, actually, I wouldn't mind a wolf coming over here so I've got more food to just last a while. So, actually, I'm going to keep this on me in case I can attract his attention over here. It's immediately unbearably cold out here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check my number of stones. Three is good. Three stones keeps me sane. Scaring the wolves off is one thing, but we got to kill them to make sure they don't come back. Yeah, that's right. Come get some of this. Rarely have I seen Jake with hands as sweaty as that chase across the way. It's just such a long run to lose at this stage in the game. And I'm in a completely alien place. I don't know Bleak Inlet whatsoever. There we go. Get back here so I can warm up uh, slightly. I like being warmer, truthfully. So I'll put on some cedar. I might need it. Same with this reclaimed wood. Let's just spoil ourselves in terms of warmth. These all the same? Bear meat, I think, is untouched. And you? Right. Come on, Fido. I'm right here. They can surely path here. They pathed here earlier. Making a bunch of water. God knows how long I'm going to be here, but I am not setting food out of this cave until I have a huge amount of health, unless things end up going horrifically south for me. Nah. Sob no goa. Looks horrible. Heat just evaporates in there. Yeah, yeah, we got a key. I call this guy emergency rations, but we do have a cave, buddy. You're right. Is this survival mode? It is survival mode. It's interloper. But we're playing it outside, hence the name Outer Loper. Uh, I took that as the wrong kind of water. Sure have a lot of stuff to drag back to the shop, but it's not a lot of important stuff. I didn't get the Fire Striker, which I think is going to end up being one of the hardest things to get for the store. They're very limited, and I have no clue where they are. Makes for a bad combination. Come on, my doggy friends. What's taking you so long? Dogs are meant to be smart. I can't feel my feet. Well, that wasn't so smart. 
Archery expert. That's right. You have become a skilled archer. You have a steady, accurate aim and a powerful shot. You improved efficiency. Helps keep the bow in good condition for longer. That's a really good one. It means every shot I take is less damage to the bow. How much less? 50% less. I can take twice as many shots of the bow as uh, before. That was a big chunky wolf as well. Six and a half kilos of fun. That's good. Come on over. I know you want some of this. No, you didn't want it that badly. If I kill another one, I think that'll do away with all their morale. He's in a very inconvenient place for hacking to pieces. But them's the brakes. Ah, damn, damn. I, I If they get a little too close, I get spooked by the fire. So I need them to get a bit closer. It's that quick turn. That quick turn is bothersome. Nice! Oh man, I'm good. <laughs> Once you fill the store, you gotta five all your skills, right? Uh, no, no way. The the uh, the mending one takes forever, and I don't think I even could do the gunsmithing ones. No guns to smith. Right, there is a thought where I just actually go out there and uh, quarter them to bring them here. Or not. I'm not actually sure about that. Not very warm in here. And I do not have a lot to burn. <laughs> Far from it. But this is the only fire. It's got to last me. So I need to cook up these doglets while I can. So what's my best option here? Harvesting your meat would take that long. Quartering you would take an hour. Uh -uh, so probably best just take your meat. Yeah, knife is the fastest way. Don't mind the condition damage. We'll get it all back. Next to the meat, though. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't boil dry. Okay. I have so little to burn on this, it's a little dangerous. Yeah, the wood economy is looking real weak, and I can't really augment it with anything on this island. There's nothing to, to be had. But those dead wolves should significantly reduce the, the danger of attack. And hopefully this fire lasts a bit longer while I'm here. Let me think. An hour 47, 42. 35, 42. Wait, what? Hmm. Well, this is all right. I'm just past time here. The campfire is lasting longer than the time indicates, which is lovely for me. Tommy's getting all grumbly. I don't want no half measures here. 800 calories, 800 calories, so you're the next two that are up. Let's go and hack apart the other one whilst I'm relatively warmed up. Just give me everything. Cold damage is an illusion. Ow! <laughs> that wasn't even worth it. I don't have uh, the fire time to cook all this anyway. Harvest some of my torches, even though they're good torches. Just to throw on some more sticks and get some more out of this. But every stick is 22 minutes on the fire, so I suppose it's kind of worth it. Please break, uh, break up the broken arrow. I'll think about it. Look at that. Stick, 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 stick. We'll get as much cooking as we can done here, and we'll try and stay alive here as long as we can.
Yoink. Arrowheads are good. My fingers feel numb. Hey, there were some sticks out there earlier. Maybe some sticks will have appeared now. It's our time by harvesting this poor broken arrow. Warm up a touch, and then I'm going to go and scout out for some of those sticks. Yeah, this food could be the key to me staying alive in here, because I want all my condition back before I brave the bra uh, brave the outdoors again. Water could actually become a bigger issue than food, though. So I think after these two, I want some water. But, uh, well, there are problems. I need, I need stuff to burn badly. Starting a fire isn't a problem, it's maintaining the fire. That's a big problem. Minus 23 on, even with all this gear on. There's only one lonely wolf over there, I think, though, which is nice, because I've had it with these freaking wolves. There is nothing burnable here whatsoever. That sucks. Guess we just gotta stay warm at the back and do what we can to stay hydrated. I can already imagine somebody saying, bet you wish you'd kept the cooking pot now, huh? Maybe. But probably not. Is there not some other way to explore this island? There, there apparently is. Actually, there's apparently something up there. We should warm up a touch and go and explore it. Get off. Get off. There's practically no time left on this campfire anymore, so... The snow is unlikely to do much for me. Mm, dare I add one stick? Fear nothing. Add the stick. Dare I add another stick? It's a damn good torch, but... Torch won't keep me lo uh, torch won't keep me warm enough. I'm gonna look at the uh, the snow. Oh right, food. Um, I didn't keep track of where the small one was, so too bad. Right, Godspeed. And in the interest of keeping myself barely warmer while I'm out there, and safer. Right, let's hope that there is wood up there. Let's hope that there's so much wood it curls my toes. I can see trees. So, where there's trees, there's wood, as the great Chinese philosophers say. They don't, but forgive me, the stim has caused some mental damage. It is the fourth steroidal injection we've taken on this campaign. Hey, a stick! Sticks! Oh, yes! 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 The most unorthodox headquarters in all of long dark history. We're holding out on this godforsaken island off of Bleak Inlet. Please tell me there are many, many more sticks or other sources of wood up here. Sure looks like there's not. This sure looks like I'm climbing to nowhere. There's a tree there. There are other trees there. And there are sticks near these trees. Nice. I'm wondering if the stick generation algorithm is just if there is tree place sticks randomly around it after every storm or blizzard or X amount of time. I'd love to pick this game apart in terms of that, but. Far more dedicated people than I have not, so maybe there's 
There's no problem with doing so. I can't feel my feet. I could tear that thing apart for some much needed uh, source of. That's a lot of set our firewood, but it's one hour of just eating condition damage. I am not doing that, not yet at least. I would consider it later on, but I'm too damn cold, and that would do way too much damage to me. Especially since these sticks are essentially free. So cool. Free stick is a good stick. Just don't want to lay down. Campfire had a minute in it. There we go. A minute in it. Sounds good. Right. Lovely, lovely. But I need, still need more water, believe it or not. I'm gonna make water, hopefully cook that stuff up, and then hopefully still do alright. I even warm up next to this thing, which is nice. Whack, 12 sticks. <laughs> oh my god. Surviving against the odds never felt so good, but it did feel good. Let's um, take note of anything we might want to repair for warmth, if nothing else. Actually, all, all the stuff that I really want to repair needs animal stuff, so that's a little out of the question, sadly. When we get back to the shop, we are definitely doing repair jobs on everything. Because clearly we need every ounce of warmth we can get. Thank you, Marine Flair. You saved the day alongside the stem. Thirteen minutes, thirty-seven minutes. Thirty-one minutes. So it only took six minutes to pass twelve minutes. If that makes your head hurt, then uh, welcome to the long dark. No, we don't cook baby slices around here. Cooking 46 minutes should only cost this 20-something minutes. So it did. Mostly maintain this fire because it's good and warm, so all the more reason to be making use of it right now. Uh, do I want even more meat? Water is a kind of a much bigger concern right now. But it's hard to say no to all this delicious meat. I think it makes sense. Your character's starting to lose higher brain functions, so maths is hard. You have no clue. The amount of things Commander Shepard's been through on his three months in Great Bear. I think these are all uniform stakes. All the same size, weight, shape. They all have Johnson's Lassard. Yeah, the water to meat ratio is off. I need a lot more water. I shouldn't even be cooking these, I should be making water. But, if there's a storm, there'll be sticks that appear, and we can just go out and get those sticks. I also would quite like to get the... No, no, I don't want to harvest the dogs. If you harvest the dogs, they'll respawn faster, and the last thing I want are more timber wolves around here. Should have enough heat on this thing to get a few more litres of water out. Really nothing I could be making with this. I used up one of my three bandages, so we're still okay in that regard. I'm happy to have the stims. Yeah, when I got bleed and a huge amount of damage off that timber wolf, I really thought my goose was, uh, goose was cooked. In those situations, you just need to stay calm. Fire will stop them from attacking you, unless they get weird angles. And they just lob torches and they go away. It's just... I really have the burnables to keep lobbing torches because I knew I needed them here for this. It's hard to keep a clear head in a game that you can't pause. 
Didn't you kill the dogs for the meat? Yeah, I did, and look, we made all this meat. I was just wondering if I wanted to scoop the rest of their guts and skins off, but decided against it. Right. Gib, gib, gib. Cook, cook, cook. I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to get really tired and then sleep for as long as possible to get as much um, condition back. Mm, we celebrate our 96th day. How long has it been since we got to Bleak Inlet? Ugh. Yeah. Day 91, we entered Bleak Inlet. Day 92, we regretted being in Bleak Inlet. Day 93, 4, 5, and 6, we barely survived Bleak Inlet. And what a cruel mockery of fate. It's been clear since I've decided I need to hold out in this cave. I really feel like the game knows what it's doing in that regard. I'm going to keep one stick. I always like to keep one stick. It's good for uh, divining, if we can call it that, which we can. Five arrows, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Unless you make really terrible shots on a moose. I don't rest your number, I think. That's the idea, Shepard. It's going to be a long and restful well, rest for you. Might just be enough time for this. I like to think it will be. Feels like night is coming. Seven minutes to thirteen, that'll be okay. I'm gonna lose all my temperature bonus on this, but the wolf bedroll should keep it warm at the back here. Shame about all the damage to my clothes, not giving quite as much warmth as before, but the warmth on the clothes, the cave, and the bearskin roll should keep me alive in here. And even if it goes slightly negative, it shouldn't last for long, and then it'll go positive when it warms up a bit, like a blizzard or something would be nasty, but not the end of the world. So, there we go. Thank you, campfire. Thanks for all of this water and all this meat. This is more than I need to completely rest up. The only real, real problem will be passing enough time around here, but I can always scoop things off the dogs to make myself feel a bit better. Uh, did I eat the... No, you're the crummy small one. Ah. You're right. I didn't bring anything to read. And there's nothing I could reasonably read anyway. The only skill that we really want is ice fishing. I could have brought one of those, but it wouldn't be worth the 500 grams. Our tree feels damn good, though. Mmm. We're such a killer. Let's at least get to know this area. Wolf carcass, wolf carcass. I'm not so sure about that game. Didn't I pick up a lot of... Yeah, I picked up way too much charcoal there. Certainly don't need it, so... Drop all of it here. Let's eat up, drink up, and rest up. We're just here to relax for a wee while. It's like a little Commander Shepherd vacation home. And uh, maybe tomorrow, with a little bit of warmth we have, we go and hunt for a few more sticks. And then we repeat until we're good enough to get the hell out of Bleak Inlet. Because <laughs> I hate this place. I always double check that my, condi my conditions are all maxed out here. Best cave on the Citadel. According to our map, Bleak Inlet is nothing but this cave. Which does amuse me. Cannot lie. I go into my menu just to eat this rancid bit of wolf meat. Barely any eating on it anyway, though. Sit by the fire, sing songs about summer. What fire? What summer? You're using a lot of words I don't know. What do you think? Is there any uh, any sticks that have decided to appear here? I wonder if you could actually get up here. 
That looks like a fat stack of no. It's a stone. Eh, why not? I scare away a timber wolf before it does nasty things to me. Feels like minus 31 out here. Does not feel like sticks though. Yeah, no. Maybe sticks has something like a three day or a blizzard uh, regeneration time. So I actually want blizzards now, who would have thought? Yeah, leave Fido there. He's not doing any harm to anyone, at least of all me. And I'm just going to pass time in my lovely warm bed for a wee while, because I've got little else to do. As long as I warm up in the bed. Jake, what gives you the extra carry capacity? Three things. One is well fed. Prevent starvation for three days. That means never letting this go completely empty for three days in a row. And you get plus five kilograms carry capacity and plus five maximum health. The other two are the Moosehide Satchel for another plus five kilos, and the Technical Backpack, which I don't think shows up anywhere, but the Technical Backpack gives you a permanent plus five. The Moosehide Satchel can break, and you can lose well fed by starving, but you'll never lose the Technical Backpack, so it's well worth going to Trash Canyon for. Wish I could use my time productively, but there's little more I can do than just pass time. Try to get tired so I can sleep some condition back. Just enjoying ourselves with a deck of cards. Can't be that much fun, but that's what Shepard does. I could use a drink. In what capacity, Shepard? Eat first, then drink, so you get really thirsty, and then chase it down with water. Takes uh, two thirds of a liter to quench your thirst. I still got some left over, so dunk. Pass time until late afternoon. And look at how warm it's getting in this cave. No cabin fever either. What are you waiting for? I want my condition back before I leave this cave. Bleak Inlet is too dangerous with the timber wolves and the freezing cold and the surprising lack of outer loper friendly areas. This bedroll's already taken 13% condition. This is the first time we took it out. I don't have a spare uh, bear to heal it with either, do I? Well, there is one <laughs> in, in this region. I suppose if there's an Aurora tonight, I could go over to the Aurora cannery area. Bit of a trek though, and Aurora Timberwolves are probably man's worst friend. It wasn't kind enough to give us some sticks, was it? Come on, it was windy, you'd think a few sticks would be blown loose. You would think wrong. Oh god, look who's back. Well, I have no real need for killing you. There's some trailers over there though. Hmm. I think get first light tomorrow. Or maybe not first light, maybe at the best time of day for traveling, which is kind of now. When it doesn't feel like absolute death outside. We'll make our pilgrimage north. There's a snow shelter up atop a hill. That thing I do know of. I've seen it before when flying around. That's a few more hours. So we're thirsty, because that means condition damage. Chew down in our nasty old rancid wolf meat, which is actually in such good condition that it wouldn't have made me ill. Ain't that nice. If it's above 75% condition, you will not get ill from it. Let's 
takes a bit more time to get uh, maximum amount of sleep through the night. Feels like you really don't generate a lot of fatigue by just passing time. Who would have thought? This guy must be so bored. What is Shepard even doing? Like playing strip poker with himself? to find a place to rest. Voltaire for the 75th time try and beat your old time. But uh, it's pretty hard to trap time in this kind of situation. Right, give ourselves a good long sleep. This will restore all of our condition. And then it's time to start making moves to... No. No. Oh, we ain't going anywhere. Jesus Christ. Oh, we've eaten two whole dogs at this rate. Some of this dog I brought from home. Bleak Inlet. It needs an outlet. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm sleeping for another couple hours. With this blizzard, it's very cold here. God, it's even cold inside the cave. If I didn't have the bear bed, uh, bedroll, I'd be too cold to be in here. In fact, there's a good chance this will get too cold for me. Let's pass a couple hours. Okay, thank you, all-powerful bearskin bedroll. Would have been uh, goose-cooked without you. Alright, now to make a call. Do we want to go out in this or wait a little bit longer? I think I want to wait one more hour. But then we're going to eat up, drink up, pack up, and leave. Because I hate Bleak Inlet, and Bleak Inlet hates me. Doesn't look too shabby out there. We'll take the most calorifically dense stuff first. Do I care about stinking? I wouldn't. I would actually like to have some supplies as I'm heading out. I'm not sure I can. It'll be fine. That's an excessive amount of water. We could dunk a good deal of it in favor of taking another couple of you. And how is our weight? We got like a kilo of space. Right, this will be painful, but when is it not? Let's go. I did remember my bedroll. Excellent. Should be some sticks that spawned after all that, one would think. Since it was a blizzard. Uh, Alright, where am I even going? If I go straight north over to those trailers, I can loot them. And from there, if I head north up that hill, there might be a snow shelter for me to destroy for cloth. Although I don't really need that anymore, do I? Might be some fat loot regardless. Uh, there are some trailers up past that to also loot. And then if I keep going north, I cut west to a hunter blind, and those usually have good loot. Well, they can. Sometimes they have absolutely nothing. Further north to a cave where I'll probably spend the night. Out of there, there's another hunter blind further north and one way out to the east. And then further north, um, forlorn musk egg cave exit. And my god, I'll be grateful to be out of here and over there. But, baby steps first. There's probably going to be a timber wolf or two to ruin my day out here. Uh, I don't mind the cold damage so much now because I have a bajillion health. No, 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 timber wolves. You stay the heck away. Don't be summoning your friends. Is that a stick? No, it's my footprint. I confuse the two often. Just trying to scare him away with some rock throwing. At least enough to get to that trailer. This has been a terrible looting situation. Now, maybe there's really good loot here in Bleak Inlet and I've just been missing it. But, my goodness, 
We didn't find good stuff. We just found a lot of trouble. No, your place, dog. Your place is not here. It's good. He doesn't seem to think that his place is here. I keep one stone. I always like having one stone. Get a rabbit, scare something away, just aim it aggressively. It's all good. Damn. I'm freezing. Hmm? Well, does anybody know where the memento cache is? I did get the memento cache key, but no sign of where to use it so far. Two trailers. Dusting sulfur, I kind of want that. For the shop. How much dusting sulfur do I need? I think that's in my DIY section on the grocery list. Uh, four! And I have two now, okay. Your thing. I'm not going to take that wood because it's an indoor item. I can't use it. Yeah, you are what you eat. I practically am one of these wolves. Come on. Come on. Fire striker. That's the big rare item I need, and I need two of them. They're not even that great. They're good for lighting 50 fires, but, you know, so, so is a few packs of matches. The matches are everywhere. All right, this sucked. Did you check the prison memento? I haven't been to the prison, so no. I haven't been to Black Rock, so double no. Well, glad those wolves are running around and not going for me. Maybe they're too scared because I uh, eradicated their friend. What's this? What's this? Pinnacle Peaches is a tinner, and we have plenty of tinners, so we don't need more. Yeah, I wasn't saying matches were ever a week ago, but we eventually found the matches. Actually, hmm, Bleak Inlet was a little harsh on my matches, but the cardboard ones are keeping us good for a good long time. What a terrible place. One tin of peaches. And I guess an old bedroll if I really wanted cloth, but I don't. So coming out of here... Um, yeah, geez. Do I want to go to the car? Or... I should probably check the car. God knows what's in it. And it's not much of a diversion as long as I don't get wolfed along the way. Heck, it's right there, we can see it. Immediately cold again. I'm going to climb up this hill. And then go over to the washed out trailers from there. Anything in the back? Oh, oh, more dusting sulfur and a memento cache that we have the key for. Oh, this better be good. Maybe. 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 What a load of crap. It's clothes. Clothes I don't need. And it's heavy. Oh, oh, God. Uh... Oh, that fisherman's sweater's probably really good. Oh! Oh, I take it back. I take it all back. This is great. I have to leave something behind. Quite heavy, but I bet you get fixed up to become really good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty heavy, though. Undeniably really good. Thank you, Memento Cash. Right, well, this is worth it. And they can be maintained with cloth, and I was struggling to find things to maintain with cloth. Despite earlier complaining about the mere existence of things that need cloth to be maintained on Outer Loper. Ah, it's okay, a fickle mind is a healthy mind. I had to climb up here despite the obvious implications of how cold it's going to be. Oh, but there are sticks. Despite Shepard's complaints. And you know, I never went out and grabbed all that fir wood. Or was it cedar wood? I like fir more, although it's heavier. I really shouldn't. I should like cedar more. Because it's just better in every way, but I still like fir. I think it's the darker color of it. Looks more powerful. 
Right, sticks are good, because I'm unbelievably short on sticks. It's not that cold up here, but still cold enough to be doing condition damage aplenty. Believe it or not, I do not care about that maple sapling. Don't really care about maple at all. We now have enough maple syrup for our shop. We only needed two, I think. I hope. If I put four on the list, then I'm going to be... Well, I will have shot myself in the foot already. Uh, no mushrooms. Hello, backpack. Hello, barely functional snow shelter. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Right, I'm gonna just get inside you and warm up a touch. Hey, look at that. Can I just take a nap in here? It'll warm me up a, a good deal. Give me some energy and get us to a warmer part of the day. Lots of indoor places you haven't looted yet for your shop. Yeah, tons. Come on, if we can go inside a fishing hut, we can go inside a glorified igloo. Yeah, I think I do want to warm up a touch here. Uh, but could I not spend this time repairing these clothes I just found? This worn Kawashan sweater. And we found, if I recall well, a usable sewing kit. Wow, I've got sewing kits up the wazoo. I think two of these were found indoors and two outdoors. That's what I'll believe, at least. Ugh, failed, as usual. That is nice. Damn, that is so toasty. I reckon we want the fisherman's sweater repaired as well. How warm is it? Quite warm, despite the the wind kicking up, and despite me having quite a ways to go. I think despite everything, the snow shelter could be a decent place to just see the night through, mm, but I probably won't. Even so, I do want that. I do want that thing repaired. It doesn't repair a lot, it takes a fair bit of time, doesn't it? Well, I'm warming up here slightly. Nice. And I actually want it done some more. Good job. Good job, that's a whole lot of warmth. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, conditions only 43. Dismantling you would get me some cloth, but I think I'll actually leave you be. Uh, you're to be stuck. You're to be completely stuck. Maybe I need to sleep an hour and then I'll be okay. It's going to take me into a dangerous time of night. Still stuck. Still really stuck. What happens if I quit out of the game and come back to it? It would have saved because of the sleep, right? Still got my position here. Please don't screw up my game. Not 97 days in. Okay, I think I'm okay. There we go. Oof. Right, so, still outrageously cold. We are outrageously cold. But I've lost my way. 
completely lost my way. There's always a stick. Then if I just use the stick as God intended, by dropping it on the ground as my divining stick, it tells me that way is north. Great, let's go. Not the place for that old man, Mingus. I guess the uh, snow shelter wanted to take revenge on me for even considering tearing it down. It's a good time of day, at least. I'll lighten my load a bit by snacking on some Mondo Delicious fresh wolf meat. I'm quite a bit overburdened. That's okay. Got a good nap in there, and I really do appreciate the extra temperature I got out of that. Yeah, over here. If it's a human corpse, it might be something that I'm after. It's not. It's an animal corpse. And whilst that's great for food, food is one thing we actually do not need right now. What a unique position to be in. Unfortunately, uh, Shepherd is able to handle these falls. I feel a little bad for having lost that amazing amount of. Ow! Oh, Jesus, okay, well, can't run anymore now. I could bandage that. The bandages are too important to throw away like that. Where's the trailer I'm looking for? That happened because I was over encumbered and doing some fancy walking. And I'm doing some more fancy walking, so I might snap another bone. See, I was trying to praise Shepard. Shouldn't have done that. He works better under pressure. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. The cave that I want to go to isn't far away, but I thought, isn't this where I was earlier? I don't feel so good. No, this is a different place. I need to check the indoor quickly before it gets too dark to see. And it's already pretty damn dark. Can I start a fire in this? Looks a little too cloudy. I mean, using a mag lens, of course, and not some far berry. Okay, well, let's use all of our eyes together here. Holy smokes, it got even darker. Can I just use a match so I can loot this easier? I think I will. I left a lot of matches back at the base, so... I hope this is worth it. I buy wood matches. Oh, just as well, I do actually need more granola bars. I do not need more spray paint. a whetstone, it's not. The edges of the screen are blurry because of Commander Shepard's agonizing pain from his snapped ankles. Well, just one snapped ankle. But he likes to play it up, I'm sure. Not able to run, so we just gotta make some good distance here. But, even so, there's some stuff nearby I want to check out. Yeah, we found uh, maple syrup and dusting sulfur. What a big win. We're like, what big win? Anything else of my name on it around here? Might be stuff over by the boats. Hopefully not just dogs. Oh, there is something here. That something is... A box of disappointment. I even really want that hoodie, but... Take it with. I can always triage my stuff on the way out of Bleak Inlet. I don't really have the time to think right now. Shepard would say, We're too cold to think. Is that it? Okay. Right, so. Uh, although I want to check the hunter blind, I think it's a clever thing to just make our way towards the cave, so I can sleep this horrible night away, and this sprain away. And basically, I think we should just be able to follow this route over there. 
It'd be nice if I was warmer, but lots of things would be nice. Sorry, as long as I don't take too much condition damage, I should be fine. So good. Should be fine. Let's keep our eyes and ears about us. This is still Timberwolf Town. Ouch. Damn, that's smart. I quite like the Timberwolves in the sense that there is a more dangerous kind of wolf out there. It's just the method of fighting them is sheer retardation. I said that, I just tempted fate. Probably the biggest pack of timber wolves around that corner, and a fire's gonna whip, uh, a storm is gonna whip up and be like, oh, you don't like fighting them with uh, chucked sticks, do you? Here, have no capacity for fire at all. I swear I just saw a wolf out of the corner of my eye. I thought that was it over there, but it might be a tree stump. So I'll be hoping for at least. Right, seems fine-ish. I want to break another one of Commander Shepard's esteemed ankles on the way down. The wolves, they're in the trees. Believe me, don't you see them? Tell me, Commander Shepard, are these timber wolves in the room with us right now? You're indoctrinated. Right, so over in this direction there should be a cave for us to rest up in. I don't need fire in there. I should hope not, at least. It should be warm enough, but always feel better having fire. Come on. Ruined torch. Taking it back, just because it's an extra stick. And heaven help us, we need sticks. I'm gonna need some first aid. Well, I say I won't need fire. I might actually need fire if a bunch of timber wolves follow me into the cave. Which I think is right over there. It looks like a free shot over there. I just can't run, that's my main problem. Timber wolves! <laughs> the council has dismissed this claim. <laughs> ah yes, far more violent hunting in pack wolves, allegedly hiding in bleak space. Oh. I'm so, so glad that Helden streamed all of Mass Effect. I get it now. I'll maybe get it more if I run through it myself. I wanted to play multiplayer with him, only to unfortunately discover that there is no Mass Effect playing through the campaign multiplayer. So, back to the drawing board and how to do a good Mass Effect run. Probably just an owl, probably not a, uh, a wolf. I think the gameplay in Mass Effect looks awful, but uh, the story is amazing. That's right, I don't hate all video game stories. Uh, I'm a little low on water here. Do I want to start a fire for the heck of it? Not really, but it seems a, seems a shame to waste this fire. Don't know what I'd do with it, though. I'd waste some valuable uh, sticks. Valuable, get out of here. Alright. That was rubbish in a lot of ways, but we're still okay. We're going to rest off this sprain, uh, harvest these torches, and take a not very long sleep, actually. Conditions aren't great for taking a long sleep because we're not very tired. Mm-hmm. Finally have some beef jerky, and I only have one of them. 
Didn't I have two salty? No, one's already on display in the store. That's fine. Same with the maple syrup. I might have to drop some gear. I'm gonna find the most nibbled-on bit of wolf meat that I already have. They're all fairly nibbled. Okay, we'll just carbo load on wolf meat then. Wash it down with water. Drop it on the ground so that we don't uh, attract any unwanted attention in here. Thing is, we're really not tired. I could go out and have a quick gander. There should be some racial mushrooms around here, which I would like. Oh, but I can't run. If I get into trouble, this could really backfire, but my tea senses are tingling off the charts. Commander Shepard has had all of this meat and no tea to wash it down with, and he feels awful about that. Nothing but water. There's also a hunter blind to the south. It's not unthinkable that I go down and check it out. Hypothermic risk isn't too shabby. There we go. Mmm. Mushrooms. Yeah, Heldon said it well. Sure, the Mass Effect ending is terrible, but the ending to all the individual stories is a great lot of payoff. Genophage, massacring the Asari, sorting out the things with Tally and her weird... Roma space people. And the many different ways that you can do it. Oh man, watching watching Morden get shot in the back was quite great for me, because I, re I was really attached to Morden. And that just makes the loss all the more mm, tantalizing in its own way. There should be a blind around here, but living up to the name, I'm probably going to have a hard time finding it. If you notice it, holler, because I'm looking for it. Although if you do find a load of timber wolves, uh, we're going to turn around. We don't stink. But in the darkness, they have the advantage. What the heck is this blind? Oh, I see it now. Excellent. This would have been better if I were uh, not sprained, because I could run to make myself more tired so I can get a better sleep. But that's alright. Actually, it's not alright. We're taking a lot of damage here. I, don't feel so good. I know you don't feel good, Shepard. None of us feel good. Soon. Is that a memento box? Oh, and I have the key! Noisemaker, noisemaker, noisemaker. Ammo. Well, I don't need any of that, and I certainly don't need this uh, Aurora right now. But love of God, let's get back carefully without attracting any attention. Because Aurora Timberwolves would tear me to shreds. They wouldn't be afraid of fire. They'd still be afraid of being shot. Fun! I don't feel so good. Where the heck did he even come from? March off the pain shit. Oh Christ, there it is. That ain't natural. Yikes. Damn, that smarts. Are they even gonna follow me into this cave? Probably they did before. Did they tear off any of my clothing? 
super suck if they did. Oh, they took off my hat. And they nibbled my shoes. That took a couple degrees off of me. Right, fortunately, they're not following me in here. But yeah, we got double torn. Didn't do damage to us, but still, damage to our clothes is essentially damage to us. Yeesh. I, should, I know there's a bed here that I could be fine in, but I should sleep in my bearskin thing just in case they come in, because the bearskin roll should scare off predators. Yikes, that was nasty. I was tempted to stim to run my way in here. But having them come at me like... Oh, Jesus! Wait, what the... I wonder if they'd even be coyed by this. You know what, let's just ignore their existence and sleep for a few hours, shall we? Ghost wolves don't exist. Brain is gone, pain is gone. It's still Aurora times, but... Not to think about that too much. So yeah, the the aggression on the wolves was really something there. I didn't, I couldn't even spot them, but they certainly spotted me from half the map away and came to have their filthy way with me. I'll be safer further up here. Heckin' dogs could surely get up here as well, but I just feel a bit safer higher up. It's time for a couple hours in here. We've lost two degrees on this bear skin thing al already. I don't have a spare bear skin thing to repair it with. Unless I march out of here, back through where I slayed the bear, but... No. Alright, we've got some condition back. Not a lot. Do I want to move on from here? There's a hunter blind and a hunter blind, and then I get out to Forlorn Muskeg. It's a pretty good deal, but if the wolves come for me, then that's pretty bad. So do I just rest up here another day? I certainly have the resources to do so. Not a lot I can do to pass the time, although I could repair. I found an old hoodie outside, I believe. I don't know which one of these it was. I'll just assume it was a decent one and uh, tear it apart. And... Are any of my worn clothes in need of some repair? Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's alright. It'll sort itself out as the temperature rises. My outer thermal undies took a bit of a banging. Ah, uh, that failed as usual. Mending is a pain in the bum in this game. A big old pain in the bum. There we go, and gets back some of the temperature we lost from losing our nice hat. These deerskin pants are going to need some repair as well. The repair amount I do is really low, because mending skill is horrible. Yeah, maybe we should check and see if the wolf's still in the walls. No, let's not get too close to that. Feels like I'd be tempting fate. I'm thinking I would just head out to the two hunter blinds and enter the cave to Forlorn Muskeg just as a way to get the heck out of here. So I shall sleep for another couple hours and then off we trot. 
We go out. We go probably east, then northwest, and then east, northeast, and we're out of here. Any more of this stuff? Thank goodness for all the food I made. It's kept me kept me good. That's the story. So I had the last three hours. Be three. <laughs> Did I get to Forlorn Mus uh, to Bleak Inlet three hours ago? Because what a horrible, horrible time it's been here. Oh my days, Bleak Inlet's been doing me in rotten. Right. Anyway, all of our bars are full except for condition, and that will throw a little bit. I lost an arrow to one of those timber wolves. I don't know if I missed it or hit it, but I'm not willing to go back and check for the arrow. The risk is too large. So where am I heading out here? It's pretty much straight in this direction to the blind. I hope there are no timber wolves. That's just a general hope though. There are then we gotta set fire, scare them off. More than three hours uh, here. Oh, that's sad. Stink, stink a little bit, so the timber wolves could come and get me. Always a risk. Killing them is a nice option, though. Eyes peeled for a blind. There should be a hunter blind out here somewhere. My fingers feel numb. Is the name hunter blinds anything to do with the blinds that we have on windows? I'm just trying to think where the term blind is in hunter blind. Blind to the animals, perhaps. That's why you're there to hunt. Just trying to think if it works in any other way. Die if I don't warm up soon. Shepard, we just, just left. I mean, mere moments ago. Is that the blind over there? No, I think that's the blind over there. Huh? Blind, Shepard. Minus 33, this weather is no joke. This is midday. I do miss my rabbit hat. I have the makings for another one back at the home, I think. Whoa! That scared the jings out of me. Badge unlocked, probably for just doing a lot of walking. There's the blind. I knew I spotted it. and ears peeled for those accursed wolves. Check around. Sometimes they're outside of the hunter blinds as well. Tea is nice. I don't think I can set a fire in here. No, certainly not. <laughs> I do and don't want this frozen angler book. But it's half a kilo. I don't really want to carry half a kilo for no good reason. I could eat that. I don't see a good reason not to just eat it. Dusty Pinnacle Peaches. Dusty Pinnacle Peaches. Down the hatch you go. Actually, stop, stop, stop. I'm going to warm those up and eat them. Maybe not here, but I'll find somewhere I can warm them up. I can need to set a fire somewhere anyway. Um, cute little waterfall here. Right, this seems like a, a lovely wee place. Mag lens won't work. Shame. I saw it, got excited, but no. That book looks more like more than. No more than two to three hundred grams, I know, but all skill books I think weigh the same. Cook my opened dusky, uh, dusty pinnacle peaches, please. 
and I would like to cook up. Hmm. This isn't going to warm me up much. That's the dusty bit of peach's job. But I would actually quite. Wow, that did almost nothing for me. Um. I would quite like my rose hips. Just gonna make one little batch of them, even though I'm taking condition damage. But I want to warm up with this, so dunk. And uh, oh, nothing else to really make here, so get me those on the double, please. Chug them right down for the warmth and the warming up bonus. And this sounds really windy. Oh, it's not windy, it's a blizzard! Hey! Just freaking left home and there's a blizzard. Um, you know, the best thing I think I could do is actually say to hell with a blizzard and just get to the Forlorn Musket, uh, Forlorn Musket Cave. It would save me a lot of resources from sitting down and warming up. And I can ditch some stuff there as well. So if I drop one of these, it tells me that is north. In that case, I think I know where I am, so let's go for it. Ah, smeg. Um, okay. Second thought, we go around you then. Damn. <sighs> they don't die doing this. I am in peak die territory right now, actually. A stim would get me out of out of trouble if the need arises, but still. You are kidding me! No way, no way. Ain't none of you in uh, in blizzard time. That way is north. Okay, good. Wait, I have no idea where I am. If that's the case. Hmm. Or do I? I'll reach the northern edge of the map and then follow it to the east and then get to the cave to get out of here. I barely have enough stuff to keep me warm enough. For God's sake, this ain't the time, Timberwolves. Why is there water here? Shouldn't be water here. Uh, well, maybe it's okay. Maybe stick north isn't north in this. Let me check that on my map. Is there anything indicating that stick north isn't north? Uh, I'm sure it's fine. It seemed to be fine so far. Wait, rose hips, that doesn't seem fine. Rose hips? Where the heck would I be if I just signed some rose hips? And, uh, mushrooms? Well, I might know, but I might not. There's no time. I'm not here to pick mushrooms in a blizzard. Might be a little off from where I thought I was. Is that it? Oh, thank God. On a whim, I decided to go left instead of right. Thank goodness I did. This will keep me sane. This will keep me safe. Oh. Anybody remember this cave? This cave saved us so much in the past. And it's here to save us again. I'd actually like a blizzard to pass so I can make a fire without costing me... Some else of anything. But maybe I shouldn't be so tight fisted right now. Did I leave anything at the other end of this? I might have left some pelts and things that would be handy. Let's go. Because I do have some stuff I need to repair. Ooh, coal is very welcome. I'll be coming through here anyway, so I want to go to the end of this, drop any heavy crap that I don't need. And then double back, because I missed a blind. Yeah, we're checking blinds, because there are rare items that I need. 
I just joined because I wanted to see what the long dark was and screen all white. Yeah, there's a lot of screen all white. Not a zombie, this is a malicious survival game and screen all white is just something you gotta get used to. Mother Nature hates you on this setting and will throw anything it can at you to kill you. We're at about one quarter health. Somebody nicked our rabbit hat. Well, at least we're not this person. Um, where's the way out? Oh, this looks familiar. All that meat. All that water. This bed. Yeah, that's good, but I'm more interested if I left some hides over here. having lost all of my beloved um, torches now, but sacrifices had to be made in order to survive the horrors of Bleak Inlet. Or, like, maybe it's just I don't know the map, maybe it's because of outer loafing, but Bleak Inlet is by far the most horrible place that I've been to and seen to uh, so far. Ah, what luck! There are hides, there are guts, only thing I really would have liked, but isn't. Uh, oh, some matches I left. Well, a match I left behind for myself. Lovely. Right, what am I going to do here? I would like to repair my busted up trousers and deerskin boots, but that's going to take some time here. I'd need a fire, a long lasting fire. And it might fail, but it might be worth it anyway. Besides, I've got a blizzard to wait out, so. Why not just start the, the fire anyway? Imagine getting to this cave and it looks like a deer exploded. It did? Remember I was eating deer and trying to pass time to get my poor ribs fixed here earlier. I remember it. Right, uh, just throw on a bunch of sticks. We have plenty of them and I'm sure we're going to find plenty more. Of the passing time, it's always nice to be ready for that. Deer hide, gut, gut. How long does it take to repair this thing? Uh, shoes first. Yeesh. An hour 21. And uh, I might still fail this. Please don't fail, Shepard. These materials are expensive. Okay, well, that was surprisingly competent out of Commander Shepard. And now with the other pure deer hide, if I could kindly fix my busted up trousers. Hour and a half. Very nice. Ooh, I'm glad both of those worked. So that did un that undid some of the horrible damage. I'd still actually like to heal up my wolf skin boots a bit more. But it's the best time of day for going out and exploring, so explore I shall. I'm gonna leave myself some extra water here, I think, just to come back to. Uh, right, heavy stuff that I will want to leave with later on, that I basically don't need right now. Um, pretty much all of this food, actually. It's not heavy, but... I didn't finish my peaches. Please. Need this food where I'm going, and I don't want the extra sting. is still arse, but I do want to go out and explore a bit more. Um, take that coal with me just in case things go real grim. Throw on a stick. That'll get that stuff melted, no doubt. Or boiled, rather. And take one of my very limited torches. Yeah, you, you blow. Well, my torches aren't limited. It's a shame to be wasting. Wait, I have these noisemakers, don't I? 
I have no idea what to do with them, but we'll have them on display in our shop. Let's go, torch. Anything else I need here? Oh yeah, I left myself some mediocre torches. I'll take them just in case. Yeah, it's the best time of day for exploring. So we're going back out. We're going to check over at that hunter's blind. There should be a lot of birch bark according to the map. I want that birch bark. It's good for healing. It's the best renewable source of tea, even though it doesn't warm you up much. It's certainly not in this uh, horrendous environment. Pick up the pace, Shepherd. loads of food to be had in here, thank goodness for past Jake setting me up like this. What? Too much stuff to carry. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll take a bajillion si uh, sticks. Uh, how about we don't take all of those sticks? I need the space. Stick strikes again. Or it's just making up for the ethereal coal that we found earlier. Hope I'm going the right way. I'm very good at not. I recall coming through this way. I found a double coal here. So keep my eyes peeled for more coal though. More coal is better coal. Right, out we go. We hope that it's not horribly windy and blizzardy. Oh, it's not. It's the closest thing to a nice day you'll ever find in Bloom and Bleak Inlet. Our condition is still pretty grim, though, so let's hope this is an uneventful trip where we just head out, we find loads of uh, birch bark tea, our beloved hunter blind, and then we... Hey, there's a dead, uh, dead dog down there. Probably not one I shot earlier, probably just decorative. Well, not decorative, but you know. Some dead animals do have preset spawn locations, that seemed to be one of them. Only feels like minus eight, it's practically free. So, as I say, we're making the most of this as we can. Taking the high road so I can look down, although I'm missing out all these sticks, aren't I? Take a bit of a down downer route then. I know I just found uh, about 60 sticks on top of each other, but it's not going to stop me trying to find more. Oh, there's the blind. That's excellent. It's easy to find thanks to me being so clever and taking the high area. Boy, do I feel so clever. <laughs> I gotta take my cocky moments when I can. It's been a rough session, a really rough session. Just when we got all the tools that we needed to enforce our will upon the world, the world kicked back and it kicked like a mule. Right, this is birch bark tree territory, so there should be plenty of birch bark on the ground, especially since I have never taken from here before. So I take you. Yoink. That's not birch bark, it's a stick. Come on, where's all the birch bark? There should be birch bark territory right here. I need it for the tea, I need it for the health, the warmth, the calories, the water, everything. Birch bark tea is phenomenally good. I have sung its praises many times and I will sing it many more. It needs to be there for me to enjoy.
getting colder for some reason. More birch bark tree up there. It's a birch bark tree. I'm not sure I'm willing to go and explore further. I've got a job to do. I've got to check out that blind and then go before the weather decides to it's had enough of me and just perhaps another blizzard on me. I'm keeping the fire because it is slowing down the rate at which I'm losing heat. Excuse me, it brings it to a lovely only negative seven feels like. Which is a whole lot better than the feels like negative sixty we had when we entered this area. That was hilariously horrible. But it was horrible, make no mistake about that. Alright, Hunter Blind, we check you and we go. I'm not going to be greedy here and I'm not overstaying my welcome. There's a first aid kit with nothing in it. There's nothing here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah. Okay. Got the tea. I'm just going to be cold if I stay here, so it's time to leave. We did not pass by some mushrooms on the way as well. No, no time for greed. We just go. Although we grab every deck stick along the way because it doesn't cost any time at all. I think those crows are just circling over a wolf rather than anything else. We needed three stims, thanks to the horrible decision to go to Broken Railroad. We needed one more stim because of the even worse decision to come to Bleak Inlet. But the stims are doing exactly what they're meant to be used for. Emergencies. And all of those situations were emergencies. Lives are going to end if we don't do these kinds of emergencies. I do actually want to make a way over for the... Um, for the mushrooms that we saw over here. I did see a mushroom over here, right? Yeah, they were over here. But I, I don't want to come back here. Bleak Inlet's a horribly cursed place. There are a few things we missed here, but nothing major as far as I can tell. Although I'm sure there's some good loot here that I missed. Probably in the Aurora area, or some other area that I missed around the canning area. But, holy smokes, done with Bleak Inlet getting out of here. Never looking back. Uh, you know, there was the idea of tearing apart that wolf for his constituent parts. Set down a fire, tear him apart, and bring it in. It's pretty much free guts and free wolf pelt. I'm doing this to myself. But this weather turns and I am out of here. Bolster that, slam on one bit of coal for the temperature. Uh, whilst that heats up, I'm going to prepare one of these much needed birch bark teas. There we go, we barely feel warm, but war barely warm is still warm. It feels like 10 degrees, that's pretty good. Make me that birch bark. I have no potable water. Well, then we'll make it another time. Give me all of his meat. How close are you to finishing with all the wolf skin clothing? I already have both of my wolf skin clothing. Here and here. Although one of them took some damage. I'm sure I can fix that up. Alright, 30 minutes. I'm just going to rip your skin off with my bare hands. It's going to get a lot colder soon. Already getting colder. I'm going to scoop your guts out as well, I dare to say. 
scooping and get, so I wouldn't mind a bit of extra water. Yeah, see, this isn't a timber wolf, it's just a regular wolf. Oh, Jesus! No! 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 Get me out of here. You know, with every... every torch I can carry. Not this place, I'm gone. It's beautiful, but, uh... Say no to bleak inlets. That was a very early, early aurora. Oh. There is a setting for aurora frequency, and I'm pretty sure it's relatively high on uh, interloper difficulty. Ah, well, looking forward to getting good long sleep in here. All the water I've got, all the supplies I've got, I should rest up quite nicely here. Get a bit more repair work done, I think. We have plenty of wood to keep a good long fire going as I try to do that. Cindermine? Mmm, unlikely. Very unlikely. Yeah, the Aurora makes wolves more aggressive, it makes them not afraid of fire. Same with bears. It despawns all the prey wildlife. So that means you can't distract them with um, deer or rabbits. So they will gun you, they will notice you from further away, and they'll be more aggressive in attacking, and it's just pretty horrible. So the first way of dealing with aurora animals is don't put yourself in a position where you have to deal with aurora animals. If that's not possible, then kill them. If that's not possible, run or otherwise use the terrain to your advantage. Yikes. Heavy shepherd. What was the way out? Is it down here? I need yeah, to right here. You need to drop, alright, shepherd, get down there. I might have my fire here, actually. Yeah. I'll go and do my stuff over there, and then I'll come back here. I do want some repair jobs done. I don't need to bring all this stuff home. But I do need to make a new rabbit hat when I get home. There's a milling machine in Bleak Inlet that actually repairs stuff during an aurora. Hmm. Um, I believe there's an ammunition workbench for making ammo over there, but since there are no guns on Interloper, or there's not meant to be, that won't be relevant. Ooh, but repairing stuff without costing other things sounds nice. These nice things are probably why uh, Bleak Inlet's such a horrible place. You've got to balance out the good with the bad. Some of that bad is very bad. Okay, did that water boil? Damn right it did, because I planned that all out. I want the fire back. I'm using one of my 90 sticks. Hmm. <clears throat> what am I doing now then? I want to repair a bit more using this lovely cured stuff that I have. Always like having a bit more water to hand. This is how we operate. There we go. Use this. Get myself super tired so I take a good long sleep at the. Um, a good long sleep back there. And restore a lot of condition without having to use my bedroll's condition. Poor bedroll. There's more sticks than I will need here for a good long time, so stick, drop a roo, uh, 
probably find a lot of sticks going around here, so drop 67 of them. That's limbered me up already quite a bit. Getting kind of thirsty. I know, Shepard, I know. I saw these ragged jeans outside, as I recall. Otherwise, I wouldn't have taken them. So I'm actually going to harvest those for some cloth. Wait, 30 minutes to tear them up for cloth? Savage. Does water eventually evaporate at a dead campfire? Not at a dead one, but will evaporate. Here, see, 20 minutes this will boil dry. But if the fire went out, it would just sit there as being delicious, drinkable water. We have quite a lot of time in this fire, so... You're good. You're okay. I'm going to repair you, though. Don't let me down, Shep, even though that's what you know how to do. Oh, crap. I should have drank this condition damage right here. But that'll do. Can I be here for anything else? There's an hour on that. Um, anything to leave? Anything to do? Maybe torches to harvest? I think I just spend my time effectively. It's going to be a long sleep down here. Oh yeah, there's tea to make. Wow, a lot of those to make. I think I'll pass on that for now. Harvest the crummy shirt. Might see if I can't drag them back, but you are right, it might be a good idea. Uh, well, actually there's water by the other bed, so no need for that. I will let this water uh, do the same as we did before. One more stick should keep it good. Yeah, I think it's time to just eat and go back and sleep. Heavens knows I've got the food, and i got even more food back there. <clears throat> food keeps pretty well. Overburdened, is there not anything else I can just ditch here before I collapse my way back? Hmm. Exactly. Double half wolf pelt. And are those... Guts. Well, down they go. Still Aurora time out there. Nasty for me. Let's leave that be, and yeah, back we go. Time for sleepy sleeps. We have to use another match in the morning, so be it. I'm certainly burning through my matches. I'm glad I left some back at the store. Uh, it's not going to be a straight shot back to the store, actually. We're going to be going through Mystery Lake, and there are two places I want to loot Mystery Lake. Maybe more. I'll need to consult the map. But one is the camp office, and one is some kind of poacher's hut. Go, Shepard, go. I think it's just a straight shot through here. Yes, it is. Well, are you ruined? You are ruined. It's here. They know the crappy uh, torches and say yes to lots of sleep. You know, compared to those timber wolves, dealing with bears and regular wolves feels rather nice. Right, there was that crummy shirt, wasn't there? Crummy shirt. Yeah, this one's pretty crummy. I think the hoodie I found indoors, but this shirt... 
only takes 10 minutes, give me the cloth. And then we're taking 9 hours of sleep here. But I'm pretty sure on 10 hours you start losing condition to dehydration. Oh, that's better. More water, more sleep, more good. But he was in the boat, wasn't it? I don't remember. It's the problem with having to remember what you find inside and out is, well, you need to remember, and I seldom do. I'm pretty sure there's some lovely venison with my name on it right here. Ruined venison raw is not the same as ruined venison cooked. Very hard for me to see here, but I can kind of see the bottles are over there. Raw cooked, right. I'm just going to eat this one straight up. I'll keep the bear on me. For the rest of my travels, actually. I think I'll take another one of these. Double checking that it's cooked before I eat it. I do not want to repeat last time. Some water at the entrance, that's okay, and it's a good time of day. Let's move. Condition is at like 50%, but that's okay. Let's out here. So yes, we're going to come out of here, we're going to go through Mystery Lake. At least two places to loot there, in fact I want to change up my map to Mystery Lake so I actually know where I'm looking at. I need the map less and less, which is quite nice, but still good to have because there definitely things I'm going to forget. Yeah, there's Trapper's Homestead there. There's actually quite a lot to Mystery Lake. There's a lookout not too far from the camp office, uh, but we are mostly on the lookout for high value loot. The Fire Striker. I wouldn't mind another mag lens. Just have one on display at the store. Stump remover is needed. If I can find a car with a battery in it that's not ages away from where I need to be, that's great as well. Yeah, we need to find some money, so I need to find some safes with money in them. This is all food for the. Oh, well, the gave me wolf meat. I forgot I left here, but that's fine. Lots of food for the store, including the maple syrup. I'll leave that to dry. I need some water with me. Two litres? Surely two litres is fine, but more litres is good. Is there anything I'm leaving behind here that I really shouldn't be? We don't have a lot of spare... Uh, a lot of space left over. And I only have four... Uh, four arrows! The heck was I using all my arrows on? That's scary. Um, do I at least have some arrowheads? Two. Ooh. Well, the forge is here if I wanted to make more, but I think I better just move on. I don't want to I'm not taking these incredibly heavy boots with me. Oh, the noisemakers. I forgot about you. An improvised explosive scares can cause injuries. Hmm. Do you need a match to light one? Only feels like minus 14, which eh, honestly isn't that bad. Still get a move on though. Moose to, no, the moose is up here and I am down, the moose is up there and I am down here. So let's not be having any Moosey shenanigans. What happened to your endurance? So endurance is reduced because of the clothes that I'm wearing. Heavy, particularly animal clothes, reduce your stamina. And we actually reduced it even further by picking up those really nice clothes earlier. God, compared to Bleak Inlet, this place is a summertime paradise. Oh, Bleak Inlet's a silly place. 
Why did we go there? We didn't actually find anything of use. Uh, okay, so we found some some dusting sulfurs and uh, some food and some clothes. But it's the high value items. Wait, let me double check the shopping list here. Let's take it from the top, shall we? Here's the big one I need, fire strikers. We for, for the life of me, I can't find these. I don't know where they are. All of this stuff is trivial. I can pick it up at any time. We've finished the books. Uh, if we bring one of our stims back, uh, we're done with the pharmacy, apart from antiseptic. I think I found one near where we were. I seem to recall picking up antiseptic. Do I have antiseptic on me? No, I must have left it in a place back there then, but I do remember picking it up. All the drinks, apart, uh, even the coffee actually is trivial because we have enough coffee to make coffee, so drinks we can essentially say are done. Gunpowder we can get out of the bullets we found. Feathers are trivial. Our dusting sulfur will be up to three out of four. Stump remover we not found men uh, any of. Maybe it doesn't spawn an interloper. Hmm, let's pretend that doesn't exist, actually. It's going to make our lives a lot easier. Wish I could say the same for the car battery, but I do want a battery on display. Sewing kits are done when we bring them back. We're still missing one bit of tools. These we already have on hand, so that is done. The clothes are probably going to be done by the time we're back. Everything here is trivial, apart from finding one regular flare. And we should have most of the food done when we get back. So really, the big things we need to find... Well, one extra flare shell, but I think that'll be on the summit. We need to find cash, beef jerky... Car battery, some antiseptic and fire strikers. Those are the items that we need to win. And who knows, maybe some of those we'll find here. But the place we're going to check after this is the Summit and Unpleasant Valley. Not looking forward to those places, but at least it's not Bleak Bloody Inlet. Stump Remover spawns an interloper. There's some in the farm in Milton. Uh. <laughs> what if we just remove Stump Remover from the list and never speak of it again? Stump Remover is a, a gunpowder ingredient, I believe, making it something that wouldn't really spawn much on Interloper because it wouldn't be much use. I don't think I have a lot of stones. Let's change that. Yeah, three is a good number. Damn Drac trying to make me accountable for my own challenge here. No. I have no idea how I'm going to play Long Dark next compared to this. Anything seems like a cakewalk. Regular Outer Loper seems like a cakewalk. If you don't have to go to these horrible locations on the search for items, there's a dog over there. Dog can quite happily stay over there. Yeah, nothing in the rules about changing the shopping lists. Every so often I go shopping and suddenly decide, you know what, I don't want this for dinner. I want, I don't want regular potatoes, I want sweet potatoes, because they're like regular potatoes that go to the gym. I'm not checked. It's only minus 12, it wouldn't be difficult to heat ourselves up for a bit. Yeah, we've been to the the gold mine. That's how we got the technical backpack. Without it, we wouldn't have this enormous carry capacity. Some people's outer loper rules state that mines are not allowed. And that discredits using the gold mine. Me, I don't care. Mines are fine. It's just holes in the ground. I'm, I'm hard-pressed to call that a man-made structure. If a mine's not allowed, why would a car be allowed? To which you might say, well, my <laughs> cars aren't allowed either. In which case, okay, okay, enjoy your challenge. I'll enjoy mine. Don't want to take condition damage. You shouldn't be scared of it, but... It's not been a great time for Shepard. Far from it. Although the... Uh, the camp house isn't far away. I think I'll warm myself up nicely. Especially since... Oh, it's so nice outside. Um... And I can start a fire using my mag lens, so we'll do exactly that. Mag lens, stick, fire, 
Chuck on maybe one cheeky bit of coal. And we'll do Trapper's Homestead first, I think. Come on, come on. Yeah, there's more birch bark tea to enjoy along the way. It worked. One cheeky bit of coal. So over abuse the coal that we have. Some sticks as well, just to lighten our load. On goes you, on goes you. You are birch bark, you are rose hips. And whilst you do that, I shall prepare some racial tea. Not racial mushrooms for racial tea. I can't believe I went all that way without carrying a fire. I should have, should have carried one. How much water do I have? Quite a bit. In that case, a bit more birch bark and a bit more racial. And whilst that goes, we prepare a bit more racial. Good opportunity to just warm up here as long as the fire doesn't cane my, uh, uh, wind doesn't cane my fire. Looks like it's, it sounds like it's trying to. still hot, but let's keep it good like that. There's plenty of time on this campfire, but I'm just here to warm up. I'm going to take the, the fire with me. I'm going to check my amount of torches as well. It's very low for me, so I'm actually going to stock up on torches. Good torches, of course. Not here for crummy torches. That's a crummy torch. There's also a crummy torch. I can afford to be picky here. Oh, that's a great torch. 49, maybe 50% right on you. Another decent torch. And decent-ish torch. Good enough for me. Amazing torch, but that's just my amazing torch luck coming into play. I love the sound of all my teas boiling away. Eh, not good enough. Probably better than one of the ones I early called decent, but too bad. Last chance, torch. Nice. Give me water, give me that. That was proper water, right? Racial tea, rosehip tea. I'm going to drink the birch bark immediately because I want the condition back. And I want the warming up bonus. It's just, mmm, look at all that. But I didn't have the frostbite, which uh, I want to take... Another opportunity to remind people that the reason we have frostbite is because a wall-hacking wolf tore off my trousers and left my knobbly little knees, what we're calling it our knees, to be frozen off on our trek to Broken Railroad. We were inside a barn and the wolf just chewed us through the... Uh, and it wasn't even a timber wolf one, it was a proper encounter attack. Nasty wolf goes and chews off our leggings. Without that, we'd have maximum health of 105, but because of that, it's down at a paltry 85. It's not the only paranormal wolf we've seen, though. We saw that wall hacking, proper wall hacking, no clipping, aurora wolf earlier. That was a fresh new one to me. We're actually underweight. How are we underweight? We should be well overweight. Oh, right, I turned most of them. Oh, that doesn't make sense either. I thought it was because I turned a lot of my water into tea, which would reduce weight, but not by so much. Oh well, fine by me. Makes us nice and fast. All the quicker to scout out where the birch bark is. I feel like the birch bark draw distance isn't so high. Maybe I need to fiddle with settings a bit. I want to be able to see my birch bark from a hundred miles away and go for it. So we're taking this trip around, and we're not taking the mountain town cave route, even though I normally like to take that. It's good for coal, if nothing else. But we're going this way because we want to check out Happer Trapper's Homestead. I'm still hoping there's a fire striker in there. There's a workbench, so I could potentially make arrows there, but of course it's indoors, so we're not allowed to. I'm pretty sure we checked these corpses ages ago. This is Max's last stand, right? Yeah, I checked you a while back. Sorry, Max. You're of no use to me. I don't think you ever wore 
most corpses on the Jalopa are just dead empty. Humanity's greatest threat, it's not the Reapers, it's not the Batarians, not even the Asari, it's these quantum tunneling wolves. I think we're on the right track. I don't know if we can check this area out before, it's an excellent place to be though. Pretty much all forms of wildlife are here, and there's a bench and a double cooking slot thing inside there. The only downside is that it's very small, so it's it's very tight if you want to store your stuff in there, but is that really a downside? I think not. It's also perched up high, so it's good for seeing around. Somebody mentioned there's a heat bonus under here. Let me check. There is not a heat bonus. It's colder in here. Let me check this, apparently. Which means I've come here before, but I wouldn't have entered the, the house here. Oh, to God, I haven't entered the house here already. said there's every kind of wildlife here and there's no wildlife here. I think the game can hear me and just adjusts itself accordingly. Doesn't want to be my play thing. Although this place is small, I swear it's bigger on the inside than the outside. Right. I don't need... Oh, I need that. Oh, a safe. Oh, that could be very useful. I need Canada money. Sure, antibiotics. That's nothing. Oh, thought I saw something behind there. A note that's left behind. Blah, 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 blah. Books. I'm already fully stocked on books, so we don't need that. Come on, I came here hoping for a fire striker, and I'm not seeing a fire striker. Whetstone. I've got loads of whetstones already. What have we here? God, it's so many sewing kits. I'm just going to leave it here because I couldn't use it even if I brought it back. Well, this is a bust. This has better be the best safe I've ever seen. I'm going to take a fresh torch because sometimes I'm pretty bad with safes. Is there really nothing else with my name on it hiding here? Well, it's a great place to be, but... Uh, this run, not amazing for loot. Right, where are we at? Wow, very high to begin with. Fifty-nine, okay. Fifty-nine, fifty-something. These kinds of locks are very uncommon in the UK, but I think they're everywhere in the US, say, right? Big on using them in schools? Alright. Six for the last one. Money, please. Thank goodness. That was rubbish. <laughs> Complete rubbish. I don't need either of these things. Uh, it's just going to weigh me down, so I won't bother with that. And how heavy is the... How heavy is this? It's not heavy at all. We can have it on our clothes line, I guess. The Summit Soda weighs... much more. Right, well, this was awful. Just awful. <laughs> it might be an amazing place to have a base, but that was terrible for loot. I'm still struggling to find a fire striker, let alone two of them. There's a hunter blind to the north. I'm probably going to go there and then, because hunter blinds can be really good for items, and then cut directly east to the camp office. Still a good time of day, so it's a good time to get moving. Wait, where did I say I was going? Did I say I was going north? Sounds about right. Where's north? Divining stick, please tell me where is north. That way is north. 
apparently. Really? Uh, okay, sure. I'm back. Did I miss anything the last two years? What was it with people disappearing for three hours? Anyway, Bleak Inlet was horrible. That's why we're not there anymore. But at least we barely survived it. The Aurora Wolves came for us. The regular Timber Wolves came for us. It was just all in all a bad experience. 2 out of 10 on TripAdvisor. Something corpsey over here. I was hoping for birch bark. Are these birch trees even? They look birchy. Something's dead over here. If it's a human, it might be a fire striker. <laughs> this is my desperate search of the whole world for fire striker. Oh yeah, never again. Don't know why we chose to do it the first time. Feathers are nice, they're practically free in terms of weight. Fire striker! No, nothing. Because there's never anything on corpses on interloper unless it's a set match spawn. Nice and warm though. Particularly enjoying that. And since we're carrying our fire, it wouldn't be too hard to set down a fire warm up a birch bark tea and get the warming up bonus yet more. In fact, I'm very tempted to do that right now. So I will. Not just for the warmth bonus, it's a warming up bonus to make sure that the heat we do have lasts longer. Yep. Thank goodness for that. Birch bark go, and whilst that warms up, we prepare another birch bark. Good to know we have the makings for two. Just nice to have my condition somewhere that resembles not terrible. Oh yeah, Bellcut's got a very different way of looking at it. Lots of dogs wanted to play with me. And play they certainly did. Condition... Wait, why is restore condition only halfway up? Did I only drink half a cup? Also, where am I? I was hoping I'd see the hunter blind from here. You'd think the hunter blind would be over by the water. Maybe? I don't see a blind, do you? Wait, what the? Not that up with my draw distance. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Give me, give me that ultra. But once it wasn't my eyes giving up. To be fair, Commander Shepard's been here for about a hundred days. This is the hundredth day. So if ever there's a time to find the Fire Striker, it should be when the game wants to congratulate us on 100 days of still living in this frozen hellhole. Boggy. Fire Striker, Fire Striker, Fire Striker. No, not a newsprint. This pack is getting kind of heavy. No, not a copy of Survive the Outdoors. Well, this was a bust. Um, divining stick, where is north? If that's north, then I'm heading east. I think if I just follow the water along, I'll say Frozen Creek, I can head south and all as well. Uh, not south, but southeast. Then I make my way to the camp office. 
slight complication. There's not a very good place to make camp around here for outer loping. I could actually use the ice fishing hut near the camp office. I'll probably do that. Uh, I should have enough burnables to keep me safe in there. I don't. I need to grab sticks along the way pretty badly. But they will burn for a long time in there, so even a few sticks will make a big difference. Getting very tired, so we're getting this cold. very cold, uh, very slow because of it. Oh, should have warmed up my other tea. Ooh, coal! Lovely find, coal. And hopefully that wasn't some more of that quantum coal. Mm, weather's, weather's out to get me, I can feel it. Hear that wind? I hear that wind. I feel that wind. It's my passageway to get out of here, I think. Down that way to the camp office. So you're saying your camp? It stink a little bit, so Ido over there might want his way with me. Anything I can eat to make him change his mind? Not really. Yeah, I've still got a bit of this ruined venison. Down the hatch. Down the hatch some more. Now I don't stink. <laughs> Fido disagrees. I'm so cold. I'm up again. Right, just in case this uh, wind gets really bad. Fido, come here. Be very afraid of me. No, don't, don't, don't run where I'm. Go oh, wait. We're getting quantum wolfed to to hell and back today. Finishing up the sales rack today? Not finishing up. The biggest problem is the fire striker. I don't know where it is. Don't know where any of them are. And I need apparently two of them. I should never have put two on that list, but finding these fire strikers is proving to be very, very difficult. Just no clue where they are. Somewhere in this direction, I think I need to go. Weather's getting worse. Hopefully my torch can persist. If not, then I'm going to have to shoot any wolves that come my way or just walk them, but I'm getting really slow for walking. Ah, the wolf's still bleeding there. Right, again, before this wind makes us a big problem, let's just get rid of Fido, scare him off. Do not go the direction I'm trying to go myself, please. Good, he's sodding off in that direction. Which might actually be the way I want to go. Divining stick, where's north? If that's north, I'm not actually sure I'm going the right way. Is, that, is this stick north really north? Oh, stick north is east! Stick north is east here. Then I actually do want stick north. Wait, what, really? I want to go that way? Isn't that back the way I was coming? Uh. Uh, what? No, no, no. I don't think it is. It's just the map is uh, going that way. Stick north. It's like magnetic north. <laughs> Nobody knows how that works. Okay, but at least with this good lookout point, as long as this doesn't become a blizzard, should help me figure out my way. Uh, help me figure out my way. Get a big drum out here. Uh, what the heck is that? A 
way to start a fire in here. There is actually. Do I want to warm up a touch? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a cup of tea actually, just to just to keep me good here. As I desperately try to figure out where this is, um, I think I'm in Deadfall area, which means I've overshot my way towards the camp office. Did it pop up and say Deadfall area? Maybe I, maybe no. Who's to say? Come on. Right. As I said, I'm just going to drink some rosehip tea to warm up and get out here. Whilst that's going, let's just harvest you. Let's reaffirm our way to stick, you know, uh, stick east, <laughs> stick northeast. It's that way, so I want to head that way. Fine by me. Still going to carry the torch with me, so take a stick, I'll take two. Oh, that's terrible. Forget that. That's also not very good, but I'll deal with it. Getting real tired, and real tired means real slow. Right, so Stick North, or Divining Sticks, or whatever you're calling it, is uh, if you drop a stick on the ground, it will always point in a certain direction. And this is called Stick North. Quite often, it is actually North North, but sometimes it is not. But it is a good way to know where you're going. Or at least figure out which way you're going. That's not these sticks that are on the ground already, but a stick that you just drop. So this stick that I'm going to drop right now, should be doing this and wasting time, tells me that that way is northish. Whereas I want to go eastish, so this way. Or at least stick east. If I just cut over here, I'll probably see the railway tracks real soon. This running's wearing me out, but at least it means I'll be able to sleep a good long time in the uh, fishing hut, which is where I will be spending my night, because it's about the only place that I can outer lope rest in. For now. I'm wondering if I actually want to take a stop in the camp office or just go straight to the fishing hut. Because there's a lot to explore in the camp office. Something's making me feel tired. And as Shepard is astutely pointing out, he is chuffing knackered. Me too. I'm just sick of his nonsense. I have a shot coming south way too much, but fortunately the camp office isn't far. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. I know, I know, I'll be fine. Camp office is probably a pretty good place for a base, I wouldn't know. I've never gotten to the point of having a main base in this game, aside from this outer loper run. Despite the difficulty of this challenge, I am not very experienced at Long Dark. Only picked up and started playing this game properly about a month ago. Spent much of that time travelling around. Camp office is perfect, says Crickney. I don't know about that. The variety of animals available over at the poacher area, or trapper homestead, or what's it called again? Trapper homestead. Uh, seems pretty good, although we were there and saw no animals whatsoever. Use the Pleasant Valley Town Hall. Yeah, in a short interloper run that I died in quite quickly. How did I die there again? It was quite underwhelming, wasn't it? It's just la 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 and then wolf killed me or something. I think I black rock died to timber walls, but I could be misremembering that. Moose, bear, rabbits, and deer are all directly around. That's why some prefer the hunter's hut for the reasons you're explaining. Okay. You tried to bow hunting wolves. Ah, yeah, that was it. It was in Pleasant Valley. I got a bow. There was a wolf. I was all ready to kill it, but then the wolf just jumped me. I underestimated how. Close they. Uh, I underestimated the distance of their lunge attack. Because it wraps you into QTE pretty quickly. Am I going the right way? I hope so. Hopefully, that's the power line turning off right over to the camp office. 
cause a hemorrhage uh, damage here. Since the fire is still going good, I will use the fire to explore the camp office, but it's going to make me very tired. Stove. I think there's a better one upstairs. I don't need spray paint. Really, we're just looking for rare items now. Didn't you angrily ransack this place before? No? Well, I don't think so. Otherwise, uh, why would the, all these places be unsearched? This will come in handy. Another sewing kit. Uh, there comes a point in a man's life where he has too many sewing kits. Oh, antiseptic. I do need that. That was a good find. That means our uh, our pharmacy corner will be completely decked out when we bring back the stims and that antiseptic and the one that we found in another place. I do remember angrily checking this place before because somebody was ass was assuring me they found uh, I don't know a j jar of um, that's not what I want to do, Shepherd. A jar of something, but no, it was one of these paint cans. But I think that was another run. I'm willing to believe it was another run. Something's gotta go. Well, downstairs is a bit of a bust. What about upstairs? Are we at the point now we're going indoors to find specific items as necessary? I think so. I don't know where the fire strikers are. If anybody knows where they could be, that's great. Someone's saying there's one on the summit. So we're going to have to go there, but I need two, not one. I should never have put two on my shopping list, but I did. But yeah, it's just for specific items that we're hunting. I could use this. I'm going to leave that. I don't need it. There's a nice stove up here, isn't there? Wow, this is uh, not great at all. I found one inside the dam. That dam! Of course the dam is on the way back. We'll go and loot the dam. It's good thinking. Good thinking. I completely forgot about the dam. It's huge and it's full of goodies. I'll just take an Aeon to explore. Hello, cooking pot. You know, used to me right now, but it's nice to know you're there. Oh, really all there was here? I thought there was a guaranteed mag lens in uh, Mystery Lake. And well, it could be in the camp office, but it evidently wasn't. So where else could it be? Right, this is a little dangerous because there is a bear and a bunch of wolves here. I don't stink, but as long as I can get to the cabin that's over... Is that it? Oh, I think that's just a cabin-shaped rock. But we need to, do need to slowly and painfully make our way over here to the fishing cabin and hope that the wolves don't have the cojones to take me on or call over their bear friend. Apparently both Pleasant Valley and the summit have a good chance of spawning them. Are we talking about the fire striker? Because... Good, because I'm heading over to that location after we bring our current haul back to the shop. But we will check the dam on the way. So the ja the dam is the next place in Mystery Lake that I'll be feel my feet. that I'll be looting. Hope enough. I hope I have enough burnables to keep myself safe here through the night. Am I so desperate that I will take and harness the power of this torch? Yes, I am. So the torch has got to go. Just keep this fire, and I'll spend I'm so more tired. I could just lay down right here. matches. I'm taking condition damage now because we're so tired, and we're about to take condition damage from cold as well. So if there is a bear here and it jumps us, we're dead. But let's try not to think like that. Think about how we're going to go here, sleep for uh, over 10 hours, and get a lot of condition back, and then bright-eyed and bushy-tailed head out. So cold. 
and take that dam to pieces. Wait, there are cabins to the south. Might be items there. There's also a lo Lone Lake cabin that I haven't explored. Okay, we've got stuff to do here then. When we're awake. No door on this, but I'll just have to make do with no door on this. As long as we get in and start a fire. We've already searched this, not surprising. One bit of coal and a whole bit of sticks should keep us good through the night. Your condition's not looking good. Oh, it's looked a lot worse, Denotes, don't worry. We went under 10% in Bleak Inlet, and that was grim. Right, I might not even need the coal. Sticks are plenty, and a bit of coal. <laughs> Might not need doesn't mean I'm not going to use it. Right. Load up on our delicious meat. Which, uh, once upon a time we had a lot more of. It's alright, i got, um, got cattails if the need arises. Lovely, lovely. This fire's going to last for a while. Let's make sure it lasts for a while longer. Eh, I don't feel safe with even that. More sticks. There we go. Eight hours should do us just fine. Mmm, I like nine. Ooh, Centurion achievement unlocked for having lasted a hundred days. And there's still a bit of life in this fire, but it might need some coal just to keep it going. There's not much else I can throw on it. Mm -hmm. Do it, actually. I will not bother with that. I will get that. Go on and I'll sleep for an hour. Is this an outer loper or interloper? It says in the title it's outer loping. Don't worry, these uh, these fishing huts count. As in, we're allowed them. We can get another hour out of that quite easily. Why do fishing huts count? You might say they're clearly a man-made structure. They don't give a warmth bonus. Goodness. Made it through another night. You don't get cabin fever in them, and mechanically the game doesn't consider it indoors. So, good enough reasons all around in my book. Right. Uh, thank goodness indeed. Shepherd is right. Let's grab some. We'll grab two torches out of this, and then get moving. We have places to check, and the conditions are good. Mm, now that is good. Uh, I would actually like this tea warmed up. Grab that torch, grab my tea, and let's go. Oh, we can see for miles! And we can move pretty quickly! Oh, this is all good. Right, we're gonna head all the way over to this edge of the uh, lake. There is a Lone Lake cabin that may have some goods in, uh, goodies in it. I think it's that place over there. And then we're going to arc around the south here because there are more cabins over there that might have some goodies in them. And then... then well, damn. <laughs> if that still doesn't have the goodies that we're after, uh, then too bad. We're heading up north to the forestry lookout and then to the dam. Now that still leaves us aggressively empty-handed, and that's just terrible for us. Hang on, is that the cabin? Yeah, I actually think that's the cabin I'm looking for. Let's double-time it since we're cold. I'm actually going to drink my hot tea to prolong the warmth. Camp office does not count for Outer Loper, because camp office is uh, a building with a loading screen, and it gives a warmth bonus. Both of those things are not allowed. 
I'm just making up my own rules here for this right there. There are probably as many different outer loper run rules as there are outer loper runners. Hell, we have a shop that we're allowed to use that completely breaks outer loper. But it's because I want the merchant run that we allow ourselves that. Okay, what's inside? Show me the goodies. Make them really good. Fire striker, fire striker. We need a fire striker for our shop. No, no, no. No, is there anything in here at all? Cloth, but we don't need cloth for the shop. Books, but we don't need books for the shop. Well, this place is terrible. Bandage, but we already have all the bandages we need for the shop. Rubbish, waste of time. Should never have come here. Anything around the side, at the back of it? Nope. Oh well, that was a waste of time. And every time we waste time, we're wasting burnables, food, resources. It's all bad, so let's get back a lot of some of that. Sticks for one. Man, sticks are so, so, so good. This is not a very useful place. I'm sure it's random. Maybe some people's runs that has, I don't know, the mag lens in it. Or some other vitally important item that they've been waiting on. Uh, I kind of wanted that torch back just for the stick, but can't be too fussy right now. So, these are the lake cabins over here. It's random if any of them are destroyed or intact. In harder difficulties, more places tend to be burnt down, but two out of three appear to be upright. They may still have their entrances boarded up, but we'll find out. Lore-wise, do we know why everything is so crummy? Uh, if you play the episode of content, sure. I did some of it and don't really remember it. No, don't. Oh, Jesus, Shepard. I wanted to grab that and put it there. Shepard's just so angry. I think I can use this. Stone in the bin? What? And he thinks he can use it somehow. Right, well, this place is also useless, but I did see a note at the door. If you piece together all the lore, you'll get it, but uh, I have not. A dull knife, a rock, a length of rope, wolves are everywhere. Okay, well, good for you. What was good for you is not good for me. I'm not finding what I need. <clears throat> right. More books. More nothing. Even more nothing. Well, wow, it's just terrible. <laughs> I need a fire striker. <laughs> I need two fire strikers for my beloved shop. <clears throat> the lengths I go to for my customers. At least it's nice and warm right now. It only feels like minus 16. Which, compared to the minus 63 of Bleak Inlet, really feels like taps off weather. You skipped over the medicine box. Well, there wouldn't have been anything in the medicine box that we'd need anyway. Even if it were a stim, we have all the stims we need. And I couldn't use a stim that I find indoors anyway. I think I have one, maybe two stims on me that I found outdoors. One was definitely indoors, but... One was definitely outdoors as well. Stick, stick, stick. Need sticks. When I lose the warming up bonus, I'll probably prepare some... It's almost gone. I might make myself some birch bark tea. Just to keep myself good and warm. In fact, there's no mite about it. I'm going to do it right now. What is left to collect or do? Oh, I've got a list of that in the title. It might seem like quite a lot, but actually there's not a lot. Come on. Yeah, Shep, you already lit the 
torch, you weirdo. Uh, hear that birch bark. Um, add a cheeky little stick on there as you prepare another birch bark. Chuck that down, keep the warming up bonus, get some more condition back. I love birch bark tea so much in this game. Right, two houses to check. Nothing of note around them. I'm way down in the south now, so I'm far away where I want to be. And if there's nothing here, it was all for naught. This stuff will come in handy. Ooh, now that was actually pretty good in terms of manufactured clothing, but we're leaving them both behind because neither of them are relevant for our needs. Our customers' needs, which we know best. Hang on, hang on. You keep saying I'm missing a, a medical cabinet. I'll be the judge of that. Nothing in it. Quite a lot of these buildings are intact, which I suppose is nice. Mr. Container in the bookshelf. Ooh. Dare I go back and check for it? Maybe. Another sewing kit. Sewing kits are plenty indoors. Can't believe I had to rely on fishing tackles for so long. And I still do have to rely on them, sadly. Well, maybe not rely. Is that it? Oh. Go, go figure the one thing I miss is going to be the vital one. Let's check your beloved container on the bookshelf. Figures. Right. i got to change course now. Change course mightily. Probably going to follow this way around. It's going to take us back to the camp office. I'm going to follow the. I'm going to speed up here as well. The condition is good. That's all the more reason I want to make the most of it by moving around a fair bit. Hang on, there's a cave here. Unchecked cave. Anything in it? Bonus, no doubt. But I don't need to sleep yet. Especially when the conditions are this good. Thought all in here. More sticks along the way if we can be so fortunate. Ooh, a rope here. Interesting, but not the direction that I'm planning on going. Let's just keep moving in the way that we are planning on moving. Which is towards every stick. I'm even doubling back on myself for these sticks. Bad habit. But it feels so good. Got a sprain risk, but we'll lose a sprain risk by shoving a torch away. And you know what? To heck with this other torch. It's weighing me down too much. Away it goes. Places to be. Out of the western access, we need to get back onto the railroad track, head north, take a sidetrack off to the forestry lookout, which hopefully isn't as complicated to get as it seems, but it's a windy path off the beaten track. Might be something good in there, might be nothing in there. I'm certainly hoping for the former and not the latter. Been too much of the latter. This is something I quite like about the challenge, even though it might seem like a bit of a drag to keep going and finding all these things. The reason I'm liking it is because it's forcing me to go and explore more of the map. And it gives a definite end goal to work towards. Sandbox experiences. They can be fun and all, but I need something to guide my experience. Even if it's a guidance that I make. From what I read from the developers, they never actually intended this game to be something you can live in forever. 
They intended it to be a case of you will die. And yet there are certain elements of the game that feel like they've been designed precisely to prevent forced death. So I don't know what to believe. Cold is making my head feel thick. It is getting cold, Shepard. I don't disagree with you there, but you can handle it a little longer. There we go, we're back on the main, land, uh, main line. It's going surprisingly cold. Hey, it's the camp office again. I didn't miss anything around the back of it, did I? Oh, yes, I did, actually. Don't mind me. I do really like those. Oh, it feels like minus 12. It's a little tempting to set down a cup of tea, but... Let's make do with what we have and get moving. Damn. I'm freezing. I've heard rumors of fire strikers in caves around the camp office. Rumors, you say? Oh, hang on. I'm low on food. Um, maybe there's a wolf up here. And maybe said wolf will eat you and I'll get the double kill. Hopefully would be nice. So I'll try and chase you over in that. No, no, you're giving up on that. Well, a little bit then. Uh, don't I still have some bear to eat, actually? Yeah, the bear can, the bear can keep me good. There are rabbits over there, but I like to think I'm a bit beyond rabbits. Rabbits are desperation food. There's the lookout. God, that feels like a mile away to get to, but let's try our best. Burning a lot of calories running through all this. Not even the warmest time of day. I'm just hoping that it's not settling in for a big nasty storm on me. I don't like all this being cold, actually. Uh... I don't like that either. I'd rather set down a fire when I'm eating somebody. Jeez, I hope I can climb this. It's hope not going to be enough. It looks like something here is... Climbable. Yeah, there we go. Thanks to our crampons, we're not breaking our little delicate ankles, although we are a little overweight. So it could happen. Oh, the ankles. Oh, I could have used this very convenient walking path. Well, the more you learn. I'll need to rest that off. Actually, resting that off right now seems like a good idea. We have the torch, we've got the sticks. I think it's a couple hours rest to get rid of this. We actually need to sleep a bit. Come on. Uh, one bit of coal for warmth. A few sticks for time. I'll make some water while I'm here. I'm going to eat the last of my last of the food that I can actually eat on the go. That's my gamey bear meat. Loads of calories in it. It's lovely. Yep. Water. Water and one hour. Water and water and... Oh, it's four hours to heal that. That's unfortunate. I really want to wait, rest here for four hours. Although I could. I certainly could. So as long as the weather wants to hold out, I think I will actually plan on that. Good old hibernation at play. 
Oh, there's a safe in the lookout. Right, that's handy. Could be Canada money. That's another rare thing I need to find. Thanks to the outdoor fires lasting longer bonus, this is not much of a problem for us. This weight could be, but thanks to the rest. Not going to be too overburdening. There we go, that undoes our broken ankle. We could have used a bandage, but I'm, since bandages require cloth, I am hesitant to use them like that. Tea's ready. I would actually like some spare tea. Since I don't need to worry about preserving mushrooms for my little parasitic friends anymore. Which is rather nice. While you're doing that, I'm going to pull some torch gacha. It's terrible, but I do need torches right now. I don't need them, but I feel bad for not having good torches on me. I'm not sure I can carry much more. It's unbelievable how much damage the bearskin bedroll has taken just from a little bit of regular use. Maybe the use has been anything but regular. Take you, take you, and you, and you. long before I want to drink that. At least it's the warmest time of day. Only feels like minus seven. I have not yet decided on a weekly one shot. I should do I should decide on one before I go to bed, because every time I leave it to Sunday morning to decide, uh, it gets very difficult to decide, funnily enough. Already. Uh, could do Birch Bark or I could do Racial. I'll do Racial. Because I don't think I need the condition back from Birch Bark just yet. Okay, I am desperate for Fire Striker and Canadian money. So, Forestry Lookout, if you could kindly provide me with both. It's possible, I guess. There is a safe up here. I could have the money. How am I meant to help out my customers if I've got no money to to exchange with them? Useless, 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 useless kind of. I'm still going to stock that on the shelves. It's really light after all, I think. Mm, none of this is helpful. That is useful. Nice. There's a safe here, right? I don't see a safe. Maybe it's a possible... No, I'm, I think I misread it entirely. There's no... There's no safe here. Dang. Okay, well... Oh, my fire! Wait. Ah, crumbs. Ah, double crumbs. I'll let the fire go. Mm. Oh well, none's the brakes. Onwards to the dam. Yes, we are, Bellcat. Probably next week. I need some time to actually... Did I show photos last time? I can't remember. I'm sure I can find some witty photos to share. Right, dang. Mystery Lake, despite having many places to check out, has been a big bust for us. I don't fancy my chances Billy goating down here. Actually, I do. Look at this. This is perfectly acceptable. Especially for Commander Shepard. Real life, it's so much easier to climb up than down, isn't it?
Right, so, yeah, Mystery Lake has let me down big time. Where to now? Up to the dam, I think. Uh, oh, there's actually a bunch of trailers to the north here. And a lot of them are openable. I doubt they're going to have fire strikers in them, but... Am I really in a position to be picky? Can I see? Is that them from here? No, that's the main line. Tell me, Divining Stick. Where is Divining Stick North? That's the direction I think I kind of want to go. Try to look at it. Yeah, I'm not one for life blogging personally, but I am one for trucking. Oh, oh, I'm putting myself in a bad situation here. Which is the worst kind of bad situation. It feels all the more worse when you invite it upon yourself. I can follow this and then head over to the left as soon as I can. This should bring me over, over to the trailers. Probably missed a good opportunity to make my way over to the trailers in a different fashion, but this'll do. As long as we make haste, because although it's kind of warm, it is getting colder. And our warming up bonus will go away soon enough. There's that busted up caboose. That's a stick. Oh, I like sticks, but I have a lot of them. I shouldn't be too... Shouldn't be too bowled over by sticks. I think I saw a wolf over there. To be fair, I do need some food. And there is, I believe, a fire thing on the outside of the trailers. So if I could coax the wolf over there, he really could be Meals on Wheels. Or Meals on Paws. Okay, good. I want to break my fragile little legs here. This place has a an alarming... Oh, that was dangerous. An alarming sense of familiarity. I think I've been here on my very first time playing... Yes, I was here. I was here my very first time playing The Long Dark when I bought the game. And I loaded up survival mode, I got lost, and I came here. And I remember getting into one of these trailers and just sitting in a bed going, Wow, it's warm enough to stay in here. But the whole concept of the game didn't really grab me at that point. So I put it down. Didn't pick it up again until years later. I thought there was a wolf here. I thought I saw a wolf eat. Yeah, there we go. Right, now that I've got you. Is there a place that I could coax you over to for burning you to death? Well, you'll already be dead, but you will still be burnt further. Usually a thing to cook inside here. Yes! Alright, wolf. Wolfy friend. Where are you? Uh-oh, well. Get off of me! completely missed, probably because I was higher up than I thought. Still, oh, heavy hammer that we don't need. Um, damn, you might just be a little bit too far away for the heat bonus of this, but we will try anyway. Start a fire. Use our... Actually, why do that just now? I will check the trailers first. Lay down for a bit. lens isn't breaking. I think it only breaks in the bear attacks. I hope it only breaks in the bear attacks. I think we got it at 23%, so that makes sense. Yeah, I want to do this first before it gets dark, and it makes it very hard to look inside. Mm. Well, this is a bust. Unless you want some running shoes, which I don't. Can always use more food. Actually, yes, beef jerky. Beef jerky is 
something I've been struggling to find, and we have now found one, two, three... Wait, only two? I thought I found a bit more beef jerky than just two, but okay. I found a whole bunch of them. That's all I need a fair bit, according to my list. Grocery shopping requires four bags of beef jerky. Personally, I don't take any shops seriously if they don't have at least four. Coat on the middle bunk? Yeah, but we don't need coats. Shop has a very specific list of requirements. In fact, the requirements are here. Specifically, I need a fire striker. Those are hard to come by. And what else am I in desperate need of? We've got the stim and the antiseptic. The drinks are all trivial. Gunpowder, we can also get the car battery. It's a pain in the butt. Should have never put car battery there, but I think it'll look good on the arrangement. Maybe I do need more trousers. Did I leave those denims behind? I may have. What do I have on me in terms of uh, clothing? Trousery clothing? Apparently none. Maybe I should have picked up those denims. I'll go back and grab them. Yeah, I've not been up well, I've not been updating a lot of the categories, but I think I didn't update clothes at the start of the stream. I updated most of the other ones. Okay, this is terrible. I'm gonna go back and get the denims because I've noticed my lack of trousers now. Running theme when I played Long Dark. Where were they? Could end up being useful. Wait, were that the only jeans? I thought there was Yeah, there we go. Two pairs of jeans, excellent. I hope they're not too heavy. They are excessively heavy, okay. Well. What a shame. Do this trailer and then we're carving up Wolfie for Dindons. Don't need tomato soup, we've got plenty of tinners. Did I put eight tops on my clothing list? Holy smacks, that's scary stuff. Maybe I should have grabbed the jacket, just not if it's a not if it's a particularly heavy one. Oh, well there's a top. Baseball cap is at least light. Oh, is that beef jerky? It is beef jerky. Nice. Well hidden as well. Right. Wolfie. It's another match down the drain, but I think it's a dang good idea to... Slice Wolfie up for dindons, so we're gonna get hungry. To find some place to escape this cold. Oh, there's a thought. Where will I escape this cold? There's no particularly good cave until I hit the ravine, but the ravine is really close and has a great cave in it. But I'd be tired checking out the. Um... Yes, I... Oh, I want my arrow back. That's for sure. Start fire. Matches, stick, put on a lot of sticks. Overcome the coldness of the area. Shouldn't be too much of it, especially at this time of day. Come on. Do I want to put on any coal? Not really. Just plenty of sticks. I don't know if that heat's going to reach me. I have a funny feeling it will not. It's probably as warm as it gets. Yeah, it certainly does not. Hmm, I really don't want to use up my coal. Could save me on the way back. I don't want to burn too many sticks either. Difficult situation. Tell you what, let's just eat the damage for a little bit. I need some wolf meat. It's only a few minutes after all. Thank you, Wolfie. Uh, 
Actually, I could drink some birch bark to warm up. Birch bark is important, and I'm about to get a lot of condition back from sleeping tonight. How about then we make some rose hips? Because that gives a lot of temperature. I'll drink the rose hips I and then carve up Wolfie. I can totally use this because I found it here. Does the stove even give a bonus? I don't know what you mean by bonus. It can't be blown out because it's in a stove and it will get the outdoor bonus because we're outdoors. Uh, let's get rid of the pain with that. And it does work. Right, and that should make it pretty easy to carve up a couple of one kilo steaks out of Wolfie. Slicey, 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 slicey. In fact, I'll probably just sleep here. Yeah, I'm spending the night here. That's a lot of time on the wood stove to abandon. Uh, it means I'm going to take a moment to go out and find some extra sticks, probably right now. Actually, after I carve up the last of Wolfie. Come to me. Feels like night is coming. Wonderfully done. Oh well, forget that. <laughs> Blizzard has other ideas. I don't need a lot of conditions, so I can sleep an hour at a time here. I suppose it makes sense. You take a lot more bedroll damage on. Outer low perks, you have to use it so much more, but even so, 21% damage done to my bearskin bed roll. We've only been using it this session. Seems excessive, does it not? Get my racial mushrooms on the go. We're still warming up, barely, thanks to the blizzard. Small bit of uh, bit of that. I'll take a one-hour kit. Should be plenty warm enough thanks to this stove. If I can find a place to put this down. Hmm. Say plenty warm enough. Have some extra sticks just for the extra warmth. You've been using it in the middle of blizzards a lot, though, yeah, and I'm using it in another blizzard right here. I wonder if it takes the damage from the blizzard if it's not in the wind of it. Where's the tin? Did I... Already... Grab it? Oh, yeah, but too many of them. I'm going to leave one behind. I'm going to leave this one behind as well. Cook up some water. I can't sleep for an hour with this going, so let's just nibble it right down. Climb you on there. Get you boiled. Get you drank. And then that should be good to sleep for probably a few hours here. Three hours on you, so I'll probably sleep for five or six hours quite easily, given how incredibly cold it is. I'll take five hours for now. I will need to kill another bear. Unless I go back to Bleak Inlet and get that one back, because that one's that one's doing quite handily. I'm gonna take another hour of sleep. Feeling hungry as well. There, water. One hour. And if it's nice and calm, we should have a good time going out towards the dam. Mm, including that and all the meat. 
Yeah, we are a bit heavy. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. But we can drink up handily. I can make another couple cups of tea. Because I want the warming up bonus. It's not going to be warm at all when I head out there. But with our teas and our torches, we should be alright. Got a crappy torch. Got another crappy torch. See, this is more like normal torch luck. It's fine though. I won't begrudge the game. It's given me plenty of good torch times. They take these and harvest them for the sticks, given that I'm so short on sticks and I need to pass a bit of time here anyway. Take one stick. I myself shall take some stick. Sting these crummy ones. Yeah, I assume the bearskin uh Bedroll would be a lot more durable, Alicious, clearly incorrectly. Maybe it is more durable, but I don't feel like it. It feels like it's falling apart just like the down-filled ones. Been to the Overlook Cave yet? I don't know which cave is the Overlook Cave. So, probably not. There's a Lake Overlook. There's a cave there, but no, I'm pretty sure I haven't been there. more of you. Oh, good torch. Too good a torch. Save it and use the crappy one first. And I do have a couple of my recycled cans, right? I do, so I'll just leave these cans here. Light you up. Take you, take you. No, I didn't need to take you. Leave that behind. Uh, just drink that, actually. I want the warming up bonus immediately. And now, onwards to... Uh, This-ish direction. Feels like minus 16. That's not great, but the warming up bonus should keep me good. This general direction, I think, should take me out to... I shouldn't actually be doing it like that. I should be hogging the rail line. Makes it a lot easier to orientate. So I'll hug right around this rock. Follow the train line out to the dam. And then I'm going to loot the dam and hope like heck there's a fire starter in there. Fortunately I have the water and the... I do have the water. I've got the water and the meat to manage the fairly lengthy dam exploration. It's not unthinkable that I need more light in the dam. I'm not going to have any problem starting a fire just to get torches to continue searching the dam. Because it does take a while. It's a big place. But maybe after a while it'll light up and be bright enough to search without needing any torches or the like. That would be nice. I don't know if it's been said, but is this a hardcore one-shot sort of affair? Uh, yeah, if you die, goodbye. Save gets deleted. Back to day one, and it's currently day 101. 102! It's a lot of real-time investment to lose. Train loading area, that's nice and all, but where are the train tracks? There are the train tracks, great. Follow this along just a little bit, and we're going to be at the dam. And then the ravine. I want that stick. Hang on, is this even... Where'd the railway line go? There is still a railway line under all this snow, right? Yes, yes there is, good. This game has some of the best fog there is. It's even better than Silent Hill 2 fog. Uh, yeah, the hardest part where death seemed certain was 
not Desolation Point, but Broken Railroad. Desolation Point was actually not a problem. I busted all about the wolf. He has no chance of getting me. Yeah, Broken Railroad was the running around without trousers debacle. Some really lucky bear headshots that could have gone very badly if they didn't go really well. Yeah, but I'm relying on my luck, because I know it's there. It's like being a really good archer and relying on making your shots land. I can afford to do that, because I'm a good archer. It's a bit pompous to call myself a good archer. I'm probably not that great. I haven't done archery any properly in a long time. But the basics are there. I've never once played my arm. I stopped using an arm guard because it, it felt really uncomfortable, but... Like I said, never flayed myself. There should be an entrance point somewhere around here for the dam. Yeah, luck is luck is another muscle that grows with exercise. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this is the way in and out. So of course we want to be in. And I'm going to dump a lot of stuff here that I'll be picking up on the way out. Probably mostly food. Not my cattails, I like my cattails. Didn't need this much water Might coming in here. Some gear. Just trying to lighten my load a bit. Alright, now I don't imagine there's a lot of things I'm going to be picking up and taking with me. So simply being down at 42 should be fine. But there is a lot to explore here. If anybody knows where one of the vital items are that I need around here, then let me know. But it might not be useful information. Oh, 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 that's useful. That's immediately useful. Because I need more food bars for my shop. But yeah, I'm looking for fire strikers. Um, what else am I looking for? I've already managed to forget. But the, the list is in the title. I appreciate you probably have to know the game to understand what is not a problem, what is forgetting. But the fire strikers are. Mag lenses. Stump remover. I guess I need a flare shell for my distress pistol because I'm three out of four. But I have every confidence that I'd find that at the summit. There's, I believe, always a distress pistol up there, but I could be believing wrongly. I don't even want you clutching up my inventory. Get out of here. this place is. Oh yeah, cash, cash. Um, God knows where there's going to be cash. I don't know if there's this tense music in the dam. What's, what's so tense about being here? There is a real chance of a fire striker in the Overlook Cave. Am I having my leg pulled here? Just when we're miles away from the Overlook Cave. It's very light, if nothing else. Yeah, forcing these open is a very important part of the game to accentuate the disappointment when there's nothing inside. I think there's meant to be an increased chance of loot for something that you have to force open, but I think in actuality it's just a vastly decreased chance of loot. 
Oh, simple tools. That's good. We were short one of those, and now we're full on them. Excellent. They're kind of heavy, but I need them for my shopping list. And there is a safe here. Ooh, that's good. Right, what's the first number? First number is like six or so. I don't trust this torch to last, though. Six fifty something. Six fifty something six. What a terrible password. No, oh, okay, well, so terrible it uh, is evading me pretty well. Cash, 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 cash. Nothing. Uh, shooting guide, which we don't need. I should find the Kingdom Come lockpicking minigame quite satisfying. By and large, though. Lockpicking minigames tend to be terrible. Yeah, locking an empty safe, all that nothingness must have been really important to you. It's possible that there was something in there that's just not useful to us at all, like jewellery maybe? Struggle to think of a use for jewellery in a situation like this. I'd maybe still wear it just to look absolutely bling. First aid box, no, I didn't notice it. And I don't know what room we're referring to now. Alright, the tools were a good find here, but forgive me for hoping for more. Like I said, this place is massive. It's in the room that I was just in. Forget the bandage, we already have all the bandages we need, and we can't use that for ourselves anyway. Alright, is that this level done? Where can I start a fire in the dam? Because I'm definitely going to need more torches soon. Good torches here as well. Oh. Yeah, this is just going to be a whole lot of me getting horrendously lost for a while. Turbine room. Hmm. I see a CCTV like that, my instinct is to shoot it like I'm playing Goldeneye. Painkillers? I think I have plenty of painkillers. I'll take it anyway. They're very light. Do I have enough stuff to burn for torches here? I suppose I could actually just smash up this pallet to make stuff to burn. I wish this was the original starting fire time and that fire level 5 have that, but okay. Right, take a few sticks. I'm going to smash this pallet. Then we're going to chuck on all this reclaimed wood. And then we're going to make torches to explore this place with. Half decent torches. Mm, this 
despite the sun apparently rising, it's still pretty dark in here. I'm not fussy, but I do want some very exacting standards of what I find in here. Forgive me for all this being indoors on an outer loper run, but I'm struggling dearly to find these final items. Couldn't leave through here. I think it's a one way which would cause me a lot of issues. Uh, oh, okay, we can't go up there. However, this looks like an awkward way across to potentially something good. I bet there's something in this crate. I'd put something in that crate. If there's something really good in that crate. Tell you what then, I'm going to smash this. I'm going to shove the fire over here to preserve the fire, and then I'm going to break that because I feel like there's something inside it. Tear up the newspaper, call it Canadian money. We're inside! On what do we extinguish the torches on? Our leg, clearly. Alright. Take that reclaimed wood, that should keep that fire going whilst I break this, hoping for something good. Yeah, my my video game logic is telling me there's something good inside this crate. Why else would it be here? There's nothing inside this crate. But at least it's lightened up. Heavy. It's really lightened up, okay. Since I'm not allowed to use that reclaimed wood that I found in here anyway, I'm just going to dump it all in this fire. And I'm not allowed to use this fire for anything other than torches to explore this place, speaking of. Gee, is there anything here? Come on, turbine room. Up for sure, but that's it. Sometimes there are items inside pallets, but not pallets, but the um, the wooden boxes. But I don't have the time to smash up everything on the hopes that there might be something good inside. Could we get some anything in here? Uh, that's that's not fair, actually. I need some very precise things. Oh, a regular flare! How many of those are needed on my list, and how many do I have right now? Because I think that's a good find. We've been drowning in marine, marine flares and failing to find normal flares. That is good. That's the last one you needed. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, the flare hunt is over. Ooh, tin of sardines, but we already have tinners. Alright, I think we're done with the turbine room then. Give me a good torch for exploring some more. It's good enough. Did I come over here? Yeah, probably. Alright, so, so far we found Flare and um, a granola bar, painkillers, and simple tools. That's pretty good. Nice that it's lighting up, but I still want this torch on me for extra... Extra seeing ability. That started now. Um, however, this is a good opportunity to drop those tools I found. I'll 
get me underweight again. And how about some of my mega torches? And uh, yeah, how about also this really crappy torch? Actually, just ditch the crappy torch somewhere. I'm not going to pick it up accidentally because it's too crappy. Get off me. Right, what else? I don't think I checked you. I know there's more to the dam. Don't worry, I'm not done yet. I was just dropping off some items. There's a stairway, right? Wait, I thought I already did. I thought I already tried going down, but could not. Uh, maybe by a lower dam. Dark blue means upper dam. Means the exit in the turbine room. Uh, I don't want to leave the dam on that side. Oh yeah, it, it does sound like the searching thing is bugged out and constantly playing. I mean, it is essentially what we're doing: constantly searching. There's another spray paint there, but we don't need it. Now, right when that torch was dying, great game, but hard to deny that it is a buggy game. A little locker with nothing in it. Uh, forcing open this locker, I bet the whole farm there's nothing in it. Of course there's nothing in it. There's never anything inside places you have to force open with a pry bar. Why does the pry bar even exist? Why do I carry around this one kilo liability? Another spray paint, also not useful to me. A lot of work benches around here though. so much nothing here. <laughs> I think you missed a rifle in the staircase. I sincerely doubt that, considering rifles shouldn't spawn on Interloper. But if you are right, that'll be amazing. I won't use it, but it would make a nice centerpiece for the shop if I could have a rifle there. Alright, well, this entire area has been filled with nothing. At all. Um, last chance in these cabinets. Where else is there to even check in like here? Hope nobody needs this oh. anymore. Well, I should take that. Can't wear it much as I would like to, but good for display in the store when we get back. Don't know how we are in our number of hats. Probably pretty high. How heavy is a toque? Hmm, heavier than I'd like, but oh well. We all knew there were sacrifices to be made on the way back. There are some car trunks you open with a pry bar with actual things in it. I have not found them. I open something with a pry bar and there's nothing in. That's the way it goes. Hacksaw! That'll come in handy. Cool, but we already have a lot of hacksaws. We don't need more. This isn't a hoarding run, I'm trying to make a good shop. Who's interested in going shopping in the world of hacksaws? I think I already checked the bottom. Nothing out there. Right, is there anywhere else to check in the dam? Because, not that this was a terrible haul, but it certainly wasn't much to be excited about.
feel like I have a mist somewhere though. Make the feeling. I'm gonna check down past the turbine room one more time. Corpse! Yes, the invisible corpse. Took a lesson or two from the wolves, I see. Accelerant's not a concern, though. We have all the accelerant we could ever need. Just feel like there should be some high tier loot inside a, a big area like this dam. Plenty of things to smash up, and it's plenty warm inside here, so I suppose that's good, but... There's the maglet... Wait, what? I didn't know about this. Oh, but I've already been here. I came along here. And found a fat lot of nothing. wondering if I want to run down onto that. Maybe grabbing onto an area there is useful. Does not appear so though. Clang, clang, clang. Well, that seems to be it for the dam. Not a complete waste of time, but certainly more time invested than we're seeing the payoff for. Throw that away in frustration. Maybe there's something hiding behind this cardboard box. Would you hide something behind this cardboard box? There is nothing behind this cardboard box. Okay, well. Certainly don't want the tinder plugs I got from it. What about upper dam? I thought we went up to the upper dam. Is there anywhere we haven't checked out here then? There's a door that leads you to lower dam and upper dam. What? Like back up there. Nah. Oh, right, yeah, so if there was food in these uh, cupboards, maybe it's rotted away in the past hundred days. I'm not convinced all the food spawns like that. For example, a week or two ago in-game, we found a 100% bit of raw meat inside uh, someone's home. That would have definitely um, rotted away under normal circumstances. The AIDS station. Oh yeah, it was that empty thing, but still. Can we not have a better naming convention? Well, I have checked and double checked. That doesn't mean good stuff ain't here, but it does mean I can't find it. Oh yeah, we came up here for the cell that we don't want. Far right corner in the room you were just in. See, right isn't useful, because what is right? Everything's relative. This is the elevator room. Elevator is busted.
Oh, that's back to the turbine room. Right, is there anything else to do here or do we just get out? I'm struggling to think of anything else worth our time here. Do I even have a map of the dam? I don't think I do. But it's worth checking. Black Rock Prison, Ice Cave, some kind of mine, Trash Canyon. Uh, whoops, that's not what I want. Oh, I do have a damn map. Ah, there's an up way out and a way to upper dam. Way to lower dam and the basement way. So lower dam, lower dam. Of anything worth our time? So it looks like it's in the turbine room. The way through to lower dam might be worth a quick check. What the hell? We're already here. I'd hate to, I'd hate to be left with regrets. I'd hate to be left with that regret. Down into the darkness once more. Getting tired here. I've been so hungry in my life. You make a good point. I'm gonna feed you shit. Keeps our load light as well, so too we'd be having a lovely drink. We'll have to deal with both these things when we get out of here. At least we've been here so for so long that conditions been Regained. Can't sleep in here, that's verboten. But the ravine is close by, and the ravine has a lovely cave for sleeping in. Right, this door! Words to the upper, or lower, or some kind of dam. Good, I can go back through it. Corpse! With no fire striker. With no anything. Get back to it. What do we have? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So much nothing. Broken metal control box. Leaving the lower dam for the one way route, we're not taking that. Although I think you can come back in without too much bother if you go through the window. I still have no interest in being out in the dam approach area. A lot of interest in finding a fire striker though. I just imagine the disappointed look on our customers' faces coming in after the whole... Wait. Yeah, I don't need a stick. Hmm. Coming in after the whole big freeze is over, and the one thing they really want is a fire striker. They want to be prepared for next time, and I go, sorry sir, we have no fire strikers, can I interest you in a torch or a mag lens? They look at me with confused disgust and pity, and then leave my store. Couldn't handle it. Uh, scrap metal? No, it would just tempt me to use it if I pick that up. Plenty of cups of tea for my shop, so I will need to eventually get around to doing that. And uh, I hate to say it, but I will need more arrowheads at some point too. That puts scrap metal in the needs list. Well, maybe I can make do with what I have. The arrowheads are infinitely renewable as long as you collect them back.
You can find some arrowheads. Just indoors, I think, though. I've never found arrowheads outdoors. I found them indoors in Angler's Placey Place in Ash Canyon. I bet there's something under this crate, but... I don't have the time to be smashing that apart. <laughs> no surprise whatsoever, we have to force a locker open and there's nothing inside. Whetstone's cool. Taking it. Because we have plenty, we wouldn't be able to use it for ourselves. I am speechless. A locker that we force open, and there's nothing inside. We spent a long time searching here and just found absolutely nothing. Sounds horrible outside. Oh dearie me. Holy smokes, we're just finding a whole heap of nothing around here. So much for my um, underhanded wood laundering scheme. We're burning through all of our torches here as well. Thank goodness. Yeah, no use for me. I already have enough sodas back home. I should never put fire strikers on my bleeding list now. If there weren't fire, fire strikers there, my only real concern would be dragging a battery back to the store. Everything else is pretty trivial to make, I think. Cooking pot. Got a lot of cooking pots in the game. There's enough to get a full six load um, fire thing going. A big full load stove. Mm -hmm. There's a memento box here. Don't know where the lock, uh, the key for it is. Well, this has been a tremendous waste of time over here in the upper or lower dam. Unless I've missed something really important. But... Now, nah, away we go. Oh yes, yeah, so the cannery has goodies if you break them open. Plenty of tinned fish, I believe. But that's of no concern to us. Day's getting late. We need to make our way over to the ravine and sleep this off like a bad, ha a bad hangover. Already been checked. Even, uh, even Shepard is sighing in frustration at not having found anything here. Not like there's truly nothing here, but on this particular run there's just certain items that we're looking for now, having gotten most of the others. Well, the game is clearly just telling me, go to Pleasant Valley and go to the summit. That's apparently where we're going to find the items that we need, so we shall get on that post-haste. Definitely check the Overlook Cave. Alright, by popular demand, we're going to check the Overlook Cave. But, I do need to sleep, so I'm going to go to the ravine and sleep there till tomorrow morning first. Because the Overlook Cave is a chuffing mile... Actually, the Overlook Cave is a cave. Hmm. Profound, I know. But yeah, I might just haul ass over to the Overlook Cave. Because I can leave all the, all the food stuff here come back for some of my way out so I don't weigh myself down with it. Yeah, that actually makes sense. 
How heavy am I? A little too heavy, but that's okay. All right, we'll go to Overlook Cave and sleep there. Wait, don't I not have any food? Ah, no. There's one last bit of freshly cooked wolf meat. To give me all the kilocalories I need. Will you do the Aurora Mine? I will if it comes up. It's not a priority for it, though. I don't even know what's in there. Is there any good stuff in there? Perhaps I should rephrase. Is there any guaranteed good stuff in there? Do I need any of this stuff? Might want some of my nice torches just in case. Otherwise, we need to come back for these goods. Did I check his briefcase? Yeah, I did. Still a little overburdened, but just a little. Low on things to burn, huh? Maybe I could drop some of these clothes that uh, I swear I'll be coming back for. Especially the heavy stuff. Oh, got him. Oh, I've been carrying a two kilo military coat. For no good reason. Oh, my poor rabbit skin hat. I will probably tear you apart for a cured pelt later on. Oh, we're in the rest of our stuff. Alright, we'll come back for the rest of this. For now, I need to go to that cave and sleep. So that, I really don't like incredibly stupid questions like that. They reflect poorly on the person that asked. Uh, the rabbit hat got nicked by the Aurora Wolves. They did a double damage... Uh, they did a double, double attack on my clothes when we last interacted. Hang on, have I checked these? I don't think I've checked these. I have not. Alright, well, whilst the going is still good. Clinical peaches are... Ooh, oh. oh, beef jerky is needed. Right, then we've got all the beef jerky we need. That's kind of good. Let me check this worthwhile. Nasty old took. I don't think I need any more hats, though. Oh, tin of coffee is nice. How heavy are you? This stuff will come in handy. Screw it, I'm taking you. It's only 50 grams. Makes it an easier decision to make coffee in my base. Because we, we do have tins of coffee on display, but we don't have coffee coffee. Hang on, is there a fire lighter place, a fire thing out here? I don't think there is. Do I want to cook Wolfie? Yes and no. Fifty grams is plenty of coffee. I hate coffee though, so. What have we here? Take that with a pinch of salt if you must. Pry this open and find nothing inside it, as usual. Dog. dog food. We already have plenty of dog food on display. I have uh, cattails to keep me going, but... But... There is something to be said for getting Fido right now. I don't have a lot of burnables, but I have a bit of coal. Uh, where'd he go? Don't forget to fix your rabbit mitts. Do we even have the matrix for that? Right. Yeah, you know what? I am kind of hungry, Fido. You're coming with me. Uh, I guess not. Don't like what this tra uh, train track was doing for any of that. Right, so against my own better judgement, and especially given that it's this nasty fog, 
We're heading over to some overlook area. Need to follow the water along here a touch. Then I need to go up. I've never been here, so this is new to me. Find your burnables along the way is welcome, though, because I have used up a whole lot of those. Well, this wasn't right. I've ended up back on the uh, back on the train tracks. That's what I get for going away. I don't know. This is train loading area, so I do really think that I want to be going over this way. I'm gonna need to rest soon. I need to rest right now, Shepard, but where am I going? Didn't run too much. I am knackered, and there's a reasonable risk of breaking my delicate Canadian ankles coming up here. I'm gonna go around this way or the other way. This just doesn't feel right. Someone's definitely trying to get me killed, bringing me here. Mm. You're walking this goat-loving path does not seem right, and I'm definitely going to break something at this rate. Uh, nature works in mysterious ways. I think I'm on the wrong side of everything here. Welcome back, Jay. I'm back in Europe. Can't wait to be on more mainland Europe. Hopefully soon. Please, <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem right at all. My fingers feel numb. Meant to be some kind of overreaching cave up here. Ah, oh, there goes my wrist. Oh, damn, that means I can't fire my bow. That could have some nasty implications. Yeah, surely there's an overlook around here. I'm not being led off to my death. If I needed to fire my bow, I could, would, and perhaps even should use my... Um, my bandage to heal that up. Gee, this feels like peak get lost and die place. Oh, this could be a cave. Certainly a rock. There's even a cave in that rock. Like there, for example? No, not like there, for example. Never felt so cold in my life. 
Can't be some people have sent me on this death journey. Well, who knows? Maybe there's a fire striker. Then all will be forgiven. But we don't know anything about Frostpunk 2, so I don't have anything to say about it. I've been waiting on it a long time. Because there's this growing trend in the games industry to announce a game. And then do nothing for years. I'm looking at you as well, State of Decay 3. How long ago was that announcement? And what do we know about it since then? Am I in the right place at all for this? I have no idea where I am. Getting really tired though, and that's making me really sluggish. Yeah, there's no stock to be put in rumours. I'm looking for official announcements. I don't give two hoots about uh, pre-rendered stuff either. Show me gameplay. Okay, where am I? Divining Stick of Wisdom. Where am I? Well, that is Stick North-ish. So I probably still want to be going kind of in this to Oh god, there goes both of my wrists. Well, I hope I find this place. I hope it's warm and I hope I can rest in it nicely. Oh. That might indicate something useful. Also, these crows have been pawing their heads off. Maybe there's something edible here. Which actually would be very, very welcome. There's a bunny. Not wrong with a bunny. Right, it's by dinner. like minus 11. I'll need to chuck on a bit of coal for you. This isn't very wind protected. I think I'll put you here just in case the wind comes from that angle. Throw on one bit of coal to warm myself up and harvest this thing and eat it. But then it's definitely sleep time in game for this. Right, one bit of coal should keep me warm. Ravaged deer carcass, get even more ravaged by me. So that's pretty good for food. Um, whilst that is going on, I have my poor destroyed rabbit skin hat, which I'll harvest one pelt. So sleepy. Anything else around here? No, but I'm also on the hunt for some more sticks around here, if the game would be so kind to oblige. As long as I don't have to throw myself over a cliff for it. I'll harvest these. Yeah, I'll harvest these for sticks next to the fire, at least so I can stay warm. Bold is the real killer after all. the weather wanting to turn real sour real fast. Still going to take some more sticks out of this fire when, uh, not sticks, torches out of it. Just while the going is good. Nom 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 nom. Uh, do I want water out of you? Not really, but I don't think it would hurt to just make some. I left water behind, but I always just feel better having more water. I'm so tired. I know your pain, Shepard. Don't worry about it. Bottoms up. How much does Shop Gold feed shoot by now? 12 episodes, 50 hours? Are we halfway there? 
We're actually pretty close to the end. There's just a few high value items that I need to find. It's just finding those is proving difficult. But if we luck out and find them, there's very little left to do. A lot of the empty slots on it are very trivial things like water and tea and firewood. Things that we can find very quickly, we just haven't gotten around to doing. But it's things like the fire striker. The... Actually, you know what? We can bring it up. We went through this not too long ago. Ah, let's get in the cave before we talk about it so it'll be a bit more cozy. Yeah, yeah, I, I could I could feel the presence of this cave, don't worry about it. When I saw the rope there, I figured, yeah, that's going to be where the cave is. Drop some sticks on my way in, because heavens knows we're struggling on combustibles. It's quite tempting to tear this apart for some fir wood. I might actually do that, I might pop in, warm up for... About an hour and then take that apart and come back in. Right, are you. Is your name Fire Striker? It is not. It, your name is Summit Soda. I'll take that anyway. Ugh, stick, 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 firewood. Memento Cache, which I don't have the key for. Oh, I do have the key. Hold on, something weird happened there. Oh, I think it was doing like the extinguishing instead of the opening. Yeah, that's exactly what it was doing. Right, no key, no way to bash it in, and uh, no fire striker. No fire striker. Well, at least it's very warm back here. Do I need a fire for anything? I can't think of any reason why I would. What's your plan after this run? Plan. Don't have plans. I'm sure I'll come up with some soon though. I will make this racial tea or this racial mushroom just to warm up. And I do actually think I'm going to go out and have that Berlin thing apart. Just to get some more firewood. A little overweight, but I feel very low on burnables and I may need some where I'm going. Fur is not quite as good as coal, but I still want it. Oh, but it's cold out here. Baby, it's cold outside. Bye bye warmth, bye bye condition. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. Talking about tea, why isn't herbal tea on your shopping list, but coffee is? Herbal tea is on my shopping list. Uh, I think it's under groceries, though. Maybe the point is that I have a prepared herbal tea on the list. It's not like stopping me putting it on, I suppose. Right, we're back here. We're going to... Chug, chug, chug. And... Nom, nom, nom. And then nine hours of sleep. In my... Banged up bare bedroll. That'll solve all of our problems there. Yeah, pain gone, hypothermia gone, re sprain problems gone. But I still want to sleep a little longer, so glug glug glug. Now, despite getting up here, we just got to leave again because there was nothing of any use. But we'll pass a couple of hours, a bit more sleep. Yeah, slept off our broken wrists. Canadians may be delicate, but they sure know how to self-heal. Uh, doesn't look great out there, but at least it's morning. Once the shop is done, will other players be able to find the shop? Will this be reused in the future for multi multiplayer? I'm well, thinking about it, this game does have some multiplayer mods? Anyway, no, there's no intention to do anything like that. Uh, what's my best way out here? I could go back the way I came, or I could go down and down and follow the water. I think I will come out back out the way I came. Just much easier that way. I need to pick up the pace, though. Clearer, at least. Should be a lot easier to find my way. And I just need to go in this general direction. 
Oh, sticks, sticks. Don't deny me the sticks. I only have 21 of them. And my fur... fur wood. More fur wood there. Sticks, show me sticks, show me sticks. Tattoo song, show me love. I'm marching over in this direction a bit far. Oh, oh, maybe not far enough. That looks like birch to me. Birch means birch bark. Birch bark means birch bark tea. Forgive me for having hoped for more. But I am quite greedy. Yeah, it really wasn't quite as much as I'd wanted. Yeah, imagine no Goa. All this time that I move around and I start taking cold damage, I'd have to stop and make a fire before the cold damage even sets in. Because that damage is permanent. You don't get it back on no Goa. And that just strikes me so dull. You barely go any different. I barely go any distance where you have to stop and put down a fire. Seems like a nightmare to me. Is that also a birch tree? That's not a birch tree that's dropping any birch bark. Oh, I went too far down here. Deal. Be warm inside caves by the ravine soon enough. More birch trees, but no more birch bar. It's amazingly good of Shepherd not to just tear the birch bark straight off the tree and eat that. Survival situation that it is, I'm sure that would be a okay. Jeez. Just when we end up on level ground. Hello. Corpse here. Have I checked you before? That that might actually warrant a bandaging. No, oh, no first try. Because I may come across a wolf that I want to shoot dead. Or anything that I might want to shoot dead. Uh, not so if I get to the ravine, actually. The ravine's a pretty pretty simple one. And if there is a wolf here, I'm fairly certain I can outrun it with my functional legs. Definitely going to be overburdened when I get all my food back from the the dam. We'll take that over to Ravine, make some distance. I'll warm up a bit in the Ravine before I move on, just rest a bit. And then it's a straight shot back to the shop, and then we head north to Pleasant Valley on this seemingly endless hunt for a fire starter. Before I go, I might actually get all the trivial items for the shop. The tea... Ooh, well, actually, I might have harvested the area too hard for teas. But there'll be plenty of tea ingredients to be had in Pleasant Valley of that, I'm sure. It's also a good opportunity to hunt a bear and get another bear skin coat, because evidently that's a problem now. What if I can drop any of this gear? Jeez, that is making us heavy. 53 out of 45 kilos. Uh, well, stay satiated to bring it down a touch. But this is a lot of good stuff for the shop. And if I just make it out of here, I won't need to bandage up my poor broken wrist. 
I've never broken a bone, so I don't know how it feels. I think I fractured my wrist when I was young. I remember having it sling. And then comes the question, is a fracture a break? Mm. It's not a clean break. Die if I don't warm up soon. I don't think it's hurting more than a sprain. But sprains can also hurt like hell. I broke my wrist once, I don't recommend. Uh, oh, my brother broke his collarbone. I am told that that was very painful. He had a fall, he seemed alright, and then his buddy gives him a slap on the back, and then... Right. But don't let this detract away from how pathetic our Canadian man is here. Snapping himself, just looking at these inclines. You better charge a fortune for your shop items. Um, we're gonna have to charge in nice round amounts, like 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, because we have no spare change. We have failed to find even a bit of Canadian money. It's practically useless if you find it in a normal run, but we have found none. Uh, it's not long since we were last here, so I'm not expecting a lot of birch bark, but maybe some blizzards came and blew some nice bark down for us. Saving grace of the ravine is that it's completely safe from predators. No bears, no wolf, no moose even. There are no dangerous animals. Like in real life, deer cannot hurt you in the long dark. And yet there are deer here. I could certainly hurt the deer. One food, and I would like to hunt that deer, but broken my delicate Canadian wrists, so no can do. Mm, but there is an upcoming wildlife change to the game, so maybe in the future the ravine will be a horrifically dangerous place. Where only the most confident or most mad individuals end up coming. Park is very welcome. Ooh, especially when it's double birch bark. Did I leave food here for future me? No, however, I did leave myself some rabbit pelt. That's not rabbit pelt, that's, that's bleeding cattail heads. Which I do need for the shop, so maybe I should grab some. No, all I, all I left myself here was water. Oh, what a joker. Right. For lack of food to enjoy, I'm finally going to eat these cattail stalks. Don't I need some for my shop, though? Yeah, apparently I need eight. Maybe I'll try and hold on to eight. So until then, I'm going to sleep for four hours to get rid of my snap wrist. Not least of all, I need... Oh, it's only two. Two hours. Well, what the hell, let's sleep for four. And then let's go and hunt that deer or doe. Sorry the striker was not in the cave, but I found it there before. I just thought it was worth a look before you left Mountain uh, Mystery Lake. Not wrong. It was worth a check. I want that deer. I can eat a horse. And I do need to lighten my load a touch. Well, not necessarily. I need some of these little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I might need these cured guts where I'm going. I'll take them. God, it's going to be a heavy walk home. The question is, can I actually hunt this deer? Might not be easy, because the deers spook easily. Actually, this is way too hard to do with all of this uh, stuff on me. So, we go to our 
food delicious, and we just drop everything. Interestingly, that that summit soda I found outside. So, uh, although it says ruined, it's going down the hatch. This stuff I'll put it off. All right, still a little overburdened. How can this be? It's definitely those heavy clothes. Ragged military coat. Better be worth it. There we go. Now, we're still overburdened? Jeez, I carry a lot of crap. Right. God's sake, give me that deer or doe. I don't have a lot of arrows. I've only got four. I've been here for an age. I've not followed. How rude. Yeah. Emote use, how rude. How do we compare this to, say, Civ 5 in terms of marathon epic? Seems very safe by now. Uh, you weren't here shortly ago when it was anything but safe. Oh, damn, it got spooked by me. However, if it comes over here, I'll give it plenty of reasons to be spooked. If it just stops running around, I want to spook it in my direction. Oh, well, that thing is long gone. Still need it, though, so we're hunting it. I'm hungry, and I don't want to make do with rabbits. I need a half a point so I can see it easier. That's why blinds exist. It's just spooking it in not at all the right direction. Even so, don't want to miss and hit the rock. This, this ain't how I'm meant to be spending my time. This is just costing me calories. This is good. That was terrible. Oh, that'll be a lot of damage on my arrow for hitting a rock. Terrible shot. See, it's an easy shot when they're coming straight at you, less so when they're running around like a constipated wiener dog. At this point, I'd be better off just running up and shanking the thing. will bleed out from that, but I'd rather it was a lot more dead and a lot less running around right now. Need to find some place to escape this cold. You're gonna die in a very, very awkward place for me, aren't you? Oh, Jesus. You just running around in circles now. Oh, but well, an arrow's stuck in it. Probably has a lot to worry about. Uh, this is getting embarrassing. It just got embarrassing a while ago. At least missing into snow doesn't cost a lot of damage to the thing. I'm back, Bambi. I'm very, very hungry. Oh my days. Do I even have the wood to, to make you good? As in the fire to cook you. Yeah, yeah, I got all that fur, uh, fur birch, fur bark, I recall. 
Where the heck did it go? Damn, I should have been paying attention to it. Where did it run off to? Is that it over there? <laughs> Come on. Hunting level four, folks. Did it finally keel over? It's costing me uh, condition damage. Where did it go? It was right here. Oh, oh no 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 no! Don't don't be running into nothing again. I don't like it when you do that. There we go, right in the head. That's how I always make my kills. Definite headshot. And hey, it died in a lovely sheltered area. Wind seems to be coming from that direction. So, so, so. Let's hope it remains nice and sheltered here. a lot of sticks, so we'll stick up, and then get us that meat, because I need that meat. Really badly, actually, I should not have carved us such big parts, but oh well. Some birch bark while I wait. Not to mention, carve off more of you. 50 calories, I have I have the calories for that. Thank you, knife. Still, still waiting, but I don't have a lot more calories. Yep, yep, yep. Kept our well fed. While the going is good, and the going is good, I'm going to rip your skin off with my bare hands. Yeah. And I guess I'll get the gut scooper out as well. Maybe for one gut. The world's going crazy for plastic plants. Jake enjoys his meat gym rare. I like my meat rare, rare. you got. While that's going, I'll always prepare some more racial mushrooms. It's the best time of day for traveling, so I should strongly consider getting a move on to the other side of the ravine, as long as the weather remains good. Heavy as hell, though. Where's my... Oh, I saw my water back there. God, this is going to be heavy. Real heavy. I have a lot of cloth. I actually want some more bandages. Wait. Two more bandages. To be a little underprepared for any kind of nasty surprise. Oh god, there's not much left of you, is there? I need to repair you badly. 27 minutes. I have 27 minutes. There's my knackered sewing kit. Here we go. Don't fail me now. I don't have enough of these to, to be failing with it. Whoa, thank goodness for that. Still not very good, but at least it'll hold. I didn't want it to remake that. to make that. Oh, no problem then. Swell. Grab some torches, good ones only, and then we have a lot of moving to do. 
Yeah, I was in Japan for about three weeks. I got home a couple days ago. I'm just itching to play games. <laughs> just traveling is all good and well, but it's tiring. So nice to come back and just enjoy some streaming and gaming. Actually, we'll have a fire payday two of all games. I mean, yesterday I streamed for about 11 hours. Today it's been over 10, and it just it doesn't feel it. I just just want to get some streaming and gaming done. We are how far overweight? And this is without all our... Cr oh, God, that's dangerous. Clip was great. I'll do a trucking stream where I talk about it later on. Probably next Wednesday. Sounds about right. Ooh, where am I in relation to the cave? I think the cave's actually over here. certain sadness about being back in Sweden, but hopefully, uh, hopefully the Swedish, not Swedish, hopefully the Hungarian real estate agents will pull through. Is there any place to rent over there? I seriously need to triage this stuff. This gear is starting to slow me down. This is even without any water. Sunset. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. This is how fast I move with all this stuff, so I need to really decide on what I'm ditching. I need to I need to be all right to actually move with this. I think there's too much meat. Meat I can get more of, so let's just drop some of that. That leaves me with three nice bits of venison. Low. It's this bleeding military coat and the jeans, I suppose, but this military coat is way too heavy. I'll leave you behind here. Maybe find a use for you later, but for now. Now, you might say it might have something to do with my vast quantity of torches, but really, that's only four and a half kilos of torches. <laughs> we'll, use, we'll use them up, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get through them. Bye-bye, military coat. But I will... You will be there, at least. Can't help but feel that there's a... There's surely a significantly better method to carrying fire with you than all these torches that you keep aggressively throwing on the ground and relighting off of. When I'm out of the wind, it's not too chilly, but a bit of cold damage isn't too bad. I'll sleep up at the next um, the next cave, which isn't too far, as I recall. <laughs> Maybe I gave up on my obsession with torches. There's now at least five hours. Maybe. All right. Well, at the time, I did let go of it a little bit. All things in modesty. At least not carrying around 13 stones anymore. Too heavy. Can't run. Stick. Stick. No, I have a lot of sticks. I've also got that fir wood, which is really heavy. But you have to understand, I might need it for a fire. Yeah, but there was also a point where I had 90 sticks or lot. Is that a dead deer over there? What is your story?
I got a, I got a um, arrow out of it. So yeah, I actually killed you. So I did headshot the other deer. Painted one shot. Uh, well, lots of lovely meat, but I... Hold on, I tore off the skin and I didn't put it in for... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm carrying around things that I shouldn't be carrying around. That's okay, next cave I will ditch it. Oh, snap. Uh, oh well, no more fire for me, but we're already cold, so it doesn't make much of a difference. As long as we can haul ourselves over to the next cave, we're fine. Yeah, getting the arrow back is actually pretty huge. Even if it breaks, that's no big deal. As long as I get the arrowhead back, I can forge a new arrow. Or make it at a workbench. It's forging the arrowheads, but that requires scrap metal. Which at the time was too big an ask. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of times where hunters have hunted something, assumed it's dead, and then, oh, it just gets right back up. Spooky. Better give some nightmares every now and then. Not too far, just around the bend and over to the left will be a cave where the rabbits hang out. And for once the rabbits are safe. I have no need to eat no need of eating them this time. Cave stuff here, and then the rest of the ravine is just caveless. Let's say it's without shelter, but the warmth bonus in a cave is not to be underestimated. It's huge. And yes, I was contemplating the utility of sticks out of that. I definitely can't mag lens here, can I? No, it's way too late. I don't know what lets the game decide whether or not you can mag lens, but I'm still happy to have it. Right. Long and arduous journey, but here we are. Do I want to do any repairs or anything? Oh, there should be a rabbit pelt in here or so. If I recall my future proofing well. There isn't. Okay, that surprises me. There's however a cured gut. That's uh Give it more cure me down. And this half kilo of fresh deer hide that we definitely didn't need on us. But yeah, repairing you would need more cure rabbit pelt, which I don't have, and I need some more for my hat. Otherwise we're alright ish. Some repairs to be done back at base. For now though. I should just sleep slash idle my night away. We're not tired enough though, which is bothersome. We we'll pass some time. Well, doing repairs would be nice, but I struggle to think of something worth repairing. Maybe my socks? Thing that could even be called worth repairing. I think that only getting 36 out of one bit of cloth isn't great. Climbing socks on interloper. Yeah, we found a pair of these. I forget where and how. It's probably Hush River Valley. All the good stuff we found was in Hush River Valley. Is this outside scrap metal? I think it is. Neat. Could forge with that. Well, for lack of better things to do, we're going to pass time in the in the bedroll until we're more tired and then sleep. Bedroll has now lost uh, one quarter of its warp bonus and trust me I don't like that one bit.
Mm, we'll just sleep for as long as possible. There's no way we're going to be able to sleep for nine hours. But hopefully it'll be nice and calm when we leave. Because we're not moving very fast, that's for sure. Cold, cold morning, no doubt. Uh, we're light enough to run. And our speed isn't that slow, but the speed at which we're going to lose warmth is very, very fast, I'm sure. Not, uh, not clear enough for mag lensing, no doubt. Pick up the pace, or else the cold will kill us. Uh, what's a bug and what's not, though, because they did change up the loot on purpose. Maybe they brought some things they wanted in an interloper for a while as little rare things to find. That said, though, I still think there shouldn't be guns on interloper. Just a stress pistol and bow that you make yourself. And throwing stones, of course. Shepherd, grab a drink is a good reminder that I myself should drink and maybe even eat periodically. There's some crows flying. They do not indicate a change of weather, they just do that. Now I have no coal. Warming up will be difficult. There's something to be said for starting a small fire here, but it would take a lot of sticks, and I think it'd be a big waste of sticks. But then how will I warm up? Still a long way to go, and there's no good places to warm up on the way back. So this coal is really good for. I think there should be spears, says Donut. There is a spear in one of the story mode things. I think you gotta hunt a bear or something so using it. Cold. There's a console command that gives you one of every item in the game, and you actually get it from that. And I think one of the things that's been talked about is introducing spear in regular survival play. You can't throw it, yeah. Can't have everything. In that case, would it really be a spear? Wouldn't it become a piwa with that? Piwa? Pilwa? Pila? Pila, probably. Your javelin, yeah. Oh boy. Trust me, there is a great temptation to just go whoop and head off. Just for all the people that want to see this come to a successful conclusion with the store bustling with goods and just throw all their hopes and dreams away down the ravine. Pilum, singular. Pila, plural. There we go. Random burnt out torches all over. Jake littering. It's not littering, it's wood. I bet you'd think dropping an apple core in the middle of a forest is littering. Well, now we'll be back to the coastal highway, and I don't think we'll be coming this way ever again. Unless we need to use the Forge on Forlorn Muskeg, but I like to think we have everything we need to keep on going, even though we only have four arrows. Who needs that many arrows, anyway? Skyrim the Railroad Track will introduce you to this game's unfair death... Um, death planes. You reach a certain point and the game just kills you. Story Mode has more of those because it doesn't want you to go off the... off their railroads. 
so it just says, oh, you fell to your horrible death despite you gingerly stepping your way down. So even though I'm burdened with stuff, I'm still going to check the trailer over here and wait, did I already check it? I feel like I would have already checked it, but I'm checking it again and I'm updating my own maps here. Uh, coastal Highway. Didn't I say we were going to run through the items for our shop when I went into a cave ages ago? Did I actually go through them? Because now I can't remember. Well, we'll be going through our items when we're back in the store. Hopefully it's daylight when I am back there. Really wondering, did I ever go into this trailer? Thermal risks. Uh, hypothermic risk isn't going up that much, so no biggie. Such a good idea, actually, just say leaving a stone out front in places I've been inside. Long past doing that, but something to keep in mind for the future. I have not been in here before. Interesting. Significantly less interesting when I find nothing to loot. <laughs> okay. Where's all the everything game? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's actually nothing in here. What a shame. State of Decay 2, I love watching. Been happy watching all the Frostpunk traveling on for the long dark. Happy to have found you, says Invictus. I'm happy to. Uh, I may have already found a body around here. Have I checked back here? I know there can be a body back here. I've seen it before with my own two eyes. Potentially even on this run, I've gotten it too. Man, City K is so good. I, I want a good reason to play it again, but I don't have one. Fire Striker? No Fire Striker. Nothing worth my time. Hmm. I got some clean burn and propane back there. Because, you know, butane's a bastard gas. It's been very clear for a long time. I don't trust the game to not throw a blizzard in my face. Although, we slept through a blizzard. So it could be that the game thinks, ha, I already gave him a blizzard. Now let's lull him into a true sense of security. Take quite a lot of fatigue, uh, condition damage on the way down, though. Easily sorted in the shop, but I have to get to the shop in one piece. Preferably without breaking my ankles down here. Am I wearing my crampons? Why does it feel so often like I'm not getting my lovely crampon bonus? Yeah, we've got a lot of crap. We need to drop it off the shop and do another stock take. And then it's onwards to um, the summit at Timberwolf Mountain and the Pleasant Valley buildings. And that should be everything we need to complete our stock take. If it's not, then God help me, I don't think I can find two fire strikers. They'll be out there somewhere, but we have had suck luck finding them so far. I don't. This has been unmolested. Let's change that.
also I could lighten my own load by chewing down some more of this. Our load is pretty damn heavy. A whole heap of not much as usual. Well, apart from the course on Interloper. Definitely, I'm going to want some of my matches back from the store. How many do I even have left? Only 14. Oof, jings, and we were drowning in them not long ago. But I did leave a bunch back at the store thinking, oh, fuck, don't need. Oh, look at that! We did find Stump Remover! Hefty, but it's ours now. Nice, well... Our DIY section is going to have all kinds of stuff in it. And remember, if you shop at... Uh, do, we, do we have any good names for our shop yet? Commander Shepherd's Emporium. That doesn't have a good ring to it whatsoever. Imagine it had a great name. Remember, we don't ask questions whatever you're buying from our shop. Uh, is this even the right way to go? I don't feel like it is, but whatever, we're committed now. Ow. Yes, yes. Constant cold damage, I know, but don't worry. Just get back to the shop. Everything's lovely and warm there. Outer Cooper. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of a nice idea to bring Outer Loper into the naming convention. I should really be warming up. But the Cinder Hills coal mine is pretty close. Could go there and just take a nap to warm up. Heaven knows I have some work cut out for me when I get back to the store. I need my new rabbit hat after all. And I don't want to take a break. It's nice and clear and that's a good reason to get moving. Hypothetical risk is rearing its ugly head. Ooh, if I... Yeah, unless a bear comes and mauls us, in which case I better hope for that uh, fourth one hit KO. Oh yeah, if I if I get mauled to death, whoever stumbles in and finds my shop is just gonna think they've got other worldly luck. All the stuff there, the makings for stuff. Food to keep you going, matches, more tools than you know what to do with. They will be wondering why is the tea supply so short though, so I need to stock up on teas at some point. I'm taking a ton of condition damage here, I'm not the world's biggest fan of that. Sneak my way through this bit to uh, shortcut over to good old Cinder Hills. What's well, the Aurora mine that's through here? I think. Oh, it's lovely and bright. I could start a fire if I wanted to. For what purpose? I don't know, but good. What a beautiful day! Sounds like he's really struggling, though. It's alright, there you go, there's warmth in here. 
Ah, and it's not, it's not bright at all, so I probably can't saw something down in here. Like this metal table for three hours. Won't I? I mean, I do want all that scrap metal. Potentially. Actually, I can't think of a good reason to want it other than to get some good sleep in right now. Getting some good sleep in does sound nice. Yeah, I might want this done eventually, so we'll just get it done now. There we go. That made us lovely and tired. Anything else I can do with my time here? I can barely walk with this much gear. I know, Shepard, I know. Not that bad. You can bring this back to the shop, I'm sure. It's a little tempting just to go back to the shop with all this, but we are devilishly slow. I need anything right about now. Hmm. I'll look pretty slow with this. Just thinking I'll pass time here, get out, amble over to the shop. That should be fine. And there is meat to eat in the shop, I think. It'd be a terrible error of judgment if there is not. Kilos of meat will keep you good, Shep. Shove that down my eye hole. I could just sleep for about two hours, three hours. Oh, what if there's a... Um, what if there's an aurora? That's all the more reason to be here tonight. Hey, didn't think of that, did we? Right, let's sleep with that in mind. Five hours to get us into night time, and then we'll see what, if any, aurora comes our way. the night here. Give it uh, two hours at a time, I think. This isn't good for condition gaining, but anytime I'm back around my store, condition shouldn't be too big of a deal. Came all this away and no aurora. Sleep an hour at a time then. If there's an aurora, we dump all of our heavy stuff and we get going. Maybe it purposely doesn't want to aurora us, uh, aurora us while we're in here. So this is why I didn't promise the aurora mine during this playthrough. Just a crap shot if you get the aurora while you're able to use it or not. No more meat to eat. We need to make our way back to the shop to, um, soon enough. But I'm still going to pass time on here. Pass a few hours. Aurora? Aurora? The game does not wish to Aurora me here. I'm out of stuff to drink for this, so we're just going to get moving. Uh, where's the exit? Thought I was looking right at it. Well, I do have a tiny amount of fuel left in this. And it is for emergencies yet. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> How much of that do I have left? Almost none. Okay, well, the way it goes. Let's go back to our shop. Sudden Aurora the moment we leave? No. Just a quiet night. Quiet and deathly cold night. If we've got an Aurora right now, it would be a late Aurora. Making it very risky to go down into the mine. Since if the aurora ends while you're in there, you're stuck in there. You better hope you have enough food to keep yourself alive down there. Otherwise, you just starve to death. Although, to be fair, you can survive for quite a long time from starvation. Dehydration is twice as bad. 
both starvation and dehydration, you'd die within... Well, I'd die within a day, thanks to our permanent health loss, courtesy of Frostbite. But at least you wouldn't freeze to death down there, because it should be nice and warm. I suppose if you went in completely naked, maybe it would be too cold for you, especially if you don't have cold fusion. But I mean, what kind of person <laughs> plays on interloper but turns on feats? Someone who wants to enjoy their game that way, that's who. Who am I to judge? Someone who plays with no feats. <laughs> no. I am... I'm being coy. Be careful, I'm a little too coy. Barrington might come and weigh down upon me. Shop's right around the corner. Oh, I'm looking forward to stocking the shelves. With not heavy military jacket. What's over hands. there? Is that a deer? What's a deer doing at this time of night? Doesn't it know how dangerous this place is? <sighs> if you played long enough to get the feats, you shouldn't need them anymore. Uh, what if you're playing for a long time on Voyager or Pilgrim? If I don't warm up soon. Or even Stalker. Then you might really want them when playing on Interloper. Or if you played for ages on Interloper, you're like, I want to do no go or Outer Loper. No go, it just seems like a place where fun goes to die in this game. Says the man who's been hauling. Scraps of goods back to his store for ages. It's fine though. We got Bleak Inlet today. And that was an experience. That was a humbling experience. I really thought I'd seen as bad as this game could get. And then Bleak Inlet comes along with weather bad enough to rival uh, Unpleasant Valley. But with Timberwolves. And then Aurora Timberwolves. Not to mention the horrible time in the cannery. Stuff is uncooked. I'm pretty sure the cooked goods are inside. Nagoa is called No One Gets Out Alive. And basically all the settings are put to maximum harshness. And you cannot heal except by using stims, which are limited. Anyway, it's still night time. What can we even do to pass time? Um, eat and sleep. What's favorite pastime? I don't think I have anything to drop and cure here. And Well, actually, rather, I hope that I don't, because that would be mad. My locker is here with some of my valuable water. And over here, there should be some cooked meat. Ruined wolf meat cooked. Mmm. Not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. You don't need to, Shepard. Chew it down. No parasites in these things. Alright, bring on the light of morning, because I need to see what I'm doing. Ew, says the golden deer. <laughs> uh, let's see. I still need to pass some time. How's my knife doing? Knife and hatchet don't particularly need sharpened. I don't think of anything I can do to pass time just to lighten up the situation out there. Racial mushrooms always need prepared. It's almost light enough. If I could just find my rabbit stuff, assuming I have rabbit stuff. Ooh, wolf stuff. Uh, I do need to repair my outer wolf skin coat. What does it take for that? Cured gut and cured wolf pelt. I have that. 85% takes two hours to do. Apparently it's dark. I don't buy that. Uh, 
Hey, don't let me down. This is this is serious. Do not let me down. Whew. All right, that's good. That is good. Love the warmth bonus off of that. And look, we can see. Oh, our pelts, our saplings, our guts, our many guts. Add these to our cure thing. Ah, and I do have lots of rabbit pelts. Good, because I want to make a new rabbit hat. Cured, 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 cured. And I got a lot of stuff to organize here. A whole lot of stuff to organize. Well, actually, the, the timing is good enough to do some organizing. I just don't like how much of my stuff is just lying around out here. Okay, how does one even start with this? How does one start here? I'll tell you what, we could have our... Since this is getting a bit cluttered and the ketchup crisps take up a lot of space, we could specifically have the ketchup crisps over here to be seen. Just to free up some space, because I need my tinners over there anyway. Which ketchup crisp would you like? Actually, I wonder if I could have them side by side over here. This is where things get really anal about setting up my shop, but bear with me. What's the point in doing all this work if I can't enjoy the payoff? There are a few times in this run I should have died by now, but we're still alive. And besides, I want people to come in and see the shop as a lovely orderly place. Not the coalition of chaos that we see out there. Between Mother Nature and Jack Bloody Frost. More. More. Damn, I haven't had found a load of ketchup crisps. Easy does it well. Actually, at that point, they don't want to stick too close together. It's good to know I don't need to find any more of these things. An opener for my tinners right here. And then... See, I need quite a bit of shelf space, so I'm going to pack these ones rather tight. Well, as tight as I can. I know this must be so exciting. Premium stream content. When I'm too old and jaded to stream myself, and I end up giving talks on how to do engaging streams from kids who want to grow up and do this for a living. Jake, Jake, what was it you streamed? I was like, well, I had this little shop in a game that you're not meant to have a shop in. And to approximately uh, 316 people, I inched my products on the shelves so they lined up just the way I wanted them. And this is the content that's going to make me a successful streamer? No. <laughs> this looks good though. This is what I like. Yep, Labar. Our little fishies over there. Maybe I could have this other one lined up like so. Alright, uh, deploy the tinners. How many tinners do I have? I don't think I found many, right? Found you, and you, and you. But that's fine, it wasn't a tinner expedition so much. We knew we had plenty of them. That's pork and beans. I, I couldn't deign to mix that up with my 
my soups. Aren't they supposed to add base customization soon? That kind of feature seems very unfitting for this game. In my judgment for a game that I have only recently gotten into. There we go. Actually, the tins of sardines don't really look like they have that much space there, do they? I might be able to just tighten up the whole tinner expedition by putting you... You weren't quite there. Could I not have you like... Let's go. Oh, I like that jaunty angle. Ooh, that's good. It's one of those happy accidents. What in the world is getting in your way there? A little tin opener. Ah, could I have the tin openers over here then? Oh, I like that. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 tinned goods. And next to that we'll have our lovely candy bars and chocolate bars and granola things. Really can't be close together, can they? Didn't have a lot to begin with, but I did find a fair few of these. That's pretty good. How many of these how many of these bars did I need? Hopefully not tons of them. Because they've been pretty tricky to find. I imagine it's because these tend to spawn inside containers, and they all would have gone so nasty that they won't even spawn anymore. Here's our herbal tea. Somebody earlier was bemoaning my lack of herbal tea in the shop since I have coffee, but no. We've got quite a lot of herbal tea. One tea bag, one tea bag, and another tea bag. We have tons of. Wait, I've got another bloody tin opener? Uh... Can I hide you at the back here? No, no, I cannot. Or can I? I yeah. Right, pick your poison, tea or coffee. Quick show of hands and chat, are you a tea person or a coffee person? Me? Not really either, but given the choice, I'd far rather have some tea than coffee. The MREs are important. They get a special place right here in front of our two jugs of maple syrup coffee 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 neither neither coffee tea wow so much more coffee than tea shocked wow, got even more coffee the big moose kicks coffee Clearly the coffee outranks the tea here i feel like this setup isn't ideal but okay where's my other load of maple syrup there we go go Maple syrup, MREs, next to the MREs we should have our two loads of crunchy crackers. Can I put them in here, by the way? Ooh, I quite like that. It's, uh, it's made to measure. Ooh, yeah, 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 that's good. My shop is going to look so good when I'm done with it. <laughs> Except I'm going to die before I'm done with it. <laughs> I can feel it. Right. Uh, this is probably going to be a drinks and pharmacy shelf. I should have space for both. I'm going to lower the amount of cups of tea I need. Because they all look the damn same. There's no point stocking tons of them. I reckon four, four of each cups of tea. I think eight is on my list currently. 
Yeah, eight and eight. I screw that. I think I'm just gonna make two and two. Same with the birch bark. Same with the coffees. It's just they're all they all look the same, so I don't really see the the big deal for it. Water, on the other hand. Have the power. I'm just editing that down so I don't need to show quite as many. Okay, is there any other food that I have to put on display? Yeah, my, my lovely beef jerky. If this should go anywhere, it's next to the bags of crisps. Mm -mm, man, few things go together quite so well as crisps and beef jerky. One's chewy, the other crunchy. Both lovely salty things to enjoy. Of course, the, the beef jerky is meaty, but the crisps can be anything. Wrong cocktail, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, barbecue, salt and vinegar, plain, ready salted, cheese and onion. All right, finally we have all four stems. Ah, there we go. I was worried I wouldn't get this after I used some, but there we go. If there are other people, this shop will make a minute. It looks so good. I, d I don't like how the books are sorted out, but this is starting to look so good. I'm going to put down my birch bark tea here, I think. Um, I should brew some herbal tea, but I don't have enough herbal tea to brew some more herbal tea. Probably because I drank it all earlier, but oh well. Yeah, what else do we have to put on display here? Oh, I know. I can have a baby bottle of water with the other bottle. How much water do you want? Lots or small? That yeah, looks nice. Right, what else do we have to put down for display? Uh, both of these. And I definitely found one of these painkillers inside a building, so I'm putting these here before I even think twice about it. Careful now, the more you put down, the harder it's going to be to change anything out. The antiseptic doesn't seem to want to be put down close to each other for some odd reason. You'd rename this game the Long Shelves. <laughs> you had a problem with the way I played the Long Dark. I wouldn't be surprised. a bit more orderly, but in the end it's all about just getting the screenshot, right? Ah. Actually, I might see if I can make the save available. There are bound to be people who want to come and explore the shop for themselves. But that makes it all the more pressure on me to not bleeding die doing this run. with this place but sometimes it just feels so weird about where it lets you put things down. Uh, antibiotics, six pills. How many do I need? I can check with pharmacy. Antibiotics, well I have six. I don't really care about having four on display but uh, we can actually sort, sort this. I can go antibiotics, uh, drop one, put it on here. It's a little trick. Don't let anyone know we do it. This way you can look like you have far much more on display than you do. But truthfully, it's just... Uh... Put all those down. Two should... No. Come on, we're not here to half-ass things. Drop a single pill. Put along our little pill. Oh wow, these really don't like being close to each other. Drop another pill. Another little pill. And 
then drop the rest. They all merge into one. And down that goes as well. That's one good looking pharmacy, and I'm not sure it's done yet. Do I have anything else here? Uh, yeah, I've got my four bandages. I hope those do go together quite well here. Bandage. Bandage made from cloth that I found indoors, because no way in heck was I'm using my really good stuff for this. certainly want some dressing here. Oh god, the dressing is not going to stack well, is it? Uh, surprisingly well. I don't know who sees this on the counter and thinks, yeah, I want this. Looks minging, but there you go. Some old lichen dressing for you. With that, I would dare to say the pharmacy is completely done. Great, it's all green on my list. Books are green, fuel is not, fire is not, drinks are getting there. Two of you, two of you, none of you, one of you, the sodas are done. The coffees I could get done if I cooked up some of this stuff, which I'll consider. One man's fever dream, create a shop for nobody. What's the backstory in this guy? Ah, kind of explains the backstory that we have going. Oh god, the clothes. Ugh. I haven't really figured out a good way to show my clothes, so I'm just dumping them in the bathroom for now. Even so, just get rid of this stuff. Get off me. There we go. I'm just going to say the clothes are done. I'll find some way to sort this out, but uh, clothes are done. Oh, the final flare. There we go. This was not an easy find. I've been drowning in marine flares and not a lot of normal flares, but... There we go. I don't know where that's under. Is that DIY or... No, that's camping. There we go. Four out of four flares. Six out of four marine flares. Uh, torches are trivial. Lantern fuel? I can get that just from cooking some fish, so I'll get on that eventually. What else do we have? Took care of the food. Oh, right, cattail stalks. Where are they? Oh, okay, I thought these would look better on the shelf than they do. Uh, hmm. Could I arrange them here in a nice way? Oh jeez, I don't think there's any way to make these things not look hideous. Uh, I'll refrigerate them. That's my... that's my compromise. We'll have some lovely refrigerated cattail stocks. Okay, they don't go well together and they look hideous, so I think I'm actually going to only stop four of them. That's right, the list we have is fluid. Those look cool. Uh, maybe I can shove some at the bottom here and not have it look too bad. I love my bedroll in there. You mean you don't keep your video games in the fridge? Certainly keep my bedrolls in there. Good enough, I'll keep these on me. You can use the fly command to go up a bit and drop things on top there, and I'll probably do that at the very end for organizing stuff. God, I love the look of those. Okay, what else do we have to show? Oh, I did find extra lantern fuel. Sweet. Did I find this indoors? Probably. So we'll put it on display and not think any more of it. And I found my last set of simple tools. Oh, the, the noisemakers. They're essentially grenades. So it kind of makes sense to have them right near the till. What do you think noisemakers would come under under our shopping list DIY? 
we don't have a home ordinance thing. Probably miscellaneous, actually. There we go. Canadian reset here. Oh, right. Uh, I'm pretty sure all but one of these were found indoors, so... Someday I'll find a good way to arrange my sewing kits. The DIY corner's a mess. I need to hire somebody to clean it up. I hope they accept payment in pry bars. Mm, oh God, yet more bullets. Why is this stuff even spawning? Hmm, you know what, it doesn't look good to set out like that. I wonder if I can just drop them all as a single batch. Yeah, that's better. I like that. So, guns for a, a bullets for a gun that I can't find. Like this fire log. Testament to me having dragged a two kilo log all the way here from wherever I found it. Uh, Ash Canyon, actually. For no reason, it wasn't even on my shop list, I just put it here because I wanted to. There we go, finally done with uh, getting the tools. I could eat anything right now. I'm down, Shepard, you're on the clock. Although, good point, it's time for a mandated lunch break. Go and eat some of that. I'll eat two loads of it, it'll make you feel like a big man. Just Thursday, so oh, so dry. There you go. Imagine how greasy that desk is. See, this, this desk has seen all of our meat. Greasy isn't the start of it, I'm sure. Okay, anything else to organize? Hopefully, because I'm still pretty heavy. Ah, dusting sulfur. I don't know how much this was meant to find, but I probably not got down to two. Given they don't look that exciting. I need better places for things, it's hard to hard to put them on here. Right. And stomp remover. This this took so this took a while to find, but It's hard to find homes for things around here. I want to just throw it unceremoniously on the ground, but... I could make more use of this, right? Especially since these cardboard boxes are in the way. In fact, I will get rid of them, so I've got a better space over here. Yo, even you. Mr. Streamer, why is F eels B add what? what? Oh, right. Uh, I don't really like emotes very much, so I have a lot of the global ones blocked in this chat. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Go. Let's mountain rope, spray paint, and that leaves us a little better for dumping items. Hmm. What else do I still need to put on display that I have not already? Oh, firewood. Should, uh, this kind of stuff should be out at the front of the store, don't you think? But do we have a good place to show things at the front of our store? If the Orca gas station in Pleasant Valley wouldn't be a larger store, you need to be you seem to be running out of space. We're running out of shelf space, that's my issue. I mean, it makes sense to have the stuff outside, but I kind of want everything indoors. I can appreciate it from in here. So, perhaps I could... get the book out of my way. Need firewood. I got firewood. Sedar, fur, a bunch of coal. I think I'll trim down on these. The items are larger than they look and they don't stack as well as I'd hoped. These really don't stack as well as I'd hoped. Uh, 
Alright, four bits of coal here should suffice then. But I will also need some sticks. And sticks look ultra lame here. They don't stack together quite as well as when you drop them. Uh, that being the case then, maybe they'd look better lengthways like that. Although who comes into a shop and says, yeah, I need your I need your best stick. Got any sticks for me? Sticks the only thing I'm after today. Nothing else to do it. Oh, that is grim. <laughs> That'll keep the coal for me, I guess. Fix on the floor before the logs might work. Ooh, right. You mean just, uh, I wish I hadn't picked those up now. But maybe something like that? Don't look amazing. Can I turn around and do some more of them? Looks a little tacky on the floor, but not too shabby. I can put more firewood here when we grab it, and I'm sure I will at some point. Oh, my cat tails! Uh, not to mention my tinder plugs. Tinder plugs could look alright here. This must be driving some people nuts. Like, why, why am I here? Why am I looking at this? Why am I spending my precious time on this? I, on the other hand, I'm thinking, this is great. This is the payoff moment, right? I went through so much to get much of this done. And here I am enjoying it, setting out my store. Uh, poor cattails might already be a bit much. And these freaking water Twinkies. These look more like they should be over in the food aisle. But even then, they're obnoxiously large. And they get in the way of where the coffees and teas should be. Alright, there's your, there's your cat tails. Four of them will suffice. I'll adjust the stock take accordingly. Um... These are my personal matches, and I absolutely want them back, because I've been using more of them than I thought. What else do we have? A oh, good point, we don't sell sticks, we sell compasses. I like that. The divining compasses. Okay, I actually think... Oh right, torches, we don't have some... I've got some 100% torches out here, our customers get only the best. These are 100% torches. They don't quite fit like this, that's that errant tinder plug in a bit. One on the front here. No? Oh well. Maybe you could have one over here. Uh, this one is not a 100% torch, but it's for people that uh, are on a budget. There we go. Starting to look real good. Really, really good. This needs to be sorted. I just wish I could lay something along here or hang things up on this, but I cannot. The storm lanterns would look, look nice hanging from this. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to go through my list from top to bottom, and then I can actually see what really needs to be dealt with. Fire Striker, yeah, I need to deal with that. The Mag Lens, I have. I might as well just say it's done because I have it on me, and I'll put it on display when I get back in. The Cattail Heads are fine. We're just going to call that four because it looks hideous when we do a lot of them. Same with Tinder Plug, uh, Birch Bar. 
I think I made numbers way too high here, so I'm just going to ignore how high I've made them and bring it down, down, down. Maybe just make that one, one. It's fixing that a bunch of. That's right. When you don't like what you have to do, you just change the rules. And we can do that. I don't know what I want to use my precious birch bark here to begin with. Why is birch bark on the list? Get out of here. We already have birch bark tea. Books are done, pharmacy is done, drinks are almost done, but I need to grab some extra tea here. Gunpowder. That's a point. I don't think I found any gunpowder. However, I want to harvest one of these. It's amazing I can do this without blowing my finger off. And then I get one of the gunpowders. I know the thing's on screen, but don't worry about it. Actually, I worry a little bit about it. Let's get rid of that. Where'd the gunpowder go on my list? Where's the gunpowder? Did it not spawn the gunpowder? Or did it drop on the floor or what? Or did I fail to get it? It's on the back order. Yeah, but where? Where'd it go? You can fail harvesting the bullet without level 5 gunsmithing. I guess I failed. Let's try again then. It's getting dark though. Harvested bullet and gunpowder. Okay, great. Now show me the gunpowder. There we go, sweet. This is what I'm after. A nice big load of gunpowder. I don't want a second one. Good thing we found these bullets, otherwise finding the gunpowder would be difficult. Did I get it? Yeah, we have filled the harvesting again. Am I leveling up my gunsmithing from this? No, certainly not. Good thing I already have this water and food available. Harvested bullet. Did not harvest gunpowder. Come on, man. I'm going to burn through all my bullets. Not that it matters. They're not on the shopping list. They're mostly for show, but... Come on. Stop being such a failure, Shepard. Come on now. Just breaking bullets here. Harvested bullet, casing, but not the gunpowder. Try again then. The bullets, they'd look good to sell. So I'm going to sell individual bullets while I'm at it. They look good. I don't want to get rid of all of them here. At this rate, I'm just going to say screw it. One bit of gunpowder is enough. Oh, I got it. There we go. I just spotted it. There we go. 10 grams of gunpowder. Not utterly expensive, but that's just supply and demand for you. This mountaineering rope's taking up way, mu way too much space. There we go. It's better. What about all the bullets that I just tore out of this thing? Where are they, for one? What if I just drop all of these? Are they going to make a mess on the floor? Ugh. Little useless wastes of space. I think I'll just shove them in the locker. Same with the bullet casings. Where are they? Yeah. 
Uh, right, so according to my good old list here, gunpowder we have, feathers we have a Brazilian of, feathers. I don't know how do they how do they look on display here. Let's draw uh, four of them for now. Put them here. This is DIY store after all. They barely show up, but we know they're there. Actually, do we know they're there? They have a funny lack of desire to overlap with each other. Viciously massive hitboxes in these things. Huh. Weird. Maybe we can use them decoratively? Yeah, yeah, this way they this way I can say they look like our little inkwell pens. Right, well, they do not look anywhere near as good as I'd hoped on display, so we're just gonna have two of those. We'll call it two out of two. <laughs> just keep it easy. Dusting sulfur we have three out of four, we still need to find one more. We need that accursed car battery. We have millions of sewing kits. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I have one on me. We do finally have two simple tools. Improvised knife and hatchet I have on me, and I'll put them back to the store once I'm done with them. Uh, I'm just going to say we have all of this stuff. I'm done looking for clothes, and I know we have plenty of them, so let's just say that's done. I'm sure we have it. Uh, we have our torches. I could add more, but they don't look so good on display. Lantern fuel I still need to find a little bit more of. We have our cattail stocks out there. Food bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I said I need 16 of these things. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, seems we have some hunting to do then. We have both the maple syrup. Tin openers, tin food, I think we said we had 17 of. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, good. Uh, the cooked meats will do last. Salty crackers, we did find two boxes of. We actually have four tins of coffee, not one. And ketchup crisps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of them. Beef jerky, we did get four. Uh, we have no cash. So really, the things we need are one flare shell, two bits of cash, some food bars, some lantern fuel, a car battery, dusting sulfur, the teas, but that's easy. Reclaimed wood is also easy. The fire strikers are the big ones. So what's the big stuff? Fire striker, car battery, Food and cash. Uh, food bars and cash. That's all we need. And next session, because we're definitely wrapping it up now, we are going to head over to Pleasant Valley, because there's some really good looting to be had there. And then we are going to head over to Timberwolf Mountain. And we're going to go to the summit, because there's some damn good stuff up there. Hopefully we survive long enough to make it a reality. And then that should be the final session. Shot will be complete. And then Commander Shepard will finally be able to say this is his favourite store in the Citadel. Grim time today, can't thanks to Bleak Inlet, but we are alive. We're alive and thriving. So until I am back with the next session, it is me turning off the HUD, making an awesome screenshot, and saying cheerio.